Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast, where we try to make sense of the modern dating hellscape. Thanks for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We're coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California, every Sunday and Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. I am your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. Oops, fuck that up. She's a bit shy. A few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer-supported heavy YouTube demonetization, so please consider donating through Streamlabs instead of super chatting. As YouTube takes a brutal 30% cut, so some quick math for y'all. If you super chat 100, if you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes three. Streamlabs.com slash whatever. Link is in the description. Messages $10 and up will be displayed in stream overlay. Messages $50 and up will be read slash answered. If you want to interact nearly instantly with us and weigh in on the conversation, consider sending a TTS text to speech message. $100 and up triggers TTS. TTS is via Streamlabs only. Please see the description for all triggers in full details. We have channel memberships. To become a member, hit the join button. Tier one is just $5 a month. We're also live on Twitch right now. Pull up another tab. There it is. Oh, scuffed. Um, okay. There's our Twitch. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop a follow in the Prime sub if you have one. Basically, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch. It's a quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. We got merch, shop.whatever.com. Stuff you can wear to not be naked. Don't be a criminal. Get some merch. Follow us on Instagram at whatever. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram if you can make it to Santa Barbara. If you're inter interested in sponsoring the podcast, you can also DM me here at whatever. Follow me on Instagram, BD underscore Atlas. Check out my nonprofit movement, Big Labia Matter, or BLM for short, really the pressing issue of our time. If you can't catch the full shows, we have a Clips channel. Link is in the description. We're trying to get to 1 million subscribers on the Clips channel. We're very close, guys. We're trying to hit that milestone. We get another plaque, so uh, go subscribe. We have a Discord, discord.gg slash whatever. Link is in the description. This is a members-only Discord. That was Elon Musk uh, replying to one of our uh, things. You can gain access via our Patreon, patreon.com slash whatever. Lastly, I just want to quickly shout out Brandon Lee and Sniper's Ice Shadow for each triggering champagne pop slash show. Your guys' uh, overwhelming generosity and patronage is greatly appreciated. Thus felt it uh, warrant felt warranted to thank you both again. Lastly, disclaimer, the views expressed by the guests do not necessarily reflect the views of the whatever podcast. So without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, location, and occupation. Go ahead. Hi, guys. My name is Mari. Um, I'm from Orlando. I was age. I'm 22. Sorry. No, um, in, just into the microphone. Um, I'm 22. I'm from Orlando, I'm a student, and I'm also a content creator. What kind of content do you make? Um, so I promote <clears throat> raves, um, I promote like uh, club, like rave, like the club scenes, mm -hmm. and then I also do like OnlyFans and stuff like that. How long have you been doing OF? Um, so I started when I was like 18, and then I stopped for a little bit, and then I just started again. All right, welcome. What about you? Hi, my name is Emmy. I'm from the Bay, Berkeley to be specific. I'm 22 and I'm a student at UCSB. What's your major? Sociology. Sociology, okay. Yeah. All right. And you're graduating this year? Yes, you're I senior? am. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm 26, uh, from Phoenix. Well, from New York, but I live in Phoenix. And I do OnlyFans. All right, welcome. Love you. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm 25, and I'm an RBT from the Bay Area. What's a RBT? I'm registered behavioral technician. I like work with kids with autism. Gotcha. Okay. What brings you to Santa Barbara? Um, I'm visiting. Friends. Gotcha. Okay. What about you? Hi, I'm Kira. I'm from the Bay Area. Um, I'm 24, and I'm a student at SBCC, and I'm a comm major. Comm major. All right. Are you going to transfer to UCSB or? Uh, no, I'm going to SDSU. Okay. Cool. What about you? My name is Jamil. I'm 39. I'm a registered nurse and stand-up comedian. 39, registered uh, RN, stand-up comedian. Uh, tell us a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, hi, my name's Jamil, and for those of you that were expecting a tall black guy, 
That was pretty good. Surprise. <laughs> I liked that. All right. There you go. Yeah. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm 41. I'm originally from Los Angeles, currently living in Orange County, and I work in optical. Okay. Hi, my name is Bree. I'm 26. I'm from Santa Clarita, and I'm a student. Oh, uh, what, what do you study? Public health. Okay, gotcha. I'm Natalie. I just turned 23. I'm born and raised in Santa Monica, California, but I live in Palm Beach, Florida now, and I am the co-host of Steve Bannon's War Room, which is a TV show and podcast, and I also have a clothing brand. All right, welcome back. So we're going to go around the table once more. What is everybody's current relationship status? So are you single, talking stage, situationship, friends with benefits, relationship, married, polycool, sex, cult, whatever it may be? If you're single, how long have you been single? And what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? Go ahead. Single. Um, I've been single for about a year and a half, almost two. Longest relationship I've been in, probably three and a half years. 3.5 years. Okay. What about you? Um, I am single right now. The longest relationship I've been in was a year and a half. How long have you been single? Um, about six months. Six to seven months. Why'd he dump you? Um, I actually dumped oh, him. Oh, sorry, sorry. I got that mixed up. Got that mixed up. My bad. I mixed up. Okay. Uh, so you broke up with him? Yes, I did. Was that the 1.5 year relationship? No. Or different one. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. What about you? Um, still single. I was on a month ago, so I'm back. Uh, still single. My longest relationship was four years, and um, it's been over two years now that I've been single. And your last relationship, was that the four-year one? No. Okay. Why did he dump you? We had a mutual... <laughs> All right, what about you? <laughs> um, I'm single. I've been single for a few years, and my longest relationship was four years. You've been single for a few years? I'm like three years. Three, three years or so? Okay. Yeah. All right. What about you? I'm also single, and my longest relationship is a year and a half, and I've been single for, I don't know, a year now? One year? Okay. What about you? I'm in a friends with benefits situation. Hey. Uh, friends with you. benefits. My longest relationship, well, I am recently divorced, so we were married for almost 18 years. Okay. So 18 years. Uh, how long ago was the divorce? About two years ago two years ago okay so and you're 39 so you divorced at 37 you were together for 18 years so you were pretty much together from like what nine nineteen twenty to 37 about yeah that? okay that's right how long have you been with your current friends with benefits uh, a little over a month just one month yep is he the first guy that you got with since the breakup separation maybe a little bit more seriously yeah but there's been other guys yeah. in that time period okay and uh so, but this is the most serious one so far i think so yes yes <laughs> but it's just friends with benefits you've only been seeing each other for one month yes so the it's a, it's other a little bit more than yeah <laughs> okay okay but so the other ones you saw were just casual, casual flings yes. Who, um, who initiated the divorce? I did. You did. Uh, what was the reason? Just grew apart or? Many reasons, but growing apart, uh, he was. Was it the stand up comedy? No. That lost I him? did that. That's <laughs> th that, I've been doing that for six months now. Oh, okay. So. All right. It's a new thing. Gotcha. Um, so, but what, what happened? Did he want to stay with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you, do you have a kid? We have two kids. Two kids, okay. Um, and you don't have kids from any other people, mm -hmm. okay. Um, but so what, what was the, what precipitated the divorce? Uh, quite a few things. One of the first things being that he started seeing some people, some guys from Craigslist. What? <laughs> Craigslist is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow holy sh um and were you aware because you were with him for 18 years were you aware of his that he was interested in other people interested in men no no do you think like 
were there any signs like retrospectively that there's infidelity in the past or like was this a new development or he was checking out like chicks before right but uh you know we all kind of check out people right uh how he presented it to me was we were in the in the bedroom and he just said hey i think this might be kind of hot to hear but uh then he he dropped that bomb on me so yeah that was a few years ago so there was cheating though yes he didn't just but he told you yes now did he tell you he told you he wanted to involve other men or no no okay he just was just telling me he's like i think that would be kind of hot for her to hear but it wasn't okay You good or? I only shot at her. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is it like coffee or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's coffee. You can. All right. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Okay. okay it's I'm fine. Not allowed to show Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. So <laughs> you initiated the divorce, um, but he wanted he wanted to see men, but he wanted to stay with you. I'm confused there. Yes. So he wanted to try other things. I, I, involving both men and women um that oh, was like a, he wanted to do threesomes yes and, with you and like other and, dudes and, and swinging swinging yeah and uh this is something that like what in the 17th year of your this marriage happened about the 15th year of marriage i think 14th maybe maybe a little less than and that. and did he have any inclinations towards this in the previous uh, 15 years or however no. long you're together? No. Spontaneous homosexuality? Is that? It was, I, I, it was dormant, probably. Dormant? Yeah, probably. Dormant. <laughs> That's a good word. That's, Did you start okay. watching porn or anything like that? Do you think that could have precipitated it? That like broadened his mind about what was out there? Uh, probably watching porn that I didn't know about, I mean, you know? All men. All men have watched porn, or all men are secretly gay and want to fuck other men. men. Watch porn. I'm trying to say. Okay, wait. So, was it was there a dead bedroom for a period of the relationship? Yes. Starting uh, when into the marriage? Uh, after the whole Craigslist thing. Oh, after. Yeah. But otherwise, things were good yes. in that. Okay. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. That's crazy, son. Wait. Okay. Third. So, but you got, it seems, you know, you had some flings pretty quickly after separation. So you got right back on the horse and. Yes. And you got, do you know what year you guys got married? We got married in 2005. And were you dating prior? Yes. How long were you dating prior to the marriage? About a couple of years. A couple of years. Damn. It's like before cell phones. <laughs> so, so how do you go? How do you go from like, okay, you used to date in the peak of civilization, the late 90s, early 2000s, and then you're just thrust after your husband wanted to fuck other men. How do you go from like that and then you're introduced to like dating apps, social media? Was it like culture shock? For you. It wasn't too much culture shock just because uh, I work as a nurse and I work with other people who, you know, different generations and okay. stuff. And so a lot of them will talk about the dating app. So I was like, sure. oh, that's kind of cool. And so okay. uh, I tried to stay as uh, abreast to technology sure. as I can. So. I was a little familiar with the dating apps. Uh, Tinder and the dating apps were a little bit weird for me just because I'm so used to dating organically. And, mm -hmm. and actually, I still prefer that. Were you, did you get on any dating apps? I did. Okay. I did. Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, Christian uh, Mingle, Farmers Only. <laughs> any of those? I did Tinder, Hinge, Facebook dating. Tinder, Hinge, Facebook dating. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Good times. Cool, cool. What about you? I am currently single. I was seeing somebody briefly this past summer, my longest relationship. Oh, sorry, hold on. Nickelodeon donated $100. She was jealous he was working on another man's bits. Would you rather it was a man or woman? Would you prefer if it was a 
like had it been a woman that he was cheating on you with? I think men was more okay for me to accept than it was hmm, women. I don't know why. Let's go around the table on this, actually. Okay. And we'll, we'll come back to yeah. the, the relationship. Actually, wait. No, okay. So going around the table, two questions, actually. One, would you prefer if your partner were to cheat on you? Would you prefer it's with a man or a woman? And then the second question, would you prefer if it's a woman, would you prefer they cheat on you with someone more attractive or less attractive than you? Starting with you, go ahead. Um, okay, well, if they were going to cheat on me, I don't really care of the gender, so that's it. Mm -hmm. And if it's a woman, more attractive, less attractive? Uh, attractiveness, I don't care. Wouldn't care at all, okay. Um, honestly, I'd kind of prefer if it was a man, then I'm not comparing myself. Huh? <laughs> okay, you'd prefer a man. Then I know okay. there's nothing wrong with me. He's just not straight. Okay, I see. Okay, it's easier to cope. Um, yep. And if it was a woman, more attractive or less attractive than you? Which would you prefer? Mm, that's kind of hard. I kind of think less attractive, so then mm. I'm not like, fuck, it's because of my looks. But mm. at the same time, that's like, I, I don't know, maybe less attractive. <laughs> okay, what about you? Mm, I kind of agree. What was your name again? Mari. Mari. I agree with Mari. Um, I just, that's one of my non-negotiables, so cheating is just a big no-no for me. You wouldn't have any preference. I would be mad. I'd be well, infuriated that's not, that's not the question, though. You wouldn't have any preference? No. No preference, because cheating okay. is cheating. What but about you? Wait, if that's a non-negotiable for you, you do OnlyFans, though. So is that right. considered cheating? What? Would your partner consider you doing OnlyFans as she cheating? Okay? Well, I don't have a partner. I'm single. But it, but if you did, hypothetically, like, are you staying single until you retire from OnlyFans? Or, like, how do you navigate that, like, with your relationship? Mm, I mean, if someone wants to date me, it's part of who I am. It's part of what I do. So mm -hmm. if they're going into it knowing that, it's kind of on them oh to be God, accepting bro. of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you had a long-term relationship while you're doing content? No. I would say what Emmy said. Um, <laughs> I guess I would prefer if it was a man, and then that might like highlight our insecurities more. But it's just the truth, yeah. And probably a less attractive woman for the same reason. I think, I mean, cheating is cheating. It sucks, uh, but probably I also agree with Taylor and Emmy. <laughs> I would rather it be a man and probably someone less attractive than me. I agree with Taylor and Emmy for <laughs> all the reasons that they just stated. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> if I had to choose, I would definitely choose another woman because I know that men can have sex and have it not be emotional. It could just be purely mm -hmm. physical. I know, Brian, you talked about it on one of the episodes, and I wouldn't care if the woman was more or less attractive. It wouldn't matter to me. All right. I feel like regardless, being cheated on is painful. It doesn't matter if it's like a man or a woman. Um, but more attractive or not, it's painful and sucks and should be avoided at all costs. Okay. I would take a very pragmatic approach to this question. I feel like if your partner was secretly banging a bunch of guys behind your back, there's a higher chance of STDs and AIDS and that kind of stuff. So I think mm -hmm. I'd probably rather go with a woman. Okay. And then what about the prettier um, or uglier? Probably uglier. There you have it, folks. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, your uh, relationship I'm status? Yes, yeah, so I'm single. I was seeing somebody briefly back in the summer. My longest relationship was five years. And I was married for a year and a half and I'm divorced and have been divorced for over a decade. Okay. And you have one, one kid? One kid, yes. One kid, okay. Uh, is the dad still in the picture, or are you co-parent, or...? Um, he, yes, he, he's very much in the picture. He was not... My, my daughter's father was not my ex-husband. Um, we tried for about two years to get pregnant, and mm. it never happened for us. Mm. And um, that's a whole other story. But yes, my daughter's dad is very much in the picture. He's very involved, very wonderful. And you said you've been single since the summertime, was it? Yeah, I just okay. dated somebody or saw somebody briefly in the summer, but before that, it was quite a while. All right. I take parenting very seriously. Sure. What about you? 
Um, I'm currently single. I'm not looking to date at the moment. Um, I'm single as of a few weeks. Uh, I came out of a pretty short relationship, but I jumped into that relationship after almost a five-year relationship, so it was kind of doomed to begin with, and I wasn't really willing to see that going into it. I kind of just fell into it. Wait, so your longest relationship was five years? Mm -hmm. Once that ended, you immediately got into another relationship? Yes. (laughs) Which ended a few weeks ago? Correct, yeah. How long did the most recent relationship last? Uh, I believe seven months. Seven months. How soon after the end of the five-year relationship did you get into the new relationship? Like two weeks. But I I wasn't, okay, I know, I know, I know. I wasn't advocating and or looking for a relationship or even friends with benefits. I didn't sleep with him immediately. Did you know him beforehand? No. How did you meet him? Uh, Social media. Like Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. Like you DM'd him or he DM'd you? No, he reached out to me. Did Wait, so he... You so, break up, mm-hmm. and then a week goes by, and then he DMs you? Or had he DMed you prior to the end of your relationship? No, I. so on my social media, I don't, like, if I'm in a relationship, I wouldn't typically accept, like, male follower, follower requests. Okay. So it wasn't until after I became single that I would be accepting new follower requests. And then after I accepted him, he had started messaging me from there. Does it show when the follower follow request was made on Instagram? When it was made, I don't think so. But you you guys know that? You can see when it's been accepted, like the chronological order. Okay. So you you break up. Who who ended the five-year relationship? I did. You did? Mm -hmm. Uh, Okay. And so when, how soon after... Was it, you said it was two weeks? Mm-hmm, yeah. Like you first met two weeks from the breakup? Correct, yeah. Okay. It's Messy, pretty quick. I know. Pretty quick. I know, I learned. I, sometimes I, I have to learn the hard way. Was it a messy breakup? It was so messy. We lived together, the five-year breakup. We lived together. We had a lot of, a lot. It was really messy. Wait, did you, were you still living together after the breakup? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you invite the new guy over to no. the house no so my five year he cheated on me and oh. i f- was very loyal loyal to i don't want to say loyal to a fault because i'll never regret being loyal because that's just my character but i felt very betrayed it wasn't mm-hmm. one woman it was multiple women multiple. it was multiple okay. women that were huh. overweight and there's nothing wrong with being overweight but it, it, he was a it was like a feeding fetish. Chubby chaser? It wasn't even just chubby chaser. He chasing. was a feeder? Yeah, so he went... <laughs> how did you... How did you, like, do the Tai Chi... You, like, avoided the feeder? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so I thought that going out to all-you-can-eat sushi multiple times a week was normal. It's not. <laughs> I. It's not normal. Um, so I, got, I basically found out, found out at our friend's wedding... And I was, he was cheating on you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was sending myself pictures from his phone and he was really drunk. And I decided to, I had this, you know, weird feeling. And I was like, I only have maybe 30 seconds to check where I want to look in his phone to see if there's even anything. Hmm. And I did. And I found over 400 messages between him and multiple girls. And these weren't just messages like sending pictures or whatever. It was uh, weigh yourself before you eat, weigh yourself after. I swear, it sounds... Girl, you dodged a bullet. No, I really did. And it was multiple women, and it was the same conversation, basically, of him making them eat enough. And he would tell them that they're not worthy to speak to him unless, you know, they eat enough or eat more. And I'm like, I work out, and I feel like I take care of myself, and these women are over 250 pounds, and he's telling them that they're not good enough. So that's the tea. I just want to know, like, where he, like, found just, like, this niche group of people that were, like, okay with that also, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, is there a site for that? <laughs> I Maybe. That they're into that, right? Saying, like, oh, you're not yeah. so It's enough. a like, fetish. It's, like, a total sexual, it's, like, a niche sexual yeah. fetish. Wait, so was he trying to fatten you up? I think so, because over COVID, like, the whole world shut down, right? Yeah. So I stopped working out, you know, I played college volleyball at the time, and I stopped working out, and I gained a little bit of weight, as I'm sure everyone did over COVID, yeah. and he would always tell me, you know, that's, I liked you most when you were this weight over COVID, and I never never understood that. As a woman, you kind of have your own set weight, and how you feel comfortable, and how you like to look in clothes, and I did not feel comfortable at that weight, And that was kind of a red flag, but I'm like, sure, guys like thicker girls, whatever, like teach their own. 
um, but it, it didn't fully connect the dots until I saw those text messages. And I read every single one word for word out loud in front of him. Yeah. At the Damn. wedding when he was drunk? Uh huh. <sighs> <laughs> it was messy. At, at somebody's wedding? No, no well, listen, it was in the parking lot, to be fair. Wait, so, okay. But did he ever send you those types of text messages to you? Or with you, it was like this repressed thing a little bit, but he was still trying to, like, he would, like, feed you kind of discreetly. Yeah, it was very discreet, Damn. and it was, and I thought it was sweet. That's like crazy. he he would come home with food for me, and I was like, oh, oh I just had a long shift Shit. at work, and you know, I had such a long day. You're so sweet. He would never cook or clean. Mm. He had always buy me Wait, food. Wait, so how did he react when like you said like, <laughs> hey, I found all oh, this stuff? Like, that's crazy. How did he react to that? Like, what did he say? Um, he cried and said he was so embarrassed, and you know, how could I invite his pr in in. Um, how could I invade his privacy? And I'm like, sir, we live together and have lived together for years. Oh what do you mean privacy? Other women sending pictures of yourself in our bed to other women, the bed that I make, right. the bed that I clean, right. the PS5 I bought you. Yeah. How yeah. dare you? Relatable, you know what I mean? Relatable. So it was crazy. <laughs> Has any girl here had bad experience with a dude? Yes. Where he's like, let me get you fat. Oh, no. No. I had that with a girl one time. I, I think we need I think to a girl tried to do that shit to me. Tried to get you fat? Tried to get me fat so I'd be less appealing to other women. Y'all need I'm actually to starting to get a little chubby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, she'd like, I'd tell her like, yo, stop bringing over fucking cookies. But I keep eating them. Maybe I honestly feel like some girls do do that. So it could be I think that's also a term of endearment. It's like one of the love languages. I, I, I do that. Get fat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like, bring snacks. Just like make sure like things. you're eating good. Buddha. Take care of you, maybe. I don't know. Like that's how the Buddha originality starts and everything. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. So, uh, I, I wow. So yeah. yeah. So I immediately was. So he was like cheating on you with a bunch of like obese women, is what you're saying. Hundred percent. Like morbid, morbid. Like how like, did he have a uh, like a sweet spot? Like was it? obese morbidly obese like you know um these girls were chunky because these thick. girls would send pictures too yeah. and i understand yeah i saw the pictures and um, um they were unhealthy and it wasn't just a few pounds here a few pounds there they were obese and it made me sad for them and i really i told them you know we're done this there's no chance we're ever gonna make this work but you need to apologize to these women because that's so unfair for you to degrade women and and they're allowing it sure but it's like that that will stick with them for the rest of their lives brian how do you feel about this topic like mm -hmm. you're really interested into it like the obesity do you guys not know about like fetishes and stuff like that i'm i'm familiar with it oh okay yeah okay it's more so just the, there's a lot out there he wasn't he wasn't open <laughs> with it with you no. which makes it kind of like that's the crazy uh, part i thought no. you were like hmm <laughs> i mean i do think it's kind of still like it's a little weird oh weird okay it's i a thought little you strange. were like interested even if you're open with it it's a little okay because it's like okay i don't know it's kind of because being obese is unhealthy yeah so if you're like feeding like I think it's even if control. you're open with it even if it's like consensual yeah, it still feels a little like abusive you're like <laughs> yeah. pushing this really. person towards poor health it feels a little uh, yeah you're right know. you're right and I think Thank the you. worst the Thank worst you. part sorry to interrupt you Go ahead. No, I yeah. think the worst part about it is he's the most like bodybuilder type of guy very lean runs works out religiously he's living vicariously through them then mm -hmm. he yeah. doesn't get to eat all Whoa, these snacks that's and treats crazy so the he's psychological crazy levels eating these other women Ooh. things that he can't have mm -hmm. damn and, and he would i mean he would eat he didn't have a diet or a strict you know regimen or anything like that but if you looked at him you would have never thought ever in a million years that he would even be into people like that and there's nothing wrong with being into people like that but you can't just like stay true to yourself and if that's what you're into that's fine wait so would he ever make comments i mean i think you mentioned this a little bit would he ever make comments to you like would i don't know if this is like tmi but like would he like grab your belly 
Like Yeah. So what I thought was um his love language being like physical touch, it was actually him like every woman has parts on your body that you don't want to touch that you're like insecure about or you're like i could go without you seeing this or feeling this and he would go out of his way to grab that and and acknowledge it and be very aggressive but he 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 turned it to be playful and kind of gaslit me to make me feel like um i'm the problem and that that should be normal but that didn't it didn't start off that way that was the last two years of the almost five years that's crazy that's crazy. Is there like a reverse feeder thing? Just someone who wants someone really skinny, yeah. Is yeah, that just I the could norm? say that most people, <laughs> right? Yeah. Or like a really like yeah like, like tall, just, skinny like man. I feel like a lot of girls are into that. Like what if like would the opposite just be like? Here's a salad and a singular crouton. Yeah. Starver. That's what I would do. Yeah, a starver. That could be good, you know. Um, Okay, <laughs> Natalie, what about you? Um, I, I guess I'm technically single, but I actually just met someone who I'm oh. very excited about, but it's very new. So. Congrats. Thank you. Um, so I don't know, and I think he's watching, so I don't know what to say. Hi. All right, how long have you guys been dating? <laughs> we like just met. Like, like a um, week ago? A few days ago. A few days ago? There's That'd a be lot, love. Of, That'd a be lot love. of overlap. We know a lot of mutual people. And Is he also involved in politics? Uh, sort of in a way but not really not for work but he knows political people who i work with i'm being vague but donald trump <laughs> no it's so donald trump okay no uh, queen melania okay. never, never ever ever wait ever what do you do for work again uh, i co-host a show called war room and mm -hmm. it's my co-host is steve bannon who was the ceo of the trump campaign in 2016 uh. um so <laughs> yeah all right and what's your longest relationship um, a year. One year. All right. We've got everyone's relationship status here. A lot of you said you're, s all of you are single except for you who has a friends with benefits and you have this new thing going on. So what does being single actually mean here? Um, some of you have been single for years. Uh, so starting with you, there's no guys in the picture. Yeah. Currently there's no guys in the picture. Um, Wait, does anyone here buy or I'm have bi. a different orientation? Just okay. I'm buy. Any any ladies in the picture then? Um no. But okay. um this guy kind of fucked me over or sorry for cursing, okay. but um say like January, um found out he was literally living with like an old ass woman. And I would pick him up to bring him to my house and all this BS. After that, I was like, I'm just done. I'm taking a break. Mm -hmm. And I just stayed celibate, like, literally. You've been celibate for a year and a half? I've been celibate for, like, uh, I want to say, like, six months. Six months. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you said you've been single for 1.5 years. Yeah. So then I started talking to this other guy, and then I ended that quick. So. Okay. Yeah. So there's nobody in the picture. Nobody. So you've been celibate for how long? Mm, like, yeah, like six months, three months, around there. Three months. Six months, three months. Three months. Three months. Pretty big It's just hard difference. because those two guys fucked me over. They, they fucked you over? Like in the head. Like I'm just like, in, I'm over men. Like just, I want to be left alone. You're, you're over men? Yeah. Why is that? Should I even answer that? <laughs> Uh, if you want, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can continue. You got, uh, what's it called? You said you got fucked over, that's right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're single, six months to seven months you've been single, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, any, any guys in the picture, though? I mean, yeah, when you're single, of course, you talk to people on and off. Okay. And, like, it only goes so far depending on, like, what you're looking for. What are you looking for? Um, I think I'd be looking for a relationship, but like I have been single for such a short amount of time. So it's like, I don't know, but also when you graduate, like you don't know where you're going to move. So it's kind of hard to like be looking for a relationship when you don't know where you're going. You graduated in what, a couple months or something? Yeah. Do you, you don't have any plan? No, I'm applying to internships and jobs right now. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. Do you think you'll stick around in Santa Barbara or you're going to... Um, well, elsewhere. I'm taking some summer courses, so I'm going to have to until okay. September. Okay. And so I have that time to figure yeah. out where I'm going to go. I see. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, wait, you're, you're from, did you say up north originally? Or yeah, Berkeley. Berkeley, okay. Yeah. Wait, so any guys in the picture? Um, you know, just people I'm talking to. Are you talk? Do you have like a, what's it called? Uh, a roster right now. You got a roster, you got a... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no, like... I don't talk to I don't know, to your friends are kind of throwing you under the bus there a little bit. I know. It's just one. I know. I honestly, like, I don't talk to people. Like, it's, it's hard for me to get it. into, like, things with Same. people. Same. Yeah. You Word. have a great voice, by the way. It, I lost my voice, so it's really raspy right now. Like oh, this it. isn't your yeah, normal. Yeah, we did karaoke no, last night, so karaoke. all of our voices yeah, are Yeah, we were little... at Wildcat doing oh, karaoke, okay. we getting, so. We I see. We are going crazy. Okay. Wait, so there is one guy kind of in the picture. Yeah. Is it the talking stage ish si situation ship, maybe? I guess you could say that. I, I don't consider things yeah. things until you're dating someone. Until there's a title. Yeah, until I don't consider official. anything a thing until you're dating someone. Okay. And so, how long have you been seeing this guy? Um, I don't know, maybe a couple of months. I mean, couple when you're months. single, like you, you go on dates, like you talk to multiple people, and it only goes so far, you know? It's like. What, what do you mean it only goes so far? I mean,. I don't know, you go on a couple dates, you don't necessarily get along, like you stop talking after that. Like that's yeah. just kind of how it goes. Like you hook up with them and... It, yeah, I mean, I okay. guess. Not yeah. always though. Right, not always. Yeah. But, and so would you... Have you, like besides this, there seems, you got a main main piece and side hose, it sounds like. <laughs> Do you have side hose? I don't have any main piece. <laughs> you don't have a main hoe? No, I don't. I I piece. really like I don't well, talk to, to a lot of people for, like that. What about this guy that you've been seeing for a I couple know, months? I know, but you can only Do you think he's seeing other girls? Yeah. What if she's just like exploring? oh, do you, you, like you know he, he's seeing other girls or you <laughs> like you just think he's seeing other girls? <laughs> no, I I don't know. Nothing is serious. Like you don't really pay a lot of attention to someone until you're actually a title. So like I don't know. Like I wouldn't consider anything talking until you're dating like really. Well, how how often do you see this guy? Once a week, twice a week, um, a couple times I, a week. I don't know. It's it's sporadic. Day. Like it's not sporadic. like any. Yeah. Wait, is it like one of those situations Maybe where she's it's just like exploring? Cool. Yeah. Where it's like Friday, 11 p.m. <laughs> what you doing? Is it that kind of thing, or is it? No, not necessarily. A little more structured, where it's like, hey, what's up? Let's hang out uh, Thursday, 7 p.m. I guess. You know? I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. it's for longer periods of time. Yeah, like they'll go out on like dates and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like Wait, he'll Brian's worst nightmare. <laughs> do you want do you want more? Does he want more? Has there been any conversation like that? Um, not necessarily. I mean, like at this age, like everyone I'm talking to is leaving college. So it's like right. you can't bank on anything sure. or really get too serious like that until you know where you're okay. going, where you're gonna be. Does he know? He doesn't know what he's his plans are, or um, I, I is don't. Is he a freshman? <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys dating? Friends? Um, no, no. Uh, does he go to school though? He's also yeah. in school. Yeah. Okay. UCSB. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, uh, it is sort of transient in the sense that you might be graduating soon. He might be graduating soon. You guys don't know where you guys stand on that front um yeah i think they're just like having a good time with each other right now yeah you and just vibe until it, it gets too serious but when you say you think they're just having a good time right now do you just mean that they're just having, having sexual fun. intercourse no not about? just that like they're going on Carnal dates they're just like having fun like i don't know no, that's fine um just stuff like that okay yeah. good times um what about you what were the questions well so you're single right you've been single for yeah. two years mm -hmm. but you know, you live in Miami, is it? No, Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay, my bad. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, you know, there's a lot of handsome men out there in Phoenix. <laughs> Not so much. Okay. I don't get out much. You don't get out yeah. much? You just stay inside and take nude photographs pretty Absolutely, much? Absolutely, yeah. Good times. Uh, okay, so no guys in the picture. Come on. No, actually, zero. still. Zero. Since, since the last zero. time, still I'm zero. I'm calling Cap. I'm calling Cap. What not it the case, though, with the girls who do OnlyFans, or even just content creators in general, that it hurts your bottom line if you were to openly admit that you have a boyfriend or you're seeing somebody? Like, if you did have a boyfriend, would you not disclose it? Uh, I would probably disclose it, but I wouldn't post him. 
Okay. Like the person I made content with made past tense um i was never in a romantic relationship with them I only oh you did with one you did person. bg content i did yeah but and only with one person only one one guy you've ever done that with mm -hmm. okay just someone else in the industry that i trusted wait so you okay so there's you've been single for two years yeah my first year out of my relationship i was celibate my whole first year and then i started only fans and then you had a partner you work with but you no longer work with him anymore yeah i just i don't make any more content right now okay so you're telling me there's no guys in the picture right now. Not a friends with benefits, not a situationship, not even a talking stage. No, I wish. I get lonely. Stop the cap. <laughs> I promise, I'm Brian. I'm going to call cap on that. <laughs> I'm going to call cap on that. I don't have time. I'm what here if a with guy, you. <laughs> what if a guy during the show DMs me and says, I'm her sneaky link. She's lying. <laughs> That Would you fess up? Would you fess up that, to it? Who's going to... Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. You want to put a bet on it? We can put a bet on I'm it. I'm good. I'm all right. <laughs> can I ask her a related question? Sure, go yeah. ahead. Okay, you said that you hate men, right? Yeah. I don't mean it literally. <laughs> How do you... Well, you, but you do OnlyFans, right? You said you just started? Um, no, I've been doing it since I was 18, but I just restarted. So do you hate men enough? why do you are you still okay taking their money on only fans and interacting with them via that like how do you or do you just hate men i don't actually hate men it was just kind of like a metaphor how a is that metaphor? a metaphor um because like i literally didn't mean it there's hella men in this world like why would i hate every single man i mean that's pretty logical no i i agree with you but you just said i hate men yeah did i miss so, that was it no like i did breath? say that no i did say that oh, okay. because that's how Wait, i can you scoot your mic this sorry. way sorry because that's how sometimes i feel in the moment didn't you know you didn't really move it but it was, i appreciate the effort no i Wait, was scoot, just like i was just way. curious because i no, feel this, like this a lot of only fans creators no, not really but okay she tried <laughs> how do you want me i to think do it? didn't like, you say scoot it scoot, scoot it like move it yeah there you go that's good okay so i could well, you guys are just like, you know, you hate men so much, and you don't like, need them. And then, turn it straight, though, straighten it, straight, bills. put it straight. I don't feel that way. I'll put it out there. I, I love think, my subs. You know, yeah, like, I love straight, them, too. Just straight, <laughs> just straight, if you can. <laughs> well, I don't... No, I'm straight, a... like, straight. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, there you go. And the, But then move it back that way. You moved it over too far. Right you're, you're encroaching. <laughs> you're encroaching on her territory. I'm, like, trying to focus on, her on what they're saying at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Good? Yeah, you're... Well done. Okay. Go, continue. You had some questions for. Jesus, fuck. Well, no, I think I was just trying to understand the metaphor that the, is. The man hatred. I hate men. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess it's allegedly not a metaphor. But I was just kind of curious. Is it a simile? I think she said Could she's over simile? men. I don't think she said she hates men. No, I said I hate men. Oh. Wow. <laughs> are you are you over men? I don't know if you're putting words in her mouth. No, I already explained it. Said, so if you can't understand it, I'm it. sorry. Do you ever want to get I married? I you. I can understand. What'd you say? It. Do you ever want to get married? Of course, yeah. Um, how do you view marriage? Um, be, I noticed that there's a cross hanging from your earring. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about religion and marriage? And like, what's your stance on that? Um, marriage. Um, what do you mean by marriage? Like, because like, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people can get married in different yeah. aspects. Yeah, I mean, like more traditional marriage. More and, traditional. And like the the purpose of like what marriage would be for um, you and what that means for you. Okay. Um, but see, you kind of defeated the purpose of me moving the mic. I don't want you to oh, shift your sorry. body, so if you can just shift your... Like this. Perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, marriage, just loyalty, love, happiness, peacefulness. But can't you have that without marriage? Like A hundred percent. So do you feel like marriage is necessary outside of religion? Um, no. So don't you don't think, think it's necessary outside of religion? I don't think marriage is really necessary, no. Would you consider yourself religious? Or do you have any beliefs that would either propel you towards marriage or take you I further? I don't consider myself religious. What I do you consider yourself? More spiritual. In your pre-show notes, you stated you practice astrology and witchcraft. Yes. Uh, can you explain the witchcraft part? Hmm... Do you want to know or like... I just asked. Okay, so I've been studying astrology since I was like... Don't care about astrology. Oh, witchcraft? The witchcraft, yeah. Got you, got you. So, do you know what white magic is? Um, sure. 
Okay, well, white magic is all positive magic. It's to help yourself. It's to positively impact you. It's the crystals, all that BS that you probably don't believe in, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's manifestation is just to help you out. And you practice the white magic? Yes, white magic. What, do you have a name for, like, you consider yourself a witch? Um... Are you more like might you be a mage, uh, warlock? Well, I'm still young. I think Shaman? a warlock is no, a male. Listen, no? are warlocks males? Guys, I think can I say I something? Think it's a male. I'm still young, so when it comes yeah. to things like this, it takes years for you to actually have a status. To become a artist, uh, what is it? A, a top mage? Whatever you want to call it. Um, it does take a while to like get to si level sixty and stuff. Like when you're playing. It does take a while to like level up to 60. Mm -hmm. So I get it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you're, you're a witch. Okay, I guess. Do you, cons do you consider yourself a witch? I don't like to call myself a witch because I really appreciate all the witches out there. I would say I'm more like a student of a witches. You're, you're learning. You're in city college for being a witch. Sure. Okay. But I also go to regular Have you university. cast any spells? Have I casted any spells? Yes. Why are you asking me that? Are you scared? Yeah, I'm trembling. <laughs> I'm terrified. I see that. Oh yeah. my god. Are you uh, okay? But did, did you did you cast any spells? <laughs> are you before? okay? Thomas the poet donated one hundred dollars. Oh. Naomi, stop the cap. With that sick body, you have to have simps on the roster. Would love to be one on you roster. <laughs> Brian, great panel tonight. So many normal and regular based ladies. Refreshing. What does that even mean? <laughs> uh, Thomas the Poet. I'm you. not cap. Thank you, you Thomas respond? the Poet. I appreciate okay. you uh, sending appreciate in your Thomas little poet. donation. No, I swear, though, I actually have no men right now. I'm just really busy. 100%. Okay. Like, I swear. BS. It's BS. Why is it? Why? Why it's is that so BS. crazy? But I would agree. I would ag oh, what? Agree with what? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I would agree that this is a really great panel because it's not only OnlyFans girls. Like, yep. I actually really appreciate that question that you asked. It's like, I think Candace Owens brought that up on here. What? Like, brought, brought what up? That same question about, like, atheism and marriage. And, oh, okay. You know, yeah. the benefits of marriage. True. True. I disagree with one of the things that she said. I think, I think she said that marriage can only be synonymous if you're religious. And I totally well, don't there's no. Yeah, you, I was just saying I appreciate the question because it, it does bring up a Wait, good... Wait, you disagree with, with Candace. She said that She said that you can only... or Basically, marriage can only be a marriage if you're religious and religion plays well, into that marriage. So, I mean, what... Why get married for any reason other than for religious reasons? What? Commitment, lifelong yeah, commitment, commitment, taxes, to, to tell the world that you taxes. love your partner. Wait, you have I have a question. As a there could be a million couple. reasons to get the, married. The financial reasons you stated are fairly negligible. I think it's mainly to just show They're the world that you love this person and you're committed to this person and you're you're having a ceremony in front of all of your friends and your family and you're making that commitment and if you don't Here, have a ask, marriage oh, sorry go ahead no, I'll, and I'll, okay. I'll ask a count no go ahead go ahead finish no, your... and, and if you don't have a marriage it when you're married speaking from somebody that was married there is a way that others who are married see you it's it's almost like you're part of this group you know if somebody is a dog owner and then you meet somebody else that's a dog owner you're you're in this family you're in this group and so for for people who are married they see other people who are married and i don't know if they take them more seriously or their commitment more seriously but they definitely are seen in a particular way so you're you saying it confers certain social benefits because of a in-group bias essentially not well, necessarily not necessarily so let me ask not, let me not, ask you a question mm -hmm. let me ask you a question what can I, let's say there's a secular person mm -hmm. who doesn't get married for religious reasons. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't get married for religious reasons? There's the re okay. Religiosity is not a component to their marriage. Okay. And you, you admitted, you mm -hmm. said that, well, people, even if you're not religious, there's, there's benefit of getting married. Mm -hmm. What can I, as a man, mm -hmm. get from marriage mm -hmm. that I can't get from a long-term life partner mm -hmm. mon uh, like monogamous? Mm -hmm. 
What? Why should I get married? I just, I think for the same reason that I said, it's to to solidify that commitment in front of your friends and your family. Solidify. And maybe to solidify it to well, your own Well, let me self. introduce a word to this conversation called divorce. Yeah. So there is no, and. Yeah. So I, Brian, but like religious people get divorced as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Precisely. Mm -hmm. But at least one of the so. reasons, <laughs> that one of the reasons that someone who's religious gets married uh -huh. is for religious reasons. Mm -hmm. There's a religious motivation there. They're, they're moving pursuant to their religious beliefs. But if you're secular or an atheist, mm -hmm. I frankly see absolutely no so reason to So I think marriage married. is just, it's like the pinnacle of the relationship. It's, you cannot get any more committed than being in a marriage. And I think for some people, myself included, I got married because I wanted that final level, that max level. I wanted to commit to my husband 100%. We had gone through lots of ups and downs, and we wanted to make it official. We wanted to give it a, a fair, a fair, basically a fair chance of officially, officially, and not just long-term boyfriend, girlfriend, living together. We wanted to... Were you guys religious? No. I would, I would hate to be a girlfriend after 20 years. Like, yeah, this is my yeah. boyfriend. And yeah. Have not, like, pop Wait, any I type of question. question. It is just like a form of like serious commitment, I think. What's more than question? religious. Um, why do you, why is religion related to marriage? I, well, I want to know your standpoint I mean, on that's, that. that's the origination. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. That's the genesis religion. of marriage. I understand marriage. that, but why do you think you should still be religious in order to get married? I'm not that's not really the argument I'm making. I just don't see if you're if you're secular. I see no reason uh -huh. uh, to but get married. Also and honestly, even if you're religious, the only reason if you're religious to get married is for your religious values. For, at least from a man's perspective, I there's absolutely no reason to get married. What? So Brian, let me oh, can I interrupt? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. So if you weren't religious, but say you met a girl and you were dating a girl and you were really serious with a girl who wasn't super religious but definitely considered religion important to her, you she, didn't if she, if she did, she wouldn't date somebody who didn't who wasn't religious. Agreed. Oh, okay. So I mean, it's but go ahead. Let's just say she was mild to moderately religious okay. you didn't want to get married you just wanted to have a lifelong commitment but marriage was really important to her and like i said you were really serious with her you'd been dating her for a couple years you could mm -hmm. definitely see yourself long term with her would you get married for her you mean would i do it would you because yes. she wants it yes well what about what i want which is to not get married but why can't she be the one to to come into my frame on this Valid point. and but there's no there's no middle ground there and there's no compromise it's either you get married or you don't so are you saying that you would want her, oh sorry are you saying that you would want her to be the one that compromises absolutely okay uh, like, because the the what if that meant ending the end of the of your relationship then here i got this hold on Afuera. Out you go. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. So you, I'm not you. If you look, if a girl wants to be with me, mm -hmm. you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna use this as leverage. Okay. I'm not gonna accept like, I'm not gonna accept that. Okay. You want to be with me? You can be with me. Yeah. Him but, only cut off all, all your hoes before the first date. Well, <laughs> well we can get into that later. <laughs> Would you make but, any sort of like compromises? Like, what's not the even compromise? That? I don't know. Just like if say like she wanted to live in a different city, like would you compromise? Like or what about to like a civil something? ceremony? Because like does it all like does Hold it, on. the whole one relationship? Question at a time, please. <laughs> does the whole relationship just have to be everything that you want, or are you gonna? Like, yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> it right. does. Well, I guess I'm not just yeah, answering that. Well, look, it's you guys. You guys want men to lead right you guys want you you want men to take initiative you want men to ask you yeah. out you want men to pay for Not all the time Hold on, let me finish yes. you want men to ask you out you want men to decide what you want to eat that night you don't know what you want to eat i'll pick what you want to eat you want me to make the decisions you want men to be dominant in the bedroom you want men to be leaders okay we don't need the obnoxious <laughs> gesturing um but it seems like in these so yes i'm going to be the leader in in those sorts of yeah. determinations right it now, just, in that the, scenario, it the like only the only scenario where I'm yeah. gonna consider marriage or consider something like this mm -hmm. is if I'm if I'm in the, uh, a relationship with a woman who's 
substantially out earning me. Okay. Only then, for example, if she can even then I would still, she still needs to defer leadership to me, even right. if she's out earning me. Okay. I think it's fair to say that's what you're looking for, and yeah. that's what right. maybe the majority of women you've been with are looking for, but it's not fair to say all women. Oh, yeah. I didn't say that. I well, when say you all say women, women we in general, wait, what, well, are what, you, I, what are you saying? Wait, wait, wait. Alluding? But so, what, do you mean in terms of wanting men to take initiative? Yeah, I don't think necessarily all women want that. So it's not fair to say. I actually do think it's fair to say, wait, wait, generally wait. speaking, definitely not I think feminist. It's, I hold on, hold on. I actually do think it's fair to say to do to use women in the general sense. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's not all women in the yeah. sense that I could find you one woman who like approaches men or like takes initiative. I can certainly find outliers, but I don't think it's wrong to, for example, say humans have ten fingers. Mm -hmm. There are some humans who are born with eleven, <laughs> but it's not wrong to say that humans have ten fingers. Yeah, and. And I think naturally, <laughs> biologically, women are, are wired to, to be more submissive, but I think when you kind of throw in the lovely cultural stew of feminism and all these weird, just new social standards, like the Me Too movement, I think makes it very hard for men to feel like they can approach women. Then you get women, whether it's cope or they actually are delusional and believe it, but thinking that they want to be more in their like masculine energy and making decisions, but I think that's largely a side effect of culture as opposed to your biological wiring. Wait, so you think it's, what, I mean, if you had to assign a percentage <coughs> in terms of women wanting men to be leaders and take initiative, do you think it's 80% women, 70% women? I think that's really women? just a question of how many women really identify as feminists and have taken that as a core part of their identity. I know there are some statistics that say it's like... Oh, I wasn't asking you. I was oh. asking her. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Sorry, what was it? How, the percentage? Well, because so I made the statement that while well, women want men to take initiative, be leaders, etc., and you were like, well, that's it's not all women. And I don't know if you're arguing like... I, I'm not arguing. I was just stating Oh, no, no, no. Opinion. I'm not upset if you are, even if you are arguing, but... Um, like, you, I don't think what you're saying is necessarily false. I just don't think we should generalize... Well, I mean, just for the sake of a conversation, it yeah. can be helpful sometimes to generalize. But, I mean, we can generalize, I, I mean, in the sense that, have you ever approached a guy? I have. You, you have? <laughs> I have. I'm going to, okay. When you say you approached a guy, did you, like, make eye contact with him and you considered that making the approach? No, I, I'm or, not scared to go up to men if I okay. find them attractive and maybe ask. Like, of oh, all the times that you've gone on the first date, who initiated that? There's been a few times I have. You did? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that's the case for most women? No, no, not necessarily. Okay. Do you think, I, do you think we could probably find, like, a large cohort of women who have never initiated? Absolutely. Okay. But who have been on numerous first dates. Yeah, Like, do absolutely. you think that there's, like, even the majority of women have never even approached a guy that they've been on, if they wanted to, or maybe they have, gone on dozens of first dates? Yeah, I agree with that. Do you think you could say the same thing about men? That there's a majority of men who have never made the first move and have been on dozens of dates? No, I don't no. think so. Okay. So there's differences. I mean, there's differences. Anyways, we were talking about marriage. <laughs> uh, Again, I don't, I don't see the benefit. Right. I agree with you. Uh, having been married myself, I think it complicates a lot of things. Um, go ahead. Go, go ahead. I think it complicates a lot of things, you know, uh, Financially, that's a big one for me. Financially, like if I get into another relationship again, I would prefer to have things um, se separated as far as finances and kind of. I I fiercely embrace my independence as a mm -hmm. woman. <laughs> um, so I guess getting into something that's a little bit more long term, I biggest thing I would do is probably move in with a person, but. Um, I think that, you know, with divorce and finances, mm -hmm. and uh, th I think that that complicates a lot of things. So I guess that's why I probably would never get married again. But that's just just me. Um, 
Um, I agree with you, Brian, that in the secular world, um, only women benefit from marriage and men do not. Um, yeah, there's no benefit. Men do not there's benefit. There's no benefit. I'm okay it's with all that. Risk. You're okay with that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Brian, you didn't answer my question. Okay would you that. get married? Would Me you get well. married? Sorry. It's like in a civil ceremony. Why? As a compromise, like you're not legally getting married. You're not signing any legal documents. I mean, documents. I'd have to review the laws, but in this hypothetical. <laughs> no, like if it was just, for example, a backyard party, much, you have all yeah, of your friends and your family there, and you're How saying. How much does she want? Verbal for the party? Is it what, $10,000? <laughs> it's just a barbecue. But you said you wanted a ceremony, so would this take place in the church? Like what? No, you, what in the about? backyard. So you're living so this, together. The, cer you... the ceremony is we invite a bunch of our friends over. Yeah, and, and we you do say like commitments. A half -assed. Yeah, and you say commitment. That's like some back. You do a whatever live stream. Shit. You're, she's, she's, you she's, getting, live stream. she's getting what she <laughs> wants, here. which is a commitment, like a like a commitment what? that she's showing in front of her friends and family. But you get you're getting what you want. What, by what not... is she actually getting? Like what is she? I think for women, and I getting? and I know that a lot of women will concur with me. I think women and i'm not saying all women but i think a lot of women want the show want the 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 ah, yes. having okay. people make witness to the testament of love and their love and having their friends and their family and having people witness it is a big deal for women and it's not about the party and it's not about the money it's literally having all of the people that she loves in her life witness it Am I so alone? You, so I was kind of agree with that. Agree so that. women want to have the ceremony, but they don't want to be a wife? I don't think that's it. I've heard that I, I don't think before. that's what she's saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's what she's but saying. But then though. comparing it to a traditional, like, religious marriage, like, you still have that celebration, right, in front of mm -hmm. everybody. And, like, yes, it's with God. Mm -hmm. But it's still that celebration with your loved ones to, to mm -hmm. celebrate something. But what, so, so the commitment is what? The love towards the, yeah, it's, just, it's we, your, we have a ceremony. Yeah, it's, it's just your outward representation yeah. of your more, commitment. Because what is what's so wrong with that? I mean, you can make I'm commitment to each I'm other, good. but if I'm you... good on the ceremony. Let's not have <laughs> okay. any friends over. <laughs> okay. I don't want to do catering. Catering. Yeah, that's yeah. Anyone that terrible. wants to, I'm uh, very Brian. Way. I'm yeah. good. I'm good on. Shut out of luck. What's the, the ceremony? It doesn't establish any sort of commitment. I feel like some men actually like do like the ceremony as well, though. Like I think it is mostly for women, but I think there are men out there that are like, okay, yeah, like I want to show yeah. my friends and family like this is like the love of my life, and it's just a fun like yeah, little exactly. celebration exactly. type thing. Exactly. I think there's a lot of people yeah. out there that are like that. Yeah. And it doesn't have to do. For some people, it's not like about God. And other people yeah. is. Regardless of how you feel about her, are you willing to compromise for who you find That's what your perfect to get partner at, yeah. and just do what they what would make them happy, even if you don't see a beneficial point in it? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to do that? What What is the compromise, though? You, you're not getting married the legally, but we, she's getting us a, co we a also commitment. We said a, it a earlier, and he said that he wouldn't compromise. He wants a woman that oh. wants to do exactly no, I, what look, he wants. There's some things you can compromise on, but... I just fail to see the purpose right. of a non, like a non-binding, like ceremony. I don't really. I feel like it's a status symbol. Like women want to be able to be like, I got the guy, which as we all do. But in the like hypergamous mind of women, it's mm -hmm. like you get to show off to your friends that you got the guy, assuming he's like higher mm -hmm. value. Because I feel like if you were marrying someone that your parents didn't approve of, you wouldn't be all like. Let's go have a wedding and bring all the friends here and have mm -hmm. it and show it off to everyone. I feel like it's kind of a you want to show off, which is good. You should want to show off your partner. So then, is but that not the difference in male female sex? So wait, what the ceremony? Who who is at the <laughs> yeah. head of the ceremony? I have a question. You're not. Is nobody there... nobody is officiating. It's just you and your partner. But do I have to give a speech? Not if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah. It's your, so it's, it's, it's your it's, wedding. There's no ceremony then. It's, it's, it's literally it's literally you just. It's just, a party. It could, I'm okay with a party. It could be basically anything. Yeah. Could I guess. Be whatever you want. Anything could be a ceremony. It could be it could be as simple as you exchanging. Anything could be a ceremony. And yeah. Someone that does this podcast, like, right. he's really nervous. He's like, is there going to be a speech? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, what? Well, because you said you were introverted, right? Yeah. Well, I guess it's different. There's only so What's many people here. What's your definition here. of a ceremony, though? <laughs> I think that's what he's ceremony. trying to get at. Yeah. What's the least amount that he what's, could do? What's your definition of a ceremony? Because there's a lot of different types of ceremonies. And do you know that marriages are also kind of considered as rituals? 
Word? <laughs> Word? Um, as far as the ceremony goes, I mean, sure, I guess. I don't know. There Fine. you go. Yeah. Go. We'll do the barbecue. I'll do. I'll do barbecue. a barbecue. That barbecue just sounds, sounds like a party, good. though. It doesn't no sound like a ceremony. making a deal. Do not like parties. A party could be a ceremony. I don't yeah. like parties. It literally oh, could like just be okay. a couple sentences back and forth. Couple sentences. And, yeah. Well, no also, more than five minutes. Oh, it I feel seems like so backwoods. Also, haggard. Though, I don't. I don't if, know. If you didn't know. like want to have like a huge wedding, like you didn't, like, you don't necessarily need to. Like you no could wedding, have it with though. just like there a few people. Have to be a it that's the thing. I don't it's want anti wedding. Yeah. You don't have a wedding. Ever. You anti- never no want, wedding. want to wed. I don't, <laughs> don't want a wedding. Don't want that. a marriage. Same. You I'm want a girl to cut off all of her hoes before the first date, but you will not commit to her. Ever. Of course, I'm committing to her, <laughs> Brian. How do you prove it, Naomi? And how do you prove it, Brian? How do you prove it, Naomi? Oh, but without a wedding, how do you prove it? What would what your do you way? Mean? I don't how know. How do I prove? Prove what? I mean that What's you are kind of saying the marriage is kind of that symbol, <laughs> like the, the proof of commitment. Kind That's of. what it is. You're gonna get the a proof. promise ring. The like, proof. I, but. What a promise okay, so saying. let's let's actually go back to religious <laughs> weddings. So what what are the uh, the vows that are typically exchanged? <laughs> Till death do us part. To love, to honor, What's the to divorce obey. rate in this country? Like fifty percent. I think it's more than fifty. Yeah. So you you get up, you do a. We, we're, we're part five of. Five figure. <laughs> you yeah, do a. Stitching. You two are divorced. <laughs> you do a five figure <laughs> ceremony. There there's a there's a head of the church there. Whatever. And you you exchange vows in front of dozens or even hundreds of your closest friends and family. You say, I will be with you till death do us part. Mm -hmm. And despite this commitment and despite the ceremony, Mm -hmm. people still get divorced Mm -hmm. frequently, Mm -hmm. frequently. So you, you talk of commitment. Where's the commitment? And women overwhelmingly initiate divorces. It's like 80% of women end divorces. So it's interesting to me. How can it possibly be? Actually, I want to go around the table on this. Here, we'll go around the table on this. More often than not, of all the relationships that you've had, and this can be anywhere from you've gone on a couple dates to you've been dating for years Mm -hmm. to marry. More often than not, do you end the relationship or does the guy? I've ended every single relationship. You've ended every single relationship. What about you? I've also ended every single relationship. How many relationships have you been in? Three. What about you? Three. What about you? Yeah, same. The last one was like kind of mutual. No, no, no. Well, state state your answer. Mostly me. Mostly you. How many relationships have you been in? Four, five. What about you? I've ended them all. I think like five. Five relationships. You've ended them all. I've ended them all, and I've only been in two. Two. What about you? I think I've been in like five or six, and only once has somebody else ended the relationship. What about you? I would say 75% me, and I think I've been in eight or nine relationships. Uh, I've been in four relationships, and I've ended all of them. Ended all three. Whoa. (laughs) So hold on. You got uh, a typical complaint I hear from women is, why are men so commitment phobic? Why are men scared of commitment? Why don't men want to get married? Well, we've just, I mean, this is... Mm-hmm. Because they cheat. But, right, but, but the you guys are like... so pressed to get commitment from I'm men. Pressed. I'm you not pressed at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't want you pressed. guys want commitment so badly. You want marriage so badly. I don't want marriage okay, so badly. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me make my <laughs> point. It does seem to be... Would you agree, though, that typically it seems to be women who will, like, push men towards commitment? Like, trying to get commitment from the man? In my experience, no. Okay. In any case, in any case, I often hear complaints from women saying that men, why are they scared of commitment? They're commitment phobic. Why don't men want to commit? All of you, it's almost unanimous, have ended all of your relationships. Can I add Once you get commitment, you overwhelmingly okay, end. Can I not the thing is, is, So who's really, who's really, who's really scared of commitment? On. Hold on. Who's the no, one who's How many girls have been cheated on? All of you ended. All of you how ended. How many girls have been cheated on? And that's why you ended the relationship. All of you Ooh. ended your relationship. Because of the man. All of you ended your relationship. But because of the man. Like the, I feel like probably most of the women here have like ended those relationships because that man probably did something. Lack of commitment. Like lack of commitment. Like she said, like I ended both or one of mine because I was getting cheated on. And then the only reason I ended the other one was just because we weren't like right for each other. 
But y'all talk that. about commitment like, oh, Brian, you're just, I don't, you don't want to get married. But if you find out commitment. that they're fucking y'all other people, ending, then like. Y'all be ending all of your relationships. Because they weren't working why is out. That? It has nothing to do why with that commitment. Why is that going on? Brian, I have an answer why, why can't you commit and work through the problem? I have an answer Because some you, problems Brian. aren't worth working through. As someone through. who just came out of a relationship that I had Okay, absolutely. that was fair. That was just, <laughs> he was trying to get you no, fat. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's where he draws the line. That's legit. No, I mean. I give you a pass. I mean, my last relationship, the seven month one, um, I feel like, and I'll speak for myself, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I feel like um, I compromise my own boundaries uh, for the sake of love and for the sake of, you know, this person's so great, it, you know, overshadows all the negative. And I feel like um, by not having boundaries and by not upholding them, you allow things in your life that later on hurt you and ultimately end up being the demise of the relationship to begin with. Sure. So I feel like having standards and having boundaries and respecting yourself the most out of everyone in your life, no one is going to respect you more than you respect you. And what you allow to happen will continue to happen. So I feel like for myself, this is why I'm single and will stay single for a while, is I need to work on my self-respect because I require a lot. I deserve a lot and I bring a lot to the table. And I feel like um, as women, it's easy to let our boundaries slip um, for the sake of love. Did I make a point though, Brian? Well, what was the point? Well, you said that men don't want to commit, and like they 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 don't. And that's the reason why we ultimately end up ending relationships. Or they're just abusive. All of us like well, raise our hands, right? They they did something to make <laughs> us initiate that. Why is it that we we should just they, were, so you're be saying, okay with them? Is your on argument us? that in for all the girls here who answered when they in all the instances that they ended a relationship? In every instance, it was either infidelity or abuse. It was do you me. genuinely no, think? It was. It was do you not genuinely me. think no. that that's the case that's for all saying. instances when women end mar- no. uh, relationships? No, but I'm saying look there at the, always look has at the numbers to be... here. How many girls are here right now? And we all raise our hands. Yeah. About what? That you got cheated on? Yeah, and that's a reason why we ended a relationship. It wasn't just that's like, justi- oh, I'm sick of you. That's justifiable. I think girls infidelity. are more loyal than guys. Eh, I'm not so sure about that. Girls are eh, way more so sure. than What does commitment mean, though? Disagree. Like, I don't think commitment means, oh, you stay together forever no matter what. Like, I don't isn't, think that's what that marriage is. I that's mean, until <laughs> things are, you shouldn't be together anymore. I don't know. I just, just because we've broken up with our boyfriends doesn't mean we don't want commitment. Mm-hmm. We just want the person that we're with at that time to be committed to us. And it goes <laughs> back to self-respect. I said in the beginning that cheating is a non-negotiable for me. So if that's something... Who is it a no vote? I mean, who would? Wait, I have a know, question. Some people, some people, some people, some people, some people. Michael Knowles, the last time I was on here, Michael Knowles was on here, and he said even if his wife cheated on him, he would stay with her. And I'm like, he's Catholic, yeah. though. He's Catholic. I would grow up Catholic. Although, I don't know, uh, can, in infidelity, you can, can you, I think even in the Catholic faith, if there's abuse or something, you can still get a divorce. But I'm just saying, like, that's okay. Papal because that's what disposition. He, what? Um, anyways, hold anyways. on. I got to move on. I want to bring it back to what we were talking about, though. You're, That's it, crazy. It all stemmed from me asking you about your witchcraft. Oh, uh, welcome and back. And somehow it got into marriage. She was asking <laughs> if you were religious. Because you got the cross on your... You're wearing a cross. Yeah, I said it was But then spiritual. on your... So you have a cross yes. earring here, but on your other side, there's a pentagram. pentagram. Mm-hmm. Isn't pentagram And then it also has the astrology of... wheel right here. Okay. But why wear the cross at all? Because you know what the cross symbolizes, and of if you course. don't, but no, I do know what, what does it symbolize. Yeah, of course, Christianity. No, all but that no, but more get more granular with it. What do is you want it? to explain it for me? I, yeah, I have no problem. Please, so the cross, yeah. the cross is a symbol um, n- worldwide mm-hmm. uh, to represent that Christ died on the cross, uh, yeah. was crucified on the cross, mm-hmm. and that is the only symbol for yeah. what a cross stands for. So I'm. Thomas the poet donated one hundred dollars. Are you Christian? The lack of accountability from the ladies on the panel is just astounding. Are you saying you played no role in the end of the relationship? If you played no role, then can you not choose good men? Hmm. What? So to that to that question, absolutely. I it takes two to tango, and I feel like I didn't show up in a relationship respecting myself, and I allowed myself to be disrespected. And that's my part in the relationship is going into it, not fully being the person I, you, you need to be the person you want to find a partner. Like the, the, the level of respect, the level of morals and values you you're talk, expect. You're talking to her, right? No, I'm answering uh, the question. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. No, I'm just saying. So um, the question that came up on the oh, screen. Hold on. 
7 septillion 777 sextillion 777 quintillion 777 quadrillion 777 trillion 777 billion 777 million 777 thousand 777 donated 100 dollars question for the ladies what decades did world war one and world war two occur bonus question Name one allied power and one axis power from World War II. Okay, we're going to start with you. We'll go around the table on this question. What was the question? Uh, decades. What decades did World War I and World War II occur? And then there's the bonus question. Name one allied power and one axis power from World War II. Go ahead. Mm, I'm not educated enough for that. I don't think I can answer. Here, we're going to we're going to start we're going to start with the she we're going to start it, with the decades starting with you. I'm not educated enough for she that. Knows answer. It. How about just guess? I'm not, I don't have you, a guess. You don't want to guess? Pull your mic closer to you, please. No guess. Pull your mic cl closer. Don't pull yourself closer to the yes, mic. Yes, sir. Just take a guess. Engage with the con with the uh, message. Nine, 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 nine. Just, no, just. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to guess. How about what century do you think World War One and World War Two occurred? A hundred. No, just answer. Okay, you're not going to be bad faith. Answer the question. <laughs> I just, I'm not educated enough for this like topic. I don't want to give my response. Can you respect that? Are you just gonna say that for all the other questions though? No, no, of course not. Well, why don't you just engage in good faith with the question and just take a, take a guess? Okay, can I have you, like you a don't... time range that I can guess from? Give her an ABC. So. <laughs> yeah, like. ABC. <laughs> Jesus. So, so there's, there's. I haven't taken the Before Christ. <laughs> A, there's BC, B, B, C, A, D. So let's say from like zero, year zero to 2000. That's the the range. Zero. World War One, World War Two. Oh, World War Two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that one. A, so A, C. Um, fuck. Can I just say A, C at this point? Mm -hmm. Air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, air conditioning. Yeah, literally. Okay, but just you're you're gonna have to answer the question. Okay. Take a guess. After if, Christ and then century. <laughs> Fourth? <laughs> Tenth? Century? Three, six, nine? <laughs> Mafia? <laughs> Do you want to just answer the question so I can move things along? I don't know what century. I don't know. There's a difference between giving a troll answer and making a good faith guess. Go ahead. Why does she have to? Stop. Just go ahead. <laughs> You're burning a lot of time here. Can I you know, kindly just I'm, make a guess? But I told you I'm not educated. Clearly. What about you? Thank you. It might sound really stupid, but early 1900s. So, okay, what decades did World War I and World War II occur? It's in the 1900s. Well, there's, those are two separate wars. I know. I'm saying Okay, like, early 1900s. <laughs> yeah. Decade? Give us a decade. I don't know. So 1910s, 1920s, timeline. 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. Uh, I'm going to guess World War 1 was early 1920s maybe, 1920s okay. to 30s. World, World War 2 maybe 50s to 60s. All right, what about you? Mm, not good at history. I was a science major. Um 1930s for World War One, 1940s for World War Two. That's my final answer. What about you? Yeah, 1920s to 30s for World War One, and then later for World War Two. Well, what? Which? <laughs> yeah, just give. Just give. Um, sure, like 50s, 60s. 50s, 60s. Okay. I would That's say actually, I 1930s, 1940s for World War One, and then 50s, 60s for two. I don't know. All right. 1910s to 1920s for World War One, 1920s to four, late 1920s to 40s for World War Two. Okay, what about you? To be honest, I have no idea. I was a science major too. I'm gonna <laughs> guess no early or the, the 10s decade and the 40s. Okay. Uh, 10s decade, 1917 for World, World War One. Um, what is it? 1934. I was literally to 1934 or 1936 for World War II. 
was going to say 18. Uh, July 1914 <laughs> okay. to... Oh, shit. Uh, like, this is the preamble. September 1918. Give her the mic. November... Uh, 1939. Period. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. We love September history, like, first, technically. Uh, 1939 whatever. to September, I think second. Nineteen. That's our history girl right there. And can we name? Wow. Access to yes, we do. We are going to do the bonus question. We'll we'll go around. So this is for World War II. This is for World War II. Don't read that. This is for World War II. Name one Allied power and one Axis power from World War II. Go ahead. How is this Go ahead. Oh, sorry, what'd you say? I, I was reading the comments. Yeah, I was literally. Oh God, bro. Please, just try to pay attention. You've been zoning out, looking at the fucking monitor the entire time. For the rest of the show, don't even look at the monitor. Yes, look at sir. me or look at who's talking. Okay. Okay. World War II, one Allied power, one Axis power. Go ahead. I don't even know what that means. One ally power. Okay, are you familiar power. at all with World War II? I, I haven't taken a history class in like four years. Okay, so one, name a bad guy and name a good guy. Oh my God. From World, From World War, War II. II. I don't know. Why do you keep asking me these questions that I don't know? I keep telling you I'm not. Is your answer just you don't know? Yeah. Okay, what about you? One allied power, one axis power from World War II. I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to sound too much of a genius. I'm not totally sure on the definition of those, so I don't know if I feel comfortable answering. Exactly. Okay. I'm sorry. Fuck. Um, shit. Japan. For which? Exactly. <laughs> they, they, they were against us. The Bronasons donated the Pearl $100. Harbor. Dollars. Repeal right? the Nineteenth Amendment immediately. <laughs> the majority of these women make our tardy people uh, look like they have it. their stuff together. <laughs> Goth mongrel chick needs the boot. Gustavo, get the fucking rocks. What does boost mean? Get yeah. the rocks. Yeah. Abdul. Yeah. Get the rocks. Get the rocks. What well, I, I said, Pearl Harbor. This, there were, that's I not guess. a power. Like that's not <laughs> one of the powers. J that was Japan. So okay, one. I know. Allied, I was saying that's that was in my head. One, one allied power, one axis power from World War Two. Okay, what about you? Um, <laughs> we were against Vietnam. <laughs> no. Oh boy. <laughs> Do it. Tell me. <laughs> Wait. So World War Two, one allied power, one axis power. Go ahead. I obviously do not know. Okay, what about you? I don't know either, so I'm just not gonna guess oh, either. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how it's relevant. The British for it's allies? Just to make us look stupid. Sure. sure. Why was Russia I, for like, Axis. I, Russia or Japan? <laughs> or, oh, yeah. Okay, all right. What about you? Um, uh, Midway, Japan for... Midway was an island in the Pacific, but... Right, but that was, that was J a Japan. Right, that was part of sure, Pearl okay. Harbor. Yes, Japan yeah. access power. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Allied power. Uh, the British. Okay. What about you? Uh, I would say the British is. I'm just piggybacking off of you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the British uh, are our 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 our. Gosh, say that five times fast. <laughs> are our allies. <laughs> Okay. And then Japan. You Do you it. want to give us three allied I got, powers? I, just, I thought this was a dating powers. show. I, know. Well, I don't understand how this is relevant, bro. In Japan, like, Mussolini, Italy, channel. Hitler, Germany, and then on the other side of things, you have Hitler. the United States, France, not the Vichy government. You also have the Soviet oh, yeah, Union, technically that. China. Nice. Thank you for uh, the re the re yeah. I'm a STEM major, to I mean, be fair. Yeah, a lot of us were. Yeah, I know, but like World War II. Like, thank you for the crash course. The United States, Germany. Yeah, but all the history books, a lot of books, us haven't taken like, history in like really that six years accurate. i graduated I high school in like <laughs> but don't you like world war ii the biggest conflict but the history ever. books are like they really of, that like, accurate not a lot of us like whatever not, not do you like, like understanding history I matters like, i feel like I you guys do 100 you guys sure. know more no, about kim kardashian matter. i think no. this shows that the school system and here has failed us <laughs> yeah it really let's Maybe. blame the school system or the history books but what about like self-knowledge? I just self think knowledge. I can't remember like a lot. Like I'm like, on Wikipedia. What, are, what, are there, what other self-knowledge is not a good spot for self-knowledge? Well, 
first of uh, all. History is one. I, I want to keep it, you know, the, the chatter <laughs> sent it in. I we asked it, but wanted. it's not related. Yeah, that's, they that's what they wanted. To be fair, every single person like at this table has something that they're we all look knowledgeable Let's in. move forward. Nah, bro, I said he uses like Wikipedia. Yeah. Like, all right. Whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Where is the Did you see it? Center? Oh, that. Brie is easily the most beautiful woman you've had on. You should all recognize. Who w, would date? She is beautiful. Who would date Brian? Oh, okay. Matchmaking brown Who's Brie? Who's Brie? Oh. Okay. Yeah, hey, yeah. Brian. <laughs> hey. Oh my God. All right. If you want, okay, we'll go around the table. He's asking if you would date date me. Go ahead. No. <laughs> That's fine. No. I don't have any hoes, so I mean, if you want to get dinner after this, hey. Ooh. not a no. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's All right. nice. How old are you? Thirty-four. <laughs> Yeah, too young. Too I like young. the dad bods. Okay. I'm into it. Right, Wait, would you dad bods? <laughs> I have a question, Brian. No. Nope. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, no. You're very cool. Oh, all right. There you go. All right. Yeah. Um, what was your question? Um, if I were to say yes, would you date me for my age? Wait, what do you mean? Because I'm 22. For your age? Yeah, like, am I too young for you? No. Okay, interesting. There's other considerations, though. <laughs> I will say that. Okay. Um, we have. Wait, can you only date like male witches if that's a thing, or she can date warlocks? No. Who do you date? Wait, can let me okay. let me have you read this one. Love the panel tonight, especially Naomi. Effing love her, Brian. Her body is just sick, Naomi. Oh, bro, I totally crush for you. Simp. How Sorry. do I make that happen? <laughs> she that's does. She has so visible is abs. Like, is this Brian, like one of your up. your homies? I don't know. I hope so. It's just a little. Okay. Are you sub to my OnlyFans, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what? You're getting money from this. All right. Thank Say you, thank Thomas. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, Thomas. Yeah, literally. It's just a little, a little simpish, you know. But all right. Thank you, I Thomas. like sims. I told you, you that last time. Uh, can you read this one? Was seeing a crystals girl for a couple of months. She said she never get married because she doesn't want government to have a say in her relationship she was a walking red flag but that throat was primo uh, oh man <laughs> was I supposed to say that? she was the mouth that got away <laughs> <laughs> okay yes. uh thank you clay um or maybe he she got away uh that's interesting all right and then we have a chat here from so Stephen, long. thank you. Marriage is a spiritual union, covenant before God. Marriage between a man and a woman is a direct reflection, spelling error, of Christ's love for the church. All you brainwashed 304s <laughs> resist the slave mind Trump 2024. Hey, Hashtag Christ w. is Christ. King. Uh, okay. Stephen Carrera, appreciate your super chat, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Uh, okay, where were we? We're talking about you being a witch. Um, you oh. talk about. I think I'm we got really half, halfway around the table about something. Yeah, we were. Didn't, on a different I don't think so. Topic. Yeah, we, we were. were. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Were we? Yeah, we, we, we went like way off that. topic. Way past it. I think well, you were talking we about already. marriage. Yeah, which, it was something to do with marriage. Yeah. I was think. it? Yeah. We were talking about. Oh, the uh, you're right. The are you actually single was yeah. The, oh, yeah. the conversation. Oh, I was a little more ago. curious just yeah. to wrap up the witch conversation. Um, so you cast spells or what, what exactly do you do? Um, currently, I'm not casting spells. I'm just educating myself a little bit more before. I have done like one or two spells, but it was all about myself, all about okay. spiritual I empowerment and stuff like that. Okay, got it, got it. All right. So we were going around the table when it comes to your relationship status. So I think we we uh, finished with you. You claimed proper yeah, single. Yeah, I'm single. Your proper Wait, but so hold on. Uh, we'll get to you in a sec. So last time you were on the show, <laughs> yep. you gave me quite a bit of pushback because I said that when first meeting a girl, I would want her to be properly single and not like dating a bunch of other dudes, even if she wasn't have sex with them. Right. I just wouldn't want a girl who's like dating a bunch of dudes. Certainly it's 100% a deal breaker if she's currently sexually involved with another guy, even if it's casual. Even if it's casual, for me, 100% deal breaker. Goodbye, back to the streets you go. Mm -hmm. Yet you are currently precisely in that situation. But so why, why do you find it objectionable for me to essentially desire a woman who's in your position 
I mean, it's not realistic to assume that every woman is in my position. And like, I, I'm very untraditional, clearly, but I do want a tra- traditional relationship. Make that make sense. <laughs> You're non-traditional, but you want a traditional relationship? So if I didn't tell you what I did for work, I mean, you would have no idea, right? What, what's the context of, of me being untraditional? Because otherwise, mean, I feel like I'm a, a very indica- traditional there would person. Be, uh, there'd be other indicators. What are the other indicators? Well, I mean, aside, if you, even if you didn't disclose, um, even if you did not disclose what you do for work, for example, I mean, it could be something to do with your appearance, it could be uh, your degree of modesty, that sort of thing, which could make it guide someone in determining whether they view you as a traditional woman or not. Do you think you haven't been able to attract a traditional man or traditional relationship because of what you do for work, or why do you think you haven't been able to? You well, guys I'm not, I'm, not there, lo- I'm not looking for a relationship right now, so I'm not like even trying to, and like any man that's trying but to But didn't to you me. just say you do, hypothetically down the road, want a traditional relationship? Yeah, down the road. Do you think you're deserving, given your line of employment, of a traditional relationship? Everybody I is love deserving of love. Deserving. No, no, I respect your well, standpoint. Well, I think people can be accountable for their actions. Accountable for And aren't actions. you a religious person? Don't you believe that God is the person who would ultimately be holding her accountable? Well, I think if you engage in a profession where you're constantly making men or whoever engage in sinful actions, such as lust and, frankly, contributing to the decline, of marriage and a lot of religious institutions and values in this country, then I would say you're not necessarily an innocent bystander. I agree God is the ultimate judge, but from an anecdotal level of just your experience, I think if you're engaged in an industry that isn't really doing anything to promote values that are good for a society or frankly for for women, then I don't necessarily think that I'm you deserve to be, I'm not saying you specifically, but just people okay. who engage in that deserve to be, or not even deserve, I just don't think you would, f- really find a man who would bring to the table what you want because any traditional man is not going to put up with someone who has a past like yours. I very much disagree. So the last time I was on here, I respect your opinion. Um, Michael Knowles, right, was on here the last time and we were going back and forth quite a bit and he even talked about a 10-year rager period where he went off the walls. Him and his wife now, who he was a high school sweetheart with, they broke up for 10 years. He went on a bender. He did ungodly things and then now he's back on his path i mean he's now traditional conservative has that traditional woman they have that traditional relationship and so i just don't think like what i do now defines me yeah it's part of who i am and they have to accept that but well what he did though i think there there is a difference there right having like a decade of fun versus having videos of yourself having sexual relations with other men on the internet. There's a little bit sure, of a difference Sure, he didn't disclose there. what he did, though. I highly doubt Michael Knowles was Can filming porn. We don't know. I we don't know that. I'm fairly confident to say that there's no <laughs> pornography. But, but still, I think that he we're, we're missing the point. He could have recorded himself But also, to, to that point, years. I think one of the issues with women who engage in, I don't like the term sex work, but if you want to call it that, is that you take on, I think, a very masculine interpretation of sexuality. In other words, I think that Michael Knowles can probably, or whoever it is, a guy can get away with having 10 years of fun and it doesn't have as much of a negative ramification on them, whereas female sex- sexuality, it really makes it harder for you to, I think, pair bond with your mate down the road when you have sex with a lot of people or if you just view sex as sort of I a commodified. Yeah, I don't have sex with a lot of people. I, I think that's a very yeah. valid point. I think yeah. it's a valid point. I just well, also too. Not. I think my my other issue, even taking the the sex stuff out of it, like for example, you know, oh, say if you had children, or would someone who used to do OnlyFans like make a good wife? I think even the fact that there's like I said, explicit content of you on the internet. I also think, and again, I mean this in a respectful way, but I think it's it speaks to people's character and morality in the sense that. Again, I'm sure you'll hit me with that you find doing OnlyFans really empowering and we can have that discussion, but I think it sort of shows that people prioritize short-term gain for short or for just short-term profit, like it's immediate gratification because again, I don't buy into the narrative that if you join OnlyFans you just start making six figures a month on average, you make $180 a month and OnlyFans loves that that myth is perpetuated, but putting that aside, I just think that it speaks to a woman's character that they they would do that and I think that that 
speaking of commitment, to me would make it think that someone who does OnlyFans and is so willing and eager to sell their body for male validation or for what, would probably have a higher propensity to cheat. And frankly, I don't know if they would make from a, just looking at it objectively from a mating perspective, necessarily a great mom, because I think that, like I said, it's putting short-term gratification for money, for whatever lifestyle you want, and not looking down down the road. I don't know if you want to have kids, but... I do, yeah, and I don't think it's going to affect my children and the, my unborn how can, children. How can you say that, though? I mean, it's a profession, regardless. I worked in corporate before I did OnlyFans. I did both at the same time. So, like, at first, it was a secret. I kept it a very big secret from everything, and then, so if you had to keep it a secret, though, was that because it was bad? Because I didn't want to get fired. So why would they have fired you, though? Because that's just how it is. I still think I... I mean, it's my body. So I. Can so do. my question to you girls that do OnlyFans and stuff like that, um, what's your exit plan? Um, I had a question, so now my brain is scattering. Sorry. Um, my exit plan out of all of this just specifically getting out of sex work um i want to throw my own events i'm an event management major while i'm work on working on there do, but do you have like a timeline or like a like a goal like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like i make x amount of money now i can retire or i have two years in i'm done now yes yeah are you guys gonna pull the like nala card and be like oh i forgive myself for what i did i'm repenting no, i'm like no, a new I'm no she still has her only fans though wait no but um about the question you guys are both christian right yeah i am okay so i had Christ not super religious actually i had christians knock on my door <laughs> the other day maybe it's a sign um but they were just explaining to me like your guys's beliefs and everything so I was asking them about like, okay, so he died for our sins. So they told me that means we came to this life already as sinners. Mm -hmm. So we can do whatever we want as long as we believe in Jesus Christ, question mark, and God. Because that's how they made it seem. Because I was like, I don't want to say the R word, the R word, but I was like, so if I R word someone, I'm still going to heaven? Mm -hmm. So... The reason why we have free will and the reason why there is so much death and destruction and evilness in this world, which is very unfortunate, is because we have free will. And God wouldn't be a loving and gracious father if he made us love him. So the free will is by choice. To, we get to choose to love him or we get to choose not to. Um, that's why there's death and destruction and chaos. But when it comes to intentionally making bad decisions, you can live your entire life and make intentionally really, really bad decisions, but the turning point in, in Christianity specifically is acknowledging that you're, you've made faults, acknowledging that you've hurt people, acknowledging mm -hmm. your sins and turning from it. But yeah, and then still, and, of course, like praising and like being my, religious. Yeah. My opposition though to what you guys do is not really actually derived necessarily from religious stuff. I think it's more that what you guys are doing is part of a myriad of ways that whether it's big corporations elites in this country powerful globalist organizations want to destroy the nuclear family want to destroy traditional gender roles want to frankly destroy traditional relationships so i'm not couching it in like religious no, speak. i think you look at life more as a physical material matter way um, i do yeah because like you believe in heaven and everything right like you go to heaven yeah see i believe in reincarnation so my body right now this body isn't going to come with me to the next life so whether i'm making money however the fuck you guys care about it doesn't matter in my opinion because sorry to it's interrupt only you. but i'm not soul. even talking just about you i'm talking about the other people's sure. lives that you're impacting not get not you specifically no, but good, with the good. work that only fans mm -hmm. creates like do you think only fans is a net positive on society um, I think it's an inevitable part men, of society. Men watch I, porn regardless, I, so I think if they're going to watch free porn, they might as well watch I think my everything porn happens for sexuality a reason. Is okay, an inevitable Naomi. Part. <laughs> but like, okay. everything so happens you, for a reason. So, but, but like what I have to say, if, if no offense, if, if I ask you if what you do is good for society, and within one second your comeback is, well, it's just going to happen. That's no, not really that a great argument comeback. for why it's good. That's just sort of like a neutral wash, right? I mean, so what's the difference between mainstream porn and OnlyFans to you in your well, eyes? Anything? Um, I have never consumed OnlyFans content or explicit content. I don't Are you believe scared that. of it? 
Um, I am scared of what you guys are doing to your, your bodies, your okay. souls, and the men who watch your content. Okay. So, yes, I would say I am scared May of it. May I ask it. why you're scared of it? Like, are you, is there anything in your childhood that, like... No, um, I actually have wonderful parents who raised me, and I think that's precisely why I'm scared of are it. You, have you been cheated on a lot? Like, because usually people who are, like, scared of, like, girls like that... I don't... Doc Venability has donated like, $100. Female promiscuity is a firm indicator of cluster B personality disorder. A cluster B woman will not make a good partner or a good mother. By extension, no healthy man will want to marry OF. I don't think the reason Thank that you, Dr. Nablus, appreciate opposed it. to OnlyFans is because I think that that's why men have have cheated on me mm -hmm. if that's what you're saying no yeah i was just trying to pick your brain a little bit but Feel um, free. yeah no i because i like to see the root of why people are this way um what well, is, is your reason why you do only fans like oh well someone's they're going to consume the content anyways i can't make a change so i may as well do it that's not mine mm, not so much why do you guys do it then i like genuinely enjoy it to be honest. so honest. sorry i'm like <laughs> your point of like you were raised by good parents like i totally respect that and like that's your viewpoint on like why you don't enjoy yeah, porn but like true. i was raised by really good parents also and i come from a good family and that's true and they have good morals at the end of the do day do they approve of what you they're do for work they support me they're because they're very open-minded yeah so my question to you ladies is if you genuinely think that what you do contributes positively to society um if Let's just say that what you're doing, you're running a business, right? Mm -hmm. If you had to create a mission statement, can you give me some character traits of what your business consists of? Would so, it be would it be honesty, respect, loyalty? Of course. Give me give me some characteristics of the business that you run. Um, loyalty, um, like you said, respect, don't, commitment. But, but don't just pair it off of what I'm saying. Okay, I'm trying. No, to think. no, because I'm I'm genuinely trying to understand because commitment because how can you tell if a man or woman is single how can you tell if you're not talking to someone that is already taken how can you tell but that's well, you can't the, that's the exactly. companionship though. i would say companionship don't. i'm very honest with me like i don't have chatters so it is me speaking like i said do you guys messages. ever talk to them though one-on-one -on -one? Mm -hmm. yeah yes. and don't don't you think it's better to profit off of a man who's cheating on their wife no, no i don't I think, think it's you're enabling oh, what <laughs> interesting i don't feel that way i just i'm just conf <laughs> I, I i get it but like we all obviously have different views like spiritually religiously and i just yes but i think what you guys do you you play the like laissez-faire like oh i'm just doing this because it's fun and empowering but it has mm -hmm. a really really negative effect on society and i'm just wondering if you if no you i do agree positive. because porn addiction is a very big thing so but like, i don't believe in porn addiction what do you you don't believe, believe in porn addiction it has i mean yeah it hasn't scientifically been proven as a thing gambling has but porn hasn't um i think <laughs> porn addiction is, is yeah i know even billy eilish made a song about it well we can pull up but I just, you want <clears throat> like, do you really want to be sitting there defending, being like, porn addiction isn't a thing, I'm and just saying, selling like, naked pictures of my body so online you is great. All you want, but it hasn't been proven by science. So you think that a gotta, man... Gotta trust the studies. I'm yeah. just saying. I mean, is religion proven by science? Again, I, I am not some, like, Bible-thumping... <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm just playing devil's advocate. I, I actually have, have no I once harsh rooted my arguments in anything religious? No, you're good, you're good. No, just, yeah. I, that's not what I but I just I think you guys like I said I said can you point to one positive thing that what only that only fans does for society companionship for, I could I can chime in I don't do I don't do only fans but I can say I grew up when the internet was just getting started and I think for many girls young girls they can learn about themselves, learn about their bodies. I think that's disgusting, especially when you see how they've been pushing but explicit not, content not, on not, young girls. Not, Why do you think boys? it's disgusting? All, that means you're looking at them sexually. That's kind of weird. All, not all she just only said fans. that porn showing... No, like, I didn't say porn. <laughs> I didn't say porn. Inherently not sexual. all OnlyFans <laughs> is completely explicit. Some exactly. only well, I don't think they're, they're Wait, are you saying that young, young yeah, girls what? are going to OF to get sexual health education? Some Is that might. what? No. Some no. might. No, that's no. absurd. That's not what That's absurd. Meant. Some might. I don't know. Yeah, or that's, some, or that's, some that's, might grow up in such a religious okay, home but not, that they're afraid to explore that themselves. That is precisely my point. 
And or, that OnlyFans creates a pathway and a pipeline to normalizing commodifying your body and viewing sex through a very weird very parasocial lens that if that platform didn't exist those people would not have access to the platform now i'm sure all you sexually liberated however you want to euphemize it women would say oh that's so great that young women can sit there and when they're 16 because they're evil christian parents are like don't have premarital sex oh well i don't feel that way that's that's precisely the problem so let me ask you a question how did you learn about sex (laughs) Um, I had sex ed in my class or my school that so did nothing. Like so like is the internet basically a, a huge conglomerate of sex ed and all of the different avenues that one could educate themselves? I'm not critiquing learning about sex. My critique is very specific to OnlyFans in the context of what she said, which is that OnlyFans, the, the uh, one-liner on why the elevator pitch for OnlyFans is that it is, quote, great for commitment. And I think that that is abjectly false right no right companionship people like to spend their time with me i don't but need, I i'm think, not always naked on there i think i think that's a sort of a, a siren song i think it's a a false flag in the sense that you're perpetuating this like lie this frankly delusion in these guys heads that they're in a relationship just, with you you're privately chatting with mm-hmm. them right you, you're giving them the girlfriend experience that's the distinguishing factor between only fans and porn but you're not ever actually giving them a meaningful relationship you're just sort of stringing along the guy into thinking that they could potentially have something with you okay. and frankly that's probably why you sit there and say you aren't seeing anyone because that's a real cr- critical well, maybe, part well, of your maybe, not, maybe so that's better pause. for him than nothing so maybe let's he'll... let me bring up a point what about twitch so a girl that's streaming on twitch she's not naked yeah and she's getting donations for hanging out with people then what are your thoughts on that simps yeah i mean that but oh again, it's, so mm-hmm. how is that different if i'm There's not naked on only fans on my life I mean, people who watch my show, they're not watching me because they're lonely. They're watching because they want to watch political content. Because you're content. hot. No, I, you're actually, still I'm, making a, I'm connections a really good investigative No, reporter. I'm sure you're, you're very smart. They don't watch, you're and I have been argument. very careful to not have my job because of the way I look. But frankly, what you just said right there, I think is a perfect reflection of the OnlyFans mindset. I know you were half kidding when you said that, yeah. but that shows you that you've commodified me into the reason that I have my job is because of how I'm I look. I have my job your... because I'm actually extremely well-educated and I'm a very good investigative w. reporter. Yeah. But from the OnlyFans mindset, you would only think that I have my job because of the way I look because I that's all you're valued for. I'm not, but I didn't say also, that about you. Also, I want to flip that. You're looking at us like that. Well, because you guys are doing that okay, to yourself. No, they no like... I wasn't doing it to you. Well, I'm going to look at you guys as people who commodify and, and exploit your bodies. Immediately. I do. So, so I the do. second you find person. out that we f- we have OnlyFans, you're just like... I think it speaks to your character. Okay. I do. I get it. Don't you think... I mean, I'm just like you probably think me working for Steve Bannon, who I don't know your politics, but you think that speaks to my character. I think what you choose your profession yeah. speaks speaks to your yeah. character, right? Mm-hmm. That's not a judgmental... I mean, I guess it's judgmental definitionally but that's not a judgmental with a pejorative connotation i'm just holding you guys accountable for your actions just like if you guys don't like trump i'm sure you would hold me accountable for working for arguably the most maga most pro-trump podcast in the the media ecos- media ecosystem right yeah so i'm holding you guys accountable for for what you do too i just think what you do is considerably considerably worse um for the country for society writ large and i don't think you guys have really given me one actual reason as I to why it's good talk. Um, society. <laughs> well, society, society is Christ huge. is Lord donated $100. Thank you, man. Listen to me very carefully. There is a reason why, for all of human history, for thousands of years, prostitution and selling yourself has mostly been viewed as shameful. Society is unraveling. You say society is huge, but not with declining birth rates. I just think you're too attached to physical and material items, and I think... You need to like touch wait, grass and meditate. Touch. Wait. She just. To, I've, I gotta comment because on this. Because you're just too attached to OnlyFans, girls. What is wait, the wait, wait, obsession? Hold on. You said that well, she's. A- you said Natalie is too attached to physical and material. Yeah, because when you think about it, but this look is at all, all the, the, physical, the accessories your you have. Your job is physical and material. No, Mine I know is it intellectual is. and emotional. I know it is. You I, sell your body. I've never sold anything physical. I know, but my I my believe life. that my soul is gonna reincarnate to the next life. So Can you reincarnate my into physical, a duck? So like it, it, yes, and my physical <laughs> my you got physical a duck body coming up in your next is life. not coming with me to the next life. That's physical what body I not coming in. with you. My body, no, just my soul. Word. Mm-hmm. But all right, here, hold I on. like respect all your points you're making. I just disagree, no, and you is, disagree you know, with me. I just disagree with my you. Own that's, what, that's why we're here. Yeah. yeah, but I just I still don't think you guys have given like 
any defense of why only females was my defense. Maybe they don't need to defend themselves. That was my defense. Well, I do think I, you can use whatever word you want instead of defend, but I do, like, I can say what I do for work. I'm very proud to wake up every day and have the job I do. I think it's a net positive mm -hmm. for society. Can you guys say that? I mean, for my subscribers, yeah, I impact their life in a positive way. Wait, just curious, how? Uh, yeah, I already said companionship. And I'm not selling a false girlfriend thing. It's the same but it as So you're their girlfriend? I Wait, to. I thought you were single. Oh, so you are <laughs> just, uh, you're dating multiple you men. That would be, yeah, that would be too much. Wait, it's no, not, you are dating multiple. I'm not multiple, selling you're a dating girlfriend your experience, people. but I'm, I compared I thought that, it to Twitch already. Wait, so, but you said your companionship, romantic companionship. No, like right? I am companionship to my subs. Romantically? No. no. So what if they're not romantically interested in you? Well, oh, they're romantically. They are. But you're not in them. Well, I'm not dating any of them. What is that? Like, but then how is it? It's but it's it's not actual companionship. It like you can't romantic just, companionship. It doesn't have to be romantic yeah. to be companionship. But I my my question I'm posing to you now is: Do you think all you're good for is companionship? Because that's all that you've said in terms of quality that you bring to society. Do you actually? And I'm not, I didn't say, no, I'm not coming for you. No, no, I'm not coming for you. What's one positive thing? No, that no. But I think you sell yourself short when you do only. I mean, you okay. Do. So before I did this, I was in tech. So what did that oh. do for society? That was like more than what you're doing now. Respectfully, I sold we could definitely have a debate. Should if a woman's going to school, should they become like a mainstream media journalist or an OnlyFans creator, which is worse? But um, I, I don't know. I just think you. You're basically profiting off of like the lowest common denominator, of, which is your 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 body and the fact that you have boobs mm -hmm. and a vagina that everyone barely on this platform has. Barely? barely? Did you say barely? You, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Because yeah. I just think it's sort of like Some, you know, there are guys. So there's guys who like heaven. smaller breasts. They're, and Grace fun. War Room donated one hundred dollars. We have to have Grace. Natalie is wifey Grace material. Yeah, let's do it. Yo, Grace, very much appreciate <laughs> you, your Grace. TTS. Appreciate it. Let me try to shift things here a little. Little bit. Wait, Naomi, you said you were involved in tech sales? Yeah. It's in your notes you said you're the ex director of sales op. Mm -hmm. And then you also said you were an ex D1 cheerleader? Mm -hmm. University of Arizona? Yep. AS or ASU? No. Not ASU? Okay. Were you a flyer? Yeah, we were all flyers. You? How tall are you? 5'6. You're all tall to be a flyer, no offense. <laughs> How do I oh, even know what that is? Okay. Yeah, what? Uh, can you, you like show? The, you like yeah, them small line, brain. Let's lighten things up a little bit. Okay. Naomi, why don't you show us a cheer? <laughs> a cheer? A cheer. You got it for it? You got James it? Palmer donated $100. Brian, please <laughs> give Gustav access to the soundboard in your absence. Yeah, Much love from idea. the UK. Yo, James Palmer, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for the support from across the pond. A um, little cheer? Let's see a little cheer. For real, for real? For real, please. I just shot the ads. Wait, what? No, I was not asking for that, but. Oh, what wait. were you asking for? Well, you were the one who said, I gotta show off the ass. Well, abs. Oh, I thought you said ass. I was like, <laughs> all right, family show here. Not really. It's not a family show. Not a family show. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna sure, ask go ahead. about that. Do what you gotta do. It's like you're actually being serious. Yeah, do a little cheer. Oh, okay. Let's see it. All right, there it is. Let's see how much space we have. That's the, the bang and body they're talking about. Hey, okay, the, the, all the, right, the, calm the, down. I've been working out. Calm down. Okay. She's right. bad. She's bad. She bad. What should we do? I don't know. You're the cheerleader. D1. I haven't cheered in a lot of years. Why M C A? Okay. <laughs> all right. A R C O N A Arizona. There go, Arizona. Yay. <laughs> Brian. Sorry. Brian, you loved it. Oh, wow. Brian's just a naturally uh. a hater. He was born a hater. The most uh, born okay. and raised. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> major hater. Okay. Let me get a couple of the chats caught up here. We have Canada first. Canada won SD donated one 100 Canadian dollars. Brian, oh. I love you, but save chat the torture of listening to these idiots. Please boot them all off the panel. No, come be not. You got to be nice. We're not going to boot all of them off the panel, but, you know, it's still early on in the day. It the would night. be like no debate, though, if like we were on and you were on. Yeah. And it's oh, like I don't think no it would be like, oh, yeah, I agree to everything. You know I don't I mean? think, it wouldn't be yeah. fun. I don't think anybody here is upset by any of the disagreement that's gone on so far. 
Oh, sorry. Grace Gorman <laughs> donated one hundred dollars. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I don't know if. Thank you, Grace. Didn't mean to re-trigger that. Uh, we have Natalia here. It might take a moment to trigger. Okay, hold on. While we're doing that, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. Also, if you guys are watching over on Twitch, is the streaming quality okay? Our last stream, we got reports. It was terrible. I very much apologize for that. Yo, love off. Thank for the thank for the uh, follow. Knight, thank for the follow. John, thank for the follow. Appreciate it. Natalia, donate. Natal Natalie, you talk negative about OF girls. That you have a plethora of cleavage. Natalie? And yeah, short skirts please. photos on your IG, net positive for society. I stand your by oh. everything I have oh. on social media. That's fair. <laughs> Wait, what did that just say? Repeat I, that. It was on the screen and I, I know, just okay. read it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think can you have hilarious. to be like no, no, super I'm not modest I'm in not, order to be concerned. No, I'm not, I don't, not that I have to defend myself. Oops. I stand by everything I posted, but I think there is I didn't know that. something sort of interesting and in that I don't think there's anything wrong with women like dressing for to look nice right dressing to attract like when mm -hmm. you go out right you're not going to go out in like a burqa like right and but I think that where it sort of starts to get that slippery slope and where I think femininity does sort of start to get a little I think just diluted and I think it can start to look get trashy conflated is, is the only fans the porn culture the just excessive kind of commodification of women's bodies I think that's where it starts to get a little interesting and where you where you change culture and also too I like it goes back to my main point with you guys all you all you do and I don't mean this disparagingly okay. but like all you do is post pictures of yourselves naked on on the internet if I'm gonna post a picture like Wait. yeah I can't help I have boobs but I also graduated from one of the top you know universities in this country I'm sanctioned by the Chinese love Communist you, Party because you. of my investigative yeah. reporting I'm cited sanctioned. by Congress I know right? how did you get sanctioned um, a lot of my work but had to do CCP? with um, how they were infiltrating wait, this country is this like a by proxy thing on my are they going to come after me now? No, 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 no. I well, I ha you don't, you don't ever let me talk about China on here, so uh -huh. you're good. Um, I wonder what dating in China is um, like. But like, yeah, would you date a member of the CCP? <laughs> for would you date a member of the CCP? <laughs> Not all OnlyFans. What are the girls pros and cons of it? I, that's what Money? I want to know. It would be the only pro con. Does, I have a question. Does die. she have a uh, large? Never mind. Not all, not all OnlyFans <laughs> girls are naked. Hashtag like BLM. there's some okay, just bikini like models. Pretty, so well, what no, a lot do wait, wait, wait. I do want to okay. move things so on. So wait, a I have a bit. question We've, though, really no. quick. So why? Are you? We've lingered too long. I have on no the bikini OF. pictures. We've We've have you ever anymore. taken bikini pictures <laughs> for yourself? <laughs> I have never taken bikini pictures. Wait, you will never be able to find. Hey, okay, kindly, not post them. But have you ever taken them? Yes, for yourself. I mean, I've been in bikinis and group photos, but I've never taken like provocative you never just felt hot pictures. and you just like wanted to take a picture of yourself i, I just have. find validation more than the physical stuff i would rather i feel very validated and more successful after i finish hosting an episode of war room like that is a much better more meaningful form of validation than being like oh i have boobs so does like every other woman mm -hmm. okay yep it was a valid question. Crickets. I just wonder, like, in your own time that you don't post, in my I was own just time, curious I don't if you ever just are feeling yourself, you know? Real. And that's okay. Catfight. Is, is that a catfight? I don't know, a little think, bit. I, I didn't think so at all. I, I was just curious. I just don't. A little bit. Like, because I know you don't post it, and that's, I that's don't. totally fine, but it's, I was just curious. Do you keep it personal? What? No, I, I don't. Asked. I don't. My that's camera roll is not just a bunch of, like, weird, wrong well, well, pictures of myself. Would it be weird, though, or, like, would you... I don't know. Actually, never mind. I don't know how to word that. Question. I just, for me, Val, and again, maybe you guys are more into it and comfortable with like sexuality and I grew up in like a sexually yeah. comfortable family, so and I, it was never like for me like intellectualism, that kind of stuff was like hard work, work at like. I mean, that to me I'm is not as well. not intellectuals. Not history, they might be but intellectuals. Well, no offense, with, but their answers to the World War One and World War Two question would. But there's maybe a lot that's, of that's history. History. I already said I was a science. There's major. a lot of That's just history. There's a lot of, of other topics that somebody can yeah. be intellectual. I mean, I brought up science. I kind of debunked everything. Okay. I did not. Uh, guys, one one person speaking at a time, please. Disgruntled Care Bear oh. donated one hundred dollars. Intellectual does not. Posting yeah, pics stop. on the internet is not that difficult. I have had more hard work this last week in the army than an OF model has. Stop trying to make it seem like S work is real work. 
I didn't, I didn't say that they necessarily weren't intellectual. What I was saying is I prefer to derive my validation from intellectual pursuits as opposed to, I'm sure if I started an I OnlyFans, I could, anyone could do it. You have an internet connection. Mm -hmm. But for me, that's just not where I get a lot of validation yeah, from. No, but agree. my pushback is you don't know what they do in their I'm personal time. I'm not saying time. they're not intellectual. They could, so, they could read for a saying. living. They could do any number well, of things. I mean, I do for a living that you don't know. I think just your only... Your only no, 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 I'm hold always on, trying to be the devil's Wait, advocate. Nat, so, Natalie, in, in response to that, are, is your position there, their <coughs> occupational endeavor is not an intellectual one? Is that your position? Is that what you're saying? I think that's pretty obvious, yeah. Okay. How is posting pictures of your boobs and vagina intellectual? Well, that's in response to what you yeah. were asking, correct? Is that's not how do you know they're not? I think that's the criticism yeah, that she's I can, making. I can see both in the same things, way that yeah. somebody who who. And I would go a step further. You know, I always go back to this, but I think it's also very anti-intellectual in I'll the get sense this that you're helping to, frankly, destroy this country by ruining nuclear families. Candid guy donated $100. Did you hear that, Naomi? You're ruining Naturally, the country. If you could, would you call a member of the CCP That'd into a romantic relationship for purposes of investigative reporting <laughs> to break her story for the war room? Yeah. You know, it's actually funny. I, okay, I won't fully nerd out, but when I was in college, I went to a school where there was a lot of foreign students there, and there's this thing called the Chinese Students and Scholars Association, which is basically like their foreign spy network that they have on college campuses and I would have random Chinese students who were like born in mainland China reach out to me all the time trying to like hang out and I'm sure you could say oh they just want to be friends but as someone who has studied their patterns of influence operations it was not that so I've had hmm. some interesting stuff I've had stalkers I've had the whole the whole gamut um, so no <laughs> Blank addiction has plenty of scientific support. Adams, Carnes, authors, 1999, hypersexual disorder in DSM, same addictive power as cocaine. There you go, science major. Okay, I'll look into that. Look into it. I'm Dude. pretty sure the last time Anything I did look into it, though, it wasn't recognized <clears throat> by the DSM. Anything can Porn be addiction. We're, we're switching okay. gears here. We're going to switch gears. Here. <laughs> Every we're time we switch to, gears no, when, it comes to that, when it comes to brain here, scans. Here, we're going back to the <laughs> That's what happened thing. last time. Cool, cool story, bro. You're single. <laughs> There's there's no one in my picture. You said you've been single for three years now. Yeah. You've not dated any guys in three years? You I've know, dabbled. You've dabbled? Have you had hookups or? Yeah. Some. Are, are you currently? They weren't successful. Is there, they weren't there's successful? There's nobody in Like they couldn't my get it right up now. or? No. That, that wasn't Oh, the that issue. wasn't, okay. I just, you said the hookups weren't successful, so I was I just, just mean they didn't like turn into, months. like, a real relationship. Because you didn't want it, they didn't want it? Um, Both? sometimes me, sometimes them. Okay. We're talking three years, it's been a lot of different situations. What's the, so for the three years you've been single, like, what's the longest period of time that you've dated a guy? Um. A month, two months, three months? Like, eight months. And that, but that was never a boyfriend? Not technically, no. What, what was that? It was just like I guess a it casual... was a situationship. Situationship? Like it was pretty much everything that would be in a relationship without the title. Okay. Uh, all right. What about you? You've What's been... the question? So you've been single for one year. Mm -hmm. There's no guys in the picture right now. Nothing. No prospects. <laughs> Zilch. Nothing. Um, I mean, I've definitely gone on dates and stuff, but I, and none of them have really been like successful. Plus, I don't, I don't think I'm looking to be in a relationship at the moment because I am moving so and I've done mm -hmm. long distance and I am not interested in doing it right now I sure. think I could do it later um, okay. but yeah I mean we talked a little bit about your situation you're in a friends with benefits for one month you were married for 18 years but your husband had a romantic interest in men so that ended good times we already talked about that though but just recapping there what about you you are single for nine months no no hunks in the picture no i i kind of said a little earlier i so i'm not a single mom i co-parent and right. i as a single parent it's hard to juggle having a child working full-time and then finding time to date and my priority mm -hmm. especially since my daughter is young has been her and just mm -hmm. making sure she you know has both feet on the ground sure. and so my last actual really long-term relationship was before she was born and then I had um, I was seeing somebody for maybe a month last summer and that's been it 
<laughs> you said in your pre-show notes here mm -hmm. that you you single and you haven't been in a serious relationship for seven years it was, it's six or me yeah me it's before my daughter was born so about okay. seven yeah but you did have something nine months ago yeah just very briefly you said you've dated a bit and you had a flu few flings during this time the seven yeah. years six years like i've gone on a few dates yeah. three or four yeah okay and we have some other notes from you but we'll get into that a little bit later on uh what about you? Any, um, any tings in the anything? No, I'm not looking to date right now. I'm actually really happy and really enjoying my singleness. Hmm. Um, I used to be the girl that went from relationship to relationship to even if I wasn't even in a committed relationship, there would always be someone, you know, next. Um, and I didn't realize how damaging that was until yeah. my frontal lobe developed. <laughs> and, and I actually feel and um, get to experience as an adult the impacts of my decade of mistakes all right natalie what about you why am i single oh well no you actually you you said that there I is guess I'm currently single. A, I don't there's know. well if you said there's a guy on the sunday show would have been a different answer oh this is yeah. okay yeah, this is new all right well you said there's a guy who's currently in the picture a little bit so okay um who here has ever had a roster where you've dated multiple people at the same time anybody well isn't that what dating is though like you go out on dates with multiple people? Or do you mean like, like yeah, well, sleeping well, with multiple people? Uh, yeah, it depends on how you define mm -hmm. it, but has anybody here ever like been sleeping with more than one person at the same time? I have, yeah. You have? Yeah. What's the most? It was just two. And it two was, guys? And it was, <laughs> it was after um, I found out that my five year was cheating on me because I still lived in the house. The feeder guy? Yeah. The guy who was trying to get you fat? Yeah. And who likes obese women? Yeah. That guy? Yeah, it okay. was definitely like revenge sex and then... Oh, revenge yeah. sex. Okay. Oh, yeah. really, Anybody else? Uh, two guys sleeping with two guys at the same time? Come on. I know some of you have. Not two guys. Is it you? I oh, have. Did you catch I'll, say, I'll say I have did you catch for sure. More, more, uh, more than two, three, four. Yeah, like three people. Three, but three it, at the same time. I, I wouldn't say it's like all like directly at the same exact time. Just kind of like, I don't know. Well, not uh, maybe. There's a date. I've gone part. on like dates with people, and then yeah, <laughs> we've had <Sex>. intercourse. <laughs> had carnal knowledge. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. What about what about you? Multiple guys at the same time ever? <laughs> Back in the, you know, when you were 18, 19, 20, 21? Uh, no, now? not really. No? no? Okay. What about any rosters? You had a roster? No? Roster. Come on. I think she's... She, I think, a liar? No, I think, uh, <laughs> you know, I think you got Riz. I think you got game. So she I feel like you got tons of bitches. Tons of game. <laughs> you, got, you got a lot of bitches, right? I think I've had options. I think we've all had options. <laughs> Huh. And there's Disgruntled Care Bear donated $100. Dating is meant to get to know the person one at a time. Concur. If you have Concur. to have a roster when you date, you are only looking to siphon resources from men or sleeping around and were never really into it. I agree. Based? Based? So, only one guy at a time ever? I guess. I mean, I guess. no I've, roster? I've dabbled. A roster? <laughs> I've dabbled. I've like never five, had a roster. Five guys? The <laughs> restaurant chain? <laughs> Their prices have just no. gone ridiculous. The prices at five guys. Absurd. Sorry, I've got really, really care about I like the, the Cajun fries, there. yes. <laughs> Naomi, which is what backwards? I'm on. Good job. Um, you ever had? I'm a relationship girly. I told you this last time. <laughs> I am, um, but no, I don't like, I think naturally, I know you can say I'm lying all you want, but like naturally when a girl does like a guy, she'll just like want to spend time with that one guy. Mm -hmm. But if, if you're just like casually hooking up with people, like that's different. I mean, I don't really do that anyways. Mm -hmm. I know people don't believe me, but like whatever. If you don't believe okay. me, you don't believe me. Roster um, though? But in, do I like have a have roster? You ha have you ever had a roster? Not of people I was having sex with, but people that I was like just dating, like text. Dating multiple mm -hmm. guys. No, that's a lot of energy and effort. What about you? Um, I agreed with what she was saying. I mean, there's times when you're not looking for a relationship and you're casually hooking up with multiple people at the same time. Okay. So, you... What are we talking here? 
two, Do three, you have a roster or not? four. I don't have a roster, but no, there's no, been not, times. Not currently, like in the past. Yeah, two. Like you'd three be people. Have, yeah. dating more. I I'm curious about, or I'll have you answer. Then I have a follow up question. Go ahead. Oh no. Um, never. Never. At the no. same time, no crossover. Yeah. No. Okay. For those of you, have you ever? Because I know sometimes there's this period, obviously, and this is sort of somewhat segues into what we've discussed previously on the show uh, about people not being properly single when they're meeting somebody new. Have you ever been like hooking up with a guy, but dating other, like you'll go on, you'll be hooking up with a guy, maybe he's not your boyfriend, right? Obviously, but you know, it's maybe once a week, whatever, casual, but you're seeing, you'll see other guys, you'll go on dates with other men. Have you ever had that? And do you make those guys wait for sex, starting with you? Mm, no. Okay. How many questions? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's been times I've been going on dates with people, but also casually seeing other people. Okay. I don't really go on dates with people in general, and I, I don't like hooking up with a lot of people, so it's a no. About that. No. I agree with what Emma said. Do your said. eyes just naturally squint? Yeah. Because she's blind. Oh, is that? <laughs> my contact is really like, dry. You've been like death staring me the entire show. I wasn't sure if I like personally. pissed you off or something. Yeah, no, you just can't see. I was like, God damn, she's giving me the the stink eye or something. Okay. I agree with Emmy. I've like I've definitely like have been hooking up with people and then like also going on like dates with other people. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, just one person at a time. No. Yeah, I don't believe in hookup culture. Oh, okay. All right, we got some chats here we got to get caught up on. We have Kill of Cereal. Uh, Natalie, can I have you read this? Sure. Pick six foot one tall, 180K a year, 10 inch peen with a negative world outlook and sour attitude in general, or five two tall, 30K a year, four inch peen with a positive world outlook and oozes confidence and swagger. Last one. The second one. Second one, I like average dick. Okay. The first one. Also, I'm going to say the second one. Was that, I said the wrong answer. <laughs> it's okay. It's I know, I was going to say, I take it back the first. <laughs> second one. Second. Second. Yes. First. <laughs> Why did you just, out of all that, you, whoa. What? What? She just admitted she likes ten inch penis. <laughs> no, I just—it was six one six one. I'm not tall. gonna date someone who I make more money than. Eh, there you go, Gustavo. What about you? Which of the two men do you pick? Oh, sorry. That's what sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. All right. What's the? I, I'm always curious. Killer of cereal. Can you submit the, the reverse? What, what would the question be that you ask men? Like, compare this woman and this woman, which do you pick? If somebody else wants to run in on that one. Uh, okay, we have... Bri, kick first girl from the pug. Pick up your... Clearly, LFG isn't working for you. By her own admission, low level, no buffs, debuffs. Can't heal, no DPS. She's just learning. Um, she's also a clicker. Like, you know how, like, you can keybind shit, but she also is, like... She, like, clicks on abilities and shit. Uh, been F AFK a few times, first hour. Yeah, true. Like, no bap... Yeah, she also backpedals, you know, it is what it is. It's like, yeah, it's like pretty shitty internet connection, you know, but it's like dial up speeds, but, you know. You know, like, listen, we're like the guild, we're trying our best, like we're going to make an exception, but like, yeah, we might loot banner, you know, so. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a World of Warcraft thing, don't worry about it, guys. It's like, what? Uh, Natalie, can you read As this one? As a hedge fund manager, I'm curious about the income level you desire for a traditional husband like myself to prompt you to leave your job. How many kids do you want? Are you keen on being a stay-at-home mom or pursuing a different career post-college? How many kids do you want? Can... Um, wait, you desire for traditional uh, I mean, there's a lot of questions there. We typically only do like one, maybe two questions max per per super chat, um, journey life. So, uh, journey, if you can maybe, do you want to send like a, a $2 or $5 one and clarify if you want, which of these questions you want to ask? Otherwise I'm just going to say, uh, do you want, I'm just going to ask the last one. Do you want to be a stay at home mom 
or do you want to pursue a career or a mix of both starting with you a career career mm -hmm. Career, I think I'd be too bored being a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, I think I'd be bored. Okay. You guys, do you want kids, though? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure. You're not I set? Okay. I want kids. I want to be a stay-at-home mom for the first few years, and then I want to um, work on my own stuff, like my own company. Okay. Like a mix of both. I do want kids. Okay. Mix of both, but also career. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would also say a mix of both, but I don't know if I want kids yet. I've had a mix of both. Okay. I have one kid and I don't want any more. I, and what, sorry, what was the second question? Be a stay-at-home mom. Oh, well, I was a stay-at-home mom for a few years and I, I prefer to work. I like to make my own money. But mm -hmm. I, I think the answer to the other question, like 75 maybe for the man. Wait, you don't, you don't want kids anymore? No, have I just gotten, want one, one and done. Have you gotten your tube side or whatever it's called? I have an IUD. IUD, okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, I like to be a stay-at-home mom and have all the babies and make all the sourdough bread <laughs> and have all the dinners cooked for my yes, husband. Oh, I want to be a traditional uh, Christian wife, and I think that's very um, honorable. That's a W. Yeah. That's Thank a you. Good, yeah. That, honestly, that's a good lifestyle. And that's not for everyone. I still, no, yeah, exactly. I still want to have like a, a career in skills and an education, <laughs> but... Why are you laughing? Just... Because <laughs> you're, you're a character. That's all uh, your yeah. character. It's okay. a compliment, I think. Um, okay, good. <laughs> um, definitely stay at home, but I would continue with my show and media career, but it's not really that time consuming. So. Okay. Jert, uh, he says, ask <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Sorry, okay, well, so I asked one. Um, <laughs> we'll do... Uh, okay, how about desired, desired income of your future long-term life partner? And then we'll also do... How many kids do you want? Um, and that should... Okay, yeah. I want three kids for the income. Is it bad that I'm going to say I don't care about the income? For the guy? Yeah. Like zero. Like, I don't you, care. You don't care at all? No. But I, isn't there a certain economic reality I do if have, you want to No, have I do have standards. Kids? I do have... Okay, you're right. I do have standards for the man because I have dealt with a lot of bums in my life that I was literally like dealing with a man child for three years um have but, you ever supported a guy financially no yeah for three years and i was so you do care about the money then huh you do care about the guy's income then um to some degree. well now i i'm starting to realize now. That, that there's value in that like men have to bring value too because i was putting way too much value into men um Sorry. but no i realized this i realized this like two years or a year and a half ago well, after the three-year sure, relationship, or I don't even know. Yeah. But anyways, um, for the income... Yeah. Bare, I don't, min I bare don't, minimum air income. Fucking like 50K. 50K? Okay, so for you, your life partner, obviously income fluctuates you know, throughout time. So it's a bit, well, what exactly. age? Um, let's just say when you're... I don't know. Whatever, however you want to take the uh, desired income for a partner, how many kids do you want? Um, I mean, I don't know how many children you're, I you're want. You're not sure on kids, right? <laughs> Maybe sure. Yeah. What about income? Because you, 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 know, you want to really focus on your career. Are you going to get your master's or PhD? Or um, I'm not sure yet. Just I just going to get know. your bachelor's? And yeah, I, I mean, your, I may want to do more school. I'm not sure yet. You're getting your bachelor's in sociology, correct? Yes. Yeah. What do you want to do with that? Um, maybe go into social work. I'm also interested in marketing. I'm in the AMA club at UCSB. Okay. Um, so, okay. So do you have a sense of how much you'd want your partner to make? There's not necessarily a level, just as long as we're financially stable. That's all I care about. Okay. Yeah, I would say that, kind of going off of that, so like I want three to five kids. So whatever is reasonable for the lifestyle that we decide we want to live, because mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people say, okay, OnlyFans, like you make a lot of money and you have whatever, but I also know what it's like to live a more chill lifestyle, mm -hmm. and I I did that as a kid, so I don't know, um, just kind of want to be comfortable with the family that I decide to have, number of kids, and then where I want to live and the lifestyle I want to live. <laughs> I'm listening. Does that? Yeah, that I'm listening. Sense. That, that makes sense. That was kind sense. of rude. What was that? What was I mean, you weren't listening. I, I was listening. I, I was listening. I was just... Were you? Yeah. Okay. I heard. Is that it fair? It depends on the kind of, you know, three to five kids. I think that, that, that makes a big depends. difference of how many kids you want to have. Because, like, 
three kids at 50k i mean that's gonna be hard that's gonna be hard <laughs> that's hard for like it's one person to here. take care of yourself true so i'm just being realistic right because be realistic. what you can get in for example a house in california versus a house in south dakota right, right. it's gonna be a completely different lifestyle totally different lifestyle are you mocking me or do you agree? No, I'm agreeing with you. Okay. Totally different. Beca like, for real. You can get, like, a mansion with in Texas. With your partner, what you decide on what type of lifestyle you want to live. crazy out here. These I'm housing gonna prices. The fuck up. I'm going to shut What? Up, I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> Sorry, the caffeine's up, kicking in. What about you? Um, oh, I don't yeah. like caffeine. I don't think I have, like, a certain number. I would like it to be more than me. More I'm than not you. totally sure what I want to pursue, but I think a lot of things I would wouldn't be something I could support my family on my own. So, okay, yeah. and I want like kids? two kids. Two probably. kids? What about you? I think if I were to have kids, it'd be two max for sure. Two max. Okay. Income wise, I don't know. I'm um, whatever supports like two kids. Obviously, I want to be like stable. I don't want to have to worry about money. But I would say like if I was with like a blue collar man, that'd be fine. <laughs> Is a blue collar man more likely to lean in a certain political? Orientation? Yeah. Though? I feel like, yeah. Could that? Okay, anyways, that's a, def that's a different question. <laughs> what about you? How many oh. kids do you want? And bare minimum income for a partner. So I have two kids, and I just wanted two kids. As far as minimum income, enough for them to live comfortably yeah. on their own. Okay. What about you? One and done. And done. She's done. Done. <laughs> no more um, kids. I would say benchmark at least 75 or 80. Okay, all right. Um, I want two kids, but the third can be an accident. Because if you <laughs> say you want three, you're going to get four, and I'm not no, doing that. No, my original was two, but yeah. I feel that. <laughs> yeah, so the, the third can happen by accident, but um, I definitely want to have, um, I want to be in a position to bless people and help people, um, not only my family, but people that are in need, and, and just selflessly, and I want to be able to tithe to the church and, and okay. just help others that need it. Natalie, what about you? Um, probably at least two, probably at least two. three, actually. You gotta go above replacement rate. Yeah. Um, that would be off brand if I didn't do that. Hmm. Um, I don't know, like more than, more than my dad. Okay. <laughs> How much does your dad make? I'm not gonna say that. But, but he's gotta make more than your dad. Well, what's your dad my do for lifestyle. Work? What's your like, dad do for work? Uh, my dad's a doctor and other things. What kind of doctor? Uh, infectious disease. So a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just I think when you're used to a certain type of lifestyle, and I don't even mean that at a financial level, like you're not gonna realistically be happy if you are living well below it. Hmm. I, I just I'll answer somewhat really quick. I'll get married if she's rich. <laughs> she's married for money. And five eleven. Oh, yeah. I'll get married. What's that? And five eleven or four eleven. Oh, like in terms of what I want, yeah. like my type? Do you type? care more about labia size or wealth? That's a crazy topic. Well, that's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's crazy, <laughs> Natalie. That's crazy topic. I didn't expect that from you, Natalie. Exactly. Uh, I, <laughs> that's why I'm confused. I, yeah, d uh, labia, labia <laughs> sizes. He said libya. I, I only, I actually, I'll date a girl with an innie, but I do prefer Audis. Like the bigger the better. I want some Guinness World Record oh. book shit. Oh, wants wow, that wow. Arby's meat. Like, what That's what's up. And <laughs> minimum net worth. It's just <laughs> oh, minimum net worth. What do you mean? For, for oh, it can be zero if the, the if the lady is big. I mean, I don't really care, you know. But <laughs> she can she can have no income. But if she's got like that Guinness World Record labia, sign me up. <laughs> no, no. Look what you guys are all a little, ugh, but ugh. you guys have penis size preferences no y'all have preferences when it comes to penises i'm flipping it around huh you ain't ever heard this before i no, have I've a labia preference you haven't heard it i was being sarcastic oh, okay yeah <laughs> i have a labia preference sue me what's up i have a question what's up what you got about so the funny. labia question what's your question okay go ahead so let's think about your childhood what it, the fuck yeah bro you goofy right now what the fuck no because childhood there's a bro, reason there's a reason why you have a labia obsession bro you you about to say he something he has an obsession with Wait, women just being can natural. i continue can i continue you about i feel like, like you're about to say to some shit that's real gonna, quick you're gonna say some shit that's gonna make me want to kick you the fuck off the show probably oh okay i think so do you not want me to Wiley say it? Coyote 50 donated what? 100 
for yeah. panel. You've been recently sanctioned by the CCP because of your reporting. You're flying Air China to Hong Kong. A CCP pilot hits the ejecto seat of Cuz in attempt to unalive you. Can you land the plane? <laughs> Can we give us to her? Huh? I think that was for panel. You've been yeah. recently yeah. sanctioned. She said for panel. She's on Ejecto seat Cuz intent to unalive you. Can land the plane? <laughs> Can any of you land the plane? Yes or no? Nope. I know somebody that can, but... Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. um, so what were you... What are you trying to go at? Well, I want... I will, I'm... Because I don't really know a lot about you. So Just I'm, because you have a lot of childhood trauma doesn't no, mean... No, I get it. I get it. I get it. other people I know. Do. I just want to pick your brain. Let me pick your brain. Yeah, but I feel like you're going to say something. Okay, no, but I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay, so with like the OnlyFans thing, too, just to go back to that, like and the la Libya, the labia, labia, whatever the fuck, type beat. Um, um, so how does having a gen listen, how does having a genitalia listen, preference okay, so, have anything to do with something in your childhood? Okay, so that's so weird. Can we think Bro, back you to your like, childhood you, really quick? You look at things through such a warped and twisted frame of mind. But go ahead, I'll entertain it. But no, okay, yeah, you'll probably end up annoying. So, me, so let's go ahead. let's pretend you're a child and you find OnlyFans for the first time. Bro, I don't. This what's, is a gross conversation. What's your reaction to that? How? Explain the logic of your no, question to me. No, I'm confused. Like, what's your answer? What? You're you're a child. You want me to hypothetically put myself? Yes. Like reverse. Mm -hmm. Put myself as what a four year old? Mm -hmm. Bro, you got a sick and fucking twisted mind that you want to like have a hypothetical question about a child watching adult mm -hmm. content. You're, now you're twisting it kind I'm of. I'm not weird. twisting it. You're being the fucking weirdo no, with this question. Can you answer? I don't even want to like disgruntled care bear donated my, $100 chat, what do you think about that's weird to panel especially you can't answer the question why is it whenever you hear something I don't understand you don't like, the question you must always assume something is wrong it? with the man's oh. childhood you must always assume something is wrong yeah that's a good question disgruntled care bear I mean I, I'm pulling up the YouTube chat this is such a weird line of questioning it's like does anybody else concur that it's really peculiar I just don't know where you're going with the question. Like, I, I want him to answer the question. You, you may, you may well want me to do a great many things, but I'm, I'm inclined to not so engage you. So you're not answering you. it anymore. I just don't see the purpose of your strange fucking question. Okay, okay. I just wanted to see your answer. That's why. But since you didn't give me an answer, I can't give you like why I asked. I. But to counter that, do you have like a dick size preference or like anything like that no. at all? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Is there a particular girth of like labia size that you prefer? Girth. I mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't know how you measure like labia. I mean, just length, <laughs> length or girth. <laughs> Um, the curtain drop. That's fair. There, that's two different things. The, that's fair. There's, that's there's fair. different. Yeah, I mean, there's different like factors it. to I it. Typically, I don't articulate it to this extent, <laughs> but, um, so the question is the gir girth. Girth or or how how do you measure labia? I mean, like, what do you what what? <laughs> yeah, I'm confused yeah, what, about I mean, that too. The, I mean, are we really going here? It's <laughs> you a have bit, a whole Instagram. Hey, dedicated we talk to about me. penis all the time. <laughs> so go, go there for us. I mean the. I don't even know how to like precisely describe describe it. It's difficult. Well, you did say any and Audi, so we can start there. Well, yeah, there's there's Audi, <laughs> large you, large labia. The, 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 the lips the lips are are w long, Audis. big. Yeah. We love all vaginas. Do you, are you saying you have an Audi? Is that what you're saying? No. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. That's awkward now. Brian, have you met <laughs> have you met Cricket such a woman yet? I've met women with large labia. Yeah. <laughs> I've, How was yes. it? What happened to him? Oh, bro, what they? the fuck? Yeah, oh. now it's... He got gonna... swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> bro went in a tunnel. <laughs> Why did you let them go then? The abyss. I don't know. Have married. you ever fucked a guy with oh, a big shit. dick and you let him go? I mean, shit, it, you know? There's other factors. It's not like I'm just... <laughs> She's got a big labia. I'm set for life. I'll stay with her forever. <laughs> no, you know, she's got to have more. She's got to have more. Now, the biggest tragedy 
is like a girl with like a giant labia, but she's a terrible person. I'm <laughs> so conflicted. I thought you were going to say labiaplasties. That's like oh, that's, a, that's yeah. very sad, too. We talked about that last time. When they time. get labiaplasties, yeah. 10,000 a year in the United States. I'm against, pla- I'm against labiaplasties, but let me double down. I'm against plastic surgery. Oh, that's where it stems from. That's what I was kind of getting at. I'm against like, your all question. that. He just doesn't like plastic LOL. surgery in general. So I don't like it. It's a I, don't, I didn't know that. Like, it's okay. What do you mean? It's okay. It's actually it's a preference. Dope. <laughs> As a girl, you should be co-signing my position on. Well, plastic I got a lady plastic. We talked about this last time, so like, I don't agree with you. <laughs> yeah, kind of respectfully. Kind of I don't agree with him either. It's That's okay. Kind of but I didn't get plastic surgery for a man. I was celibate, like I mentioned, during 2022, and I got a labia during my celibacy sad, my whole year of celibacy. that was a sad day for sad can you, day. can you what it what is, is it, what exactly is like did day? you have done if you don't mind me asking i'm just curious got it like nice and <laughs> tight sad yeah like my plastic sad. surgeon we I'm had like a whole asteroid. powerpoint and we like went through like an okay, asteroid this is for what this shit. i want disappointing <laughs> can i Stop. catch it oh, I didn't asteroid catch sent it. damn it <laughs> um, anyways yeah, y'all know where to go if you want to <laughs> oh, I'm good. Wait, oh, but no, plastic surgery, I'm against it. I know. Why? And I respect that for you. I do too, I guess. <laughs> We're a panel of different... Uh, yeah, Brian true. likes yeah. natural. It's fake. I think it looks kind of trans. <laughs> Wait, Brian. Oh. Did she Brian. just say it looks kind of trans? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's what's your question? The question for you <laughs> is, you like natural women, but if I look on your Instagram, who are you following? No one. Are you following any girls that wait, can we maybe have plastic back to the surgery? Trans I mean, wait, 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 what did I miss? Can we circle back to the trans Wait, comment? no, no, no. Let me answer her question. Uh, <laughs> I'm not following anybody on Instagram. On your personal Instagram? On my personal Instagram. I'm not following anybody. Okay, that's valid. I follow the whatever Instagram, mm-hmm. and then on the whatever Instagram, I follow me, and that's it. I'm not... These guys who, like, follow IG models or chicks... And like look at like their photos that's weird we have a question that's goofy yeah. so even on like wait so your personal instagram personal you don't follow, not i don't even, follow anybody not even your friends no why i don't give a fuck Damn. about the food your bullshit food posts <laughs> i don't care <laughs> i'm right, focused sir. i have a yes. mission in life and i'm too busy to be concerned with the bullshit post that you do to try to paint your life like in some some very you know oh you were on vacation oh you had you had you had like a little a little cob salad at, at that restaurant don't care <laughs> you okay. ceremony that's fair i guess no i just don't i don't know maybe it's because i'm older but i've never been it, honestly if i didn't do the youtube thing I wouldn't have Twitter. I wouldn't have Instagram. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give a fuck about any of that. Yeah. I, if I maybe I have like a private Instagram and for like I follow my family or something. Mm-hmm. But no, I don't follow anybody. Cool. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay, where were we? We were talking. Yes. Yeah, so, no, but I don't follow anybody. Um. Not a comment about the trans. Oh, we were talking. No, wait, no, we were talking about plastic surgery. Hold on, let me. Disgruntled Care Bear donated one hundred dollars. Whoever he follows on Instagram doesn't reflect his morals. Just because sense. he liked looking at nice cars doesn't mean he would want to own one in the end. I mean, oh, but I don't. Here's the thing. Sense. I don't follow girls on Instagram. I don't like their posts. I don't care. That's you. I think in general, you make a very good point because a lot of guys sure, that do I agree. comment negative stuff on like my posts or like girls posts in general, it's like you go to their profile and they're, they're following you and you look at their following, it's all Instagram models. And you're like, I mean, I appreciate the, the comment because it just boosts me in the algorithm more. Okay. Uh, what were you saying? Right. Um, (laughs) What I was saying was, in most scenarios, when a guy comments negative things on any girl's like bikini pictures or anything like that, you go to their profile. They're following you, and then is that what guys do? They're just like commenting negative photos. Yeah, and then you go to their following. It's all Instagram models. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. It's like a revenge type thing. They're like, they know. I mean, my advice to men is don't follow girls on Instagram. Don't look at. Don't be like like almost in this pornographic days of like looking at their bikini photos or whatever don't like their photos i don't know 
and I think as women, you're totally justifiable. If your boyfriend is like obsessed with other chicks on Instagram, I think that that's not, that's not a good, that's a suboptimal dating choice for you to date a guy yeah. who's like thirsting over other chicks. So yeah. you gotta have discipline. Agreed. Gotta have discipline. Agreed. I was just saying that was a good point. On the makeup thing, on the I want to talk about makeup here. Are we gonna just glaze over the trans comment? Because that one, I need, I need to get an explanation for that. We can come back there. Let's come back. I need an explanation. Wait, let me actually uh, hold on. Let me read a chat here. Uh, Natalie, can you read this? Male, male version, 5'11", 36, 25, 36, 180k a year. D cup with the worst snagging, controlling behavior imaginable, or five foot two, 46, 36, 46, 30k a year. B cup with the utmost respect and gives you your freedom. Is that really the count? Uh, okay, so this is for, yeah, I would take the second one. I'll take the second one. All right, thank you, Kill of Cereal. Appreciate it. We have Ryan the Eating Warrior. She wants a guy that makes as much as her dad. Is she looking for a guy her dad's age too? Gotta be realistic. No. Word. Thank you, writing. She wants a guy that makes as much That's as her dad. Oh, Do you is like older you, men? Um, I've always dated older, but not my dad's age. I feel like you're mature. I feel like I could see, yeah. like, see you with like, an older I man. I wouldn't do well with Oops. another 23. Can I ask though. how old you are? I'm, I'm 23. Enough. Okay, 23. You're 23? Oh, you're 23. <laughs> Oh, Whoa, that kind of seemed a little... <laughs> no, just she carries... Everybody looks older. older. No, yeah. you just impressed. carry yourself. It's yeah. impressive. Yeah. That's, that's, that's me. I'm not trying to shit on you. I'm just saying... Like, yeah. That's a W. I wouldn't have thought Thank 23. you. I appreciate that. That is a W. Wait, okay. Oh, plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm... Anti plastic. No, we surgery. know that. We're, we're good on that. <laughs> We've been over Got that. it. I just meant like the, the trans comment. It looks trans. I just need clarification. Yes, I don't please. Yeah, I think um, with plastic surgery, which is a monolithic term in the sense that are you talking filler? Are you talking actual going under in the general, knife? Just right? whatever you were. But I, I think that a lot of times there's sort of a mental illness that can kind of come where you don't really see yourself in the mirror, sort of like an anorexia bulimia type thing, right? You want more filler in your lips you want more in your cheeks or whatever i've never had any plastic surgery done frankly maybe, maybe botox down the road but i'm very anti it um but i think if you look at what men are doing to their faces to make themselves look more feminine when they start to transition right they're giving themselves bigger lips cheekbones kind of more feminine features and i think we are already blessed with feminine features since we're women and i think you're sort of putting stuff in your face pumping yourself up to look so fake where it's basically the same thing that men are doing to look like women and I just don't really think women need it and it's this sort of like fake spin on what it means to be a, a woman and what it means to look like being a woman which is just sort of it looks sort of trans it looks sort of alien like to me um, I think and I don't know I also think too with the filler stuff it's really just like a marketing campaign. I think same with makeup, right? They prey on women's insecurities. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like you can't even go anywhere now without hearing like, oh, you have to start getting preventative Botox at 25. Like that wasn't the refrain 10 years ago, but all these companies are spending a ton of money, right? To try to get people to do that. Cause once you feel like you have to, then when you start, you can't stop. So I don't know. I just think good work looks good, but bad work. Yeah. Listen. Okay. I, I see what you're saying. That's, That's where I I'm wanted saying. the clarification because I'm yeah. like, there's definitely, I would say a lot of people who go above and beyond and like keep going yeah. and have that like addiction to it. Um, but yeah, if you're going to like a good injector or a good surgeon, they're going to be like, no. Sure. Yeah. Killer of Cereal donated $100. Cosmetic surgery and Instagram filters. You can stay young on Instagram. Bleeding into reality with plastics, it doesn't keep up with the rest of your aging body, looking physically mm. at older ages. True. Hold on. We have some other chats coming in. Um, I'll read this one from Disgruntled Care Bear. It's coming in in a sec. Kill of cereal. Appreciate it, man. Um, Brian, I will push back against the Instagram. Why are you not holding the women who post those thirst traps on the internet in the first place? I think he means accountable, but want to tell men to not indulge in the free show. Well, I mean, I'm not really in favor of women doing it either, but on an individual level, I'm instructing you to have some degree of self-control uh, in the same way, that, like porn's out there. You can limit 
your porn use or entirely stop watching porn, for example. Uh, I mean, from a dating from a dating lens, though, I think it's suboptimal to date a woman who's posting a bunch of thirst traps. I have a question for you, Ryan. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, just about this whole podcast. Do you think this is like your purpose in life? Do you think this is what you were put here in life to do? What's your reason for asking that question? Just because of all like the controversialness and stuff. I don't believe in fate. You don't believe in fate? I don't believe in fate. So, so, so the purpose thing is like... I don't know what no purpose. purpose. Okay, got you, got you. Okay, so, that's all I need to know. Is there more to that question um, though? Like, is, It's kind of meta. Okay, okay, so like your goals in this podcast like is this your number one goal is this where you want to achieve just this podcast or do you want to go higher and higher and higher than that i mean doesn't any anybody want of more course. yeah so what are you trying to achieve out of this podcast i don't really see how this this is a bit of a meta conversation that's not really related to dating but what do i want to achieve with this podcast i obviously want to be able to try to make some sense of the current dating landscape or mm -hmm. hellscape as i like to call it i'd like to I'll Mike finish. Davis donated one hundred dollars. Oh God! Y'all ninjas got to understand. Most females share a collective group think low IQ he's, brain. He's the resident they roaster. The new pop he's a roaster. Psychology, like childhood trauma, and be thinking they dropping profound knowledge. Hmm. I agree with the last part there. The uh, so your question was what? What's um. my purpose? Oh, I was saying I obviously am trying to you know, perhaps move both men and women to a more, as far as I see it, a, a better worldview when it comes to dating, a mm -hmm. better approach to dating. I specifically, sometimes I advocate for women, but I mostly advocate for men. Mm -hmm. And um, and obviously I enjoy putting on an entertaining show. And yeah. Okay. What's your purpose for making nude content on OnlyFans? I want to influence the world positively, not only fans, but just with my knowledge. No, but you asked me, what's my purpose with what I'm currently doing with my profession? Mm -hmm. What's your purpose for what you're doing? With my profession? Yeah, you're only fans. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm an, I'm an event management. Like I'm a... You're an event management manager? Management major. I'm yeah. going to be there soon. Um, uh, sorry. I just transferred to the university from a community college, so I got my associates, so I'm almost there for my bachelor's. Um, I want to start throwing my own festivals, and I also, I know you don't believe in astrology, but when I'm 80 years old, I will be that astrologer. Um, okay, I mean, all right. Yeah. Do you want more? I have What's a lot your of goals. purpose with OnlyFans? Um, my purpose with OnlyFans is just to grow from there like only fans isn't just me that's the thing what people need to realize like like you like you said you have more goals more ambitions like only fans and i do got i understand your guys's viewpoint that only fans is like it once you start only fans okay you're done with like your career is over but like i have different hobbies i have different goals just like you do and like like it's like if I come on here and judge you just for the whatever podcast, you know, and like that's all you're doing, blah 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 blah. Like you know what I'm trying to say? But the variable is not the judgment. The variable is what you guys do. But you wouldn't say that's all judgment that you guys are saying. Well, I like, for example, think it's okay to judge people who make. You think bad it's okay decisions. to judge people? Like I it's, think murderers yes, are okay bad to judge people. people. I feel like that's something. It's like, oh my god, you aren't like yeah. I I judge. Yeah. People who murder people. Murder, okay. Like, I judge, if something is objectively bad, and I think OnlyFans is objectively bad, then yeah, I would I would judge that. Would that make me treat you like yeah, there's you a deny difference. service exactly. to you or something like that? There's no, a but I would make a judgment. judging and, like, actually reacting to judgment. Yeah, I get it. Okay. That... What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, oh, we're going to go around the table. Unfortunately, I can't, I wasn't able to uh, pull it up here, but uh, Stifler in the chat, he was asking everyone to rate their looks 
on a scale of one to ten. So rate your looks on a scale of one to ten, starting with you. Go ahead. Um, I don't like rating looks. Sorry, I know that's a stupid question, but it's kind of like everyone has their own viewpoints on beauty and everything. Mm -hmm. So zero scales. What's your scaling me? Yeah. What's what's your own assessment of your own physical appearance? <laughs> did my not, did my answer not make sense? I'm re I'm uh, rejecting your answer <laughs> because that's right, I, I gave you leeway. Ten. ten. Say it into the mic. Ten. Depends on the day. Some days I feel like a one, and other days I'll feel like ten. Hold on. Truth bomb donated one hundred dollars. Oh my! I have lost brain cells listening to this emo chick speak. I bet her IQ is max seventy five. Prove that stupid people go to college and learn nothing and think they are actually smart. I agree. She agrees with you, Truth Bomb. I agree. She agrees her IQ is I, room no, temperature. No, I agree with the last part, <laughs> not the IQ part. I agree oh, with the last okay, part. Okay, well, that seemed like a total. You agreed in the totality of the statement. So you're saying, if you had to just give it one number, though, how you look, not how you feel, because you're saying some days I feel this, just your own self assessment of your looks. One to Seven. ten. Seven. Seven, okay. Ten still. Same as last time. Still, nine. okay. I mean, I don't know. I have never thought about it. I don't really know what I look like. Um, She's a ten. You know, mi there's mirrors. But, like, <laughs> it didn't give me, like, a number. I just feel like it's really subjective. There's it's kind of a lose-lose <laughs> <con> like, <laughs> answer. Photo photographs. If you say lower, you're kind of, like, fucking yourself over. You say higher, then, like, people are like, oh, she's not a ten or she's not this. I'll say ten. I'm a 10. Yeah, she's a okay. 10. What about you? I'll say I'm a 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. W. I'm like a 7. All right. No, you're a 10. What about you? A 6. You're a 10. I'd say I'm an 8. 10. Like a 7. 10. Well, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I give myself a 5. You're a 10. Did that go down again? No, I think I said five when Did you were it, on. Was it? I thought you said six. I might have. You, I gained some weight. Dad bod? Yeah, I gained some weight, so I gave myself a five. Like, You're what about the people that like, love dad bods? Yeah, they just, might have a higher self. Uh, like, assessment. I like dad bods. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, but, okay, so 10, 10, 10, 10. He just freaked. <laughs> yeah, she said seven. I said seven. No, no, ten, ten, oh, yeah. ten, oh, ten. I'm not going to rate you guys, but no. you guys are not tens. No offense. That's fair for you to say. Yeah. That's a crazy thing to say. That's, that's why, your wait, opinion. Wait, why is that? Who said that? Who's, you, I think you, it's you, me. you think that's a crazy thing to say? I think it's a crazy thing to say. For me to disagree that you're a ten out of ten in terms of your physical appearance? I mean, you might be right in your head. I just think it's a crazy thing like to say. But why, why would that be a crazy thing to say? I wouldn't say, say it say? about you. That's why it's a or stupid anybody. question to start with. Yeah, it's not a stupid question. It's, it's not a stupid it's question. A it's, a stupid it's, question. it's not a stupid yeah. conversation, yeah. but um, why is it a crazy thing to say, though? I mean, it's rude How's it? It's, it's rude to say that you're not... Well, you made to, us the answer. To, and but then no, you're how's it? Your but how's it That's rude? Why I said it's a lose how is it rude for me to say that I'm not giving you a rating? I'm not saying you're a one. I'm just less than what I said I am. Yes. How I see myself. How's it rude yeah, for me to say that you're not, not essentially? That's how's it rude for me to like essentially okay. say yeah. you're not on par with the most beautiful women in the world? Do you do you think that? I, no, I, but I. Well, then how can you possibly be a ten? If you're not on par with the most beautiful think, women in the world, I just the whole thing is silly. I don't. Why? I just don't think it matters either. Can I? Let me ask you a question. Do you? Uh, how tall are you? Five two. Would you date a guy who's shorter than you? Maybe. Maybe. I would. Would you prefer yeah, to I'd date prefer. a guy who's tall? Why is that? Um. Close. Oh, no. The Bronasons donated one hundred dollars. Natalie six point eight. Raven hair seven, used baggage three, Mama San two, obese blonde two, bimbo four, a cup bimbo three, deep voice sigid four, goth artard who is the reason suffrage was a mistake, a hard one for being brainless. A W brainless. Am I w brainless. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, so you said you'd prefer to date a guy who's tall? Yeah. Well, I mean, you are making to he some might be degree. A ten, it might be shorter than me. The whole rating thing I just don't agree with. I don't think 
Does anybody agree with her that you disagree with the rating thing? You think it's wrong? I disagree. I think it's to, to I think judge it's silly. people it's to rate silly. people on their physical appearance. Yeah, because you're. I've putting... done that since like middle school. Hold on, we'll go around the table on this. Yeah. Is it wrong to rate to yes, rate people on their physical putting, appearance? You're putting a category of woman of one to ten, and everyone has different like opinions. So it's on wrong. What's so it's wrong. Yes, yes, it's wrong. Is it wrong? Maybe in your head it's not wrong, but no, someone's no, 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 no. face. Wait, what do you mean? In no, is it wrong in general? No. It's wrong to say to some... Okay, all right. No, I'm saying it's well, not wrong. Yeah, what's the oh. actual question? Because now I'm confused. Yeah, no, is it wrong to, to, to rate, rate yourself rate. or rate people? Yeah. No, I said it's not wrong. No. You said it was wrong, right? I'm saying it's wrong to make us rate ourselves and make us give you an answer and then tell yes. us we're wrong about how we see ourselves. Because we can't be wrong about how we see ourselves. If that makes, that's I, it makes you sense. could, yeah. you could. You're right about how you see. You me. could be delusional, and if somebody corrects you and says, "Well, that's right, actually but it's not your the opinion," case. though, like that's your opinion. Do you, you think, think there's some word. degree of objectivity when it comes to beauty? Yeah, yeah. like but for it's example, not like a number, there's like to me, right? Yes, beauties. some people will rate you differently than others, but I mean, can we all agree that we could take two people, and let's say one is like a model and the other is a basement dwelling obese person a lot of models are funky okay, looking okay whatever you know you know what i mean you know what i mean i'm just saying let's compare okay um i'm trying to think of a guy who's like exceptionally attractive uh, Timothy Chalamet. I was just about you guys to say, think Timothy I don't Chalamet? find Timothy you, Chalamet. I don't. No, I don't. You no, don't? I do okay. not. No, but Dune too. The way he oh, stepped it up a little bit. The what first the one fuck? I was like, mm. second one I was, I was like, going to say Carly, that. baby, I get it. He's a very con See, okay. conventionally Wait, attractive so, man. And I okay. don't find him. Okay. So is it wrong to, to judge people based off of their physical appearance? I guess no. that's the question. It's not wrong. That Everyone does it naturally. That's not what I was saying. But like your objection to this question, so. I judge people. Right, I'm sure you you make certain distinctions in terms of who you'd want to date based off their physical appearance, correct? Like you'll just date anybody doesn't care in terms of their physical appearance. You have no preferences. That. I didn't say that at all. Okay, so you could, for example, like if, if there were a hundred guys, for, uh, if you were doing this as a, an assessment, would you not be able to like rank order them from like most attractive to least attractive? Do you think you'd be able to do that? For me, it's hard. I'm very much a personality person in that. Yeah. Okay, but if you... Do with it. Are you on a dating app? Yeah, and it's really hard. What's the determination when you swipe on somebody? Is it their personality or how they look? Funny, or they said something funny to what I, I said. I don't think they can say something before, unless like, you're looking at their like bio. Read their, like, bios and stuff, do you though? read their bios when you're swiping on guys on dating apps? Really? Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. I, I mean, most of these Every dating... Time. It depends what dating app, but if you're like Tinder... Most people are not like going into the bio. Maybe Hinge, you're like doing a little more, but. I think that's what we're saying. So you're saying if we had a hundred guys of varying, uh, who looked differently, you wouldn't be able to rank order them in terms of like most attractive to least? I think that'd be hard. I think I could pick a few out and be like, oh, they're cute. But like, I feel like comparing people is just weird. For me, that's how I feel. Everyone else can just. So you don't, I don't know where so, your I argument agree. is I don't going really because, either. like, if we did that, every single one of us would probably rank them differently. Right. Like the yeah. whole point is that. I it's would actually exactly. argue that there might be differences, but you would actually probably, if this is like a a mixed bag of people a in terms of their hundred people. No, I'm not saying you would all rank them the exact same, but there could be. You you might start sure, seeing yeah. patterns but, in terms of how you would end up ranking them. But so it's just, you, you take such an objection to this one to 10 scale, but women care a whole lot about literal numerical measurements. Let's talk height. Women care deeply about a man's height. That's literally a numerical measurement. Didn't we all pick the second option for that question though? Yeah. I picked the first. Yeah, but it was like, this guy's terrible, but he's physically attractive. Right, oh, so that kind that of goes against exactly what you just said. How? Because you're saying physical traits outweigh the person. I, no, that's not what I said. Saying, like, I said really women important. care. No, I said women care, care yeah, about physical sure. appearance. But like, there's other things that outweigh. Not yes, all women I agree. Care, there though. are other things that are important besides physical appearance. But don't sit here and tell me that you girls don't care at all about physical appearance. That would be ridiculous and absurd. I don't think anyone Did said that. I don't think anyone said that. Okay. <laughs> I think he's schizo. But, 
You think okay. I'm schizo. That, thank you for your contribution to the whatever podcast. That was great. <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was great. I would suspect most of you here do prefer men who are tall. That's literally a numerical measurement. Not too tall, though. Okay, all right, fine. You don't want to date a guy who's seven feet. I get it. <laughs> 11 feet tall. <laughs> but when it comes to physical appearance, you guys make all kinds of us. Actually, you know what, Nick? Pull up the. I mean, the, don't we the both? Though, don't men and women both? Yes, do that? absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, Nick. Pull up the TikToks. What? What TikToks? Three. Nick, go ahead, play it. <laughs> Didn't you show this last time? Bro, I don't He's recycling. Do you think? Now, do you guys think this is like? Would this? You feel like misled? That's catfishing. Would you feel played one more time, really quick, just so they see the beginning? Would you feel misled? Mm -hmm. I disagree. No, he like, he's like the same happy. concept as like, like hair happy. extensions and, and makeup. Yeah. I had would, you, a... would you feel misled? No. No. Really? I had twenty-four inch extensions yeah. before I chopped my hair off. Like same concept. You you wouldn't feel misled a little bit. Um. Not necessarily if it's gonna stay that way. He's gonna, get, he's gonna keep it. He's gonna up. Oh, so it, he though. has to keep it that way. Speaking if he truth. keeps it that okay. way, yeah. What about what about you? I don't really get the question if I'm gonna feel tricked. Would you like, would like, you oh, feel like a bit misled with because of that? I, not really. I mean, if I compare it to all the things we do, I don't know. To me, it didn't seem like a huge difference. Yeah, personally. I was Anybody not, would feel a bit to. misled? Oh, 100%. So you're telling me that none of the girls here have a preference for men with a full head of hair? You're just fine with men who are balding? balding. That, would, that would not all, be part of so your calculus? I like yeah. a full head of hair. What's I that? Like hair. I'd like hair. I'd like a full Thank head you of hair. for being honest. I, I'm not not well, being honest. I don't... But I mean, it's like... Okay, what? I said some guys look good bald. Some guys do. Right, it's but you don't have a preference... You don't have a preference for guys who have a no. full head of hair? If I liked that dude and I was dating him and he's like, I'm balding, would that change anything? That's happened no. to me before where my ex- Nick, would... play the other one. <laughs> play the other one. All right, go ahead. Oh, there he is. Okay. Bald I think he's is... hot. I'm not going to lie. I kind so of he's got like a, a toupee, basically. He looks like he's insecure. He's got a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> Like so, I mean, would you guys not feel? Uh, if he was, if, if like I saw him with no hair, I would, I, I would date him. I think that's so shallow, though. Like for real, I do. I think because like hair does not define you as a person. If you yeah. like that person, like. Mm -hmm. But are you denying that people just totally disregard physical appearance when making a, an assessment of who they want to date? No, I never said that. But you're saying, like, do you feel betrayed or whatever the word you use? What's the word you use? Bamboozled. Misled. <laughs> Misled? Like, who cares? It's fucking hair. I like that word. You, you wouldn't feel... Okay, what about if... Uh, do you have a height preference at all or don't care? I mean, I don't really care. I've always just naturally dated taller people because I was always around taller people. How tall are you? 5'6". Five, 5'6". Six. Five, six. But you don't care about height. But conveniently, all the men you've ultimately ended up dating happened to be tall mm -hmm. i was it's funny because when we talk about height women say i don't care but then you ask them well, what's the height of all the men you've dated conveniently they all end up being like six feet well, well i mean that's not i would true. say if i could say something i will say i do like a taller man because i am taller mm -hmm. um but all or the two boyfriends that i did have were my height okay i'm not look i'm saying so, i'm not saying that women never date men who are shorter or whatever i'm not yeah. saying that but generally speaking like are we gonna sit here and deny that women don't prefer tall men i think some women not do and some women, women most do, don't. most women i mean prefer tall men yeah i mean i don't disagree with that but i'm six foot and i've been in four relationships and three of those men were shorter than me they were five ten and i'm six foot and that was okay that didn't bother me well, I, still I think work. that's. Would bother me either. I think I that's think more of a like, symptom of you being in the like one percentile of women's height, and they're, you're just. It's going to be harder for you to find men who are taller than you. Mm -hmm. I mean, my last boyfriend was six four, and oh, well, okay. Yeah. But the other two guys were five ten. Yeah. Which is the average male height. Mm -hmm. So. We're talking a lot about physical. Like, what about mentality? Like. 
What about their childhood? Energy. energy. Here, I'll take <laughs> like, so, connecting with them. I, this, this whole objection to the 1 to 10 scale, it's just, I find it interesting because we all make judgment calls about the people that we're going to date. And you can deny it, and you can say, well, I don't care about looks at all. But I mean, that's cat. I mean, men, no one said that. Men I care about looks, women that. care about looks. But this objection to like the rating thing is is a bit boggling to me. Yeah. I think the the question is just stupid because it's subjective. It's, it's not you're subjective. Asking, you're asking it me is. what I rate myself. I'm okay, so if I showed you, I'm trying to think. If if I showed you a picture of Brad Pitt when he's young mm -hmm. and then a picture of Donald Trump now. Mm -hmm. And I asked all the women in the United States to, who do you think is more physically attractive? You don't think there would be any objective basis? Like, you don't think that comparing Brad Pitt in his youth to Donald Trump now, how he looks now, you think, you think that it's going to be 50-50? Said that. But do you think it would be 50-50? I, I didn't say so that. So we are able to make some degree of assessment about somebody's physical attractiveness, are we not? Sure. So then how is it a stupid question? Because you're not asking me to rate you, you're asking me to rate myself. And then tell us that we're wrong. Yeah. But okay, I'll, you said you asked there's me, a point. You, you asked there's myself that we Because I saw it coming, we I knew when I said 10, you're going to make you're not. Okay. I have I one more question, and I'll tell you why I asked this question. It's just you have something? Go ahead. No, I also it's think just, the I'm flip side confused. can be equally, uh, the point can equally be made. You could meet somebody that's marginally attractive, and then you get to know them, and then they end up being extremely attractive to you. So the flip side can also be... Absolutely. I mean, look, I'm not saying looks are the, the only thing that matter. Mm -hmm. You can make up for it in a myriad of other yeah. ways personality, status, exactly, etc. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so here's, here's another question. <laughs> Donald Trump is a 10. There you go. <laughs> Donald Trump's never coming on the podcast. No, I compared him to Brad Pitt. Okay. Uh, all right. W. Trump. All else being Trump? equal, Trump? all else being equal, do you think you will be more physically attractive in 10 years than you are now? Go ahead. Yeah, if I'm physically, yes, yes, yes. You'll be more, so you're 22, you'll be more physically attractive at 32. Yes. No. Honestly, Asian don't raisin. My dad glue up like as he got older, so. What about your mom? My mom looks good too. Huh. So, so okay. my mom just blessed. So you'll be more physically attractive at 36 <laughs> as compared to now at 26. Like looking at myself, I feel like I still kind of have a baby face at 26, so I feel like Yeah, I'm, you a badass uh, bitch, you straight. You good. <sighs> Girl, you're gonna look good till yeah, you're 55. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's you're set. Ah, but, <laughs> you're set. <laughs> so, uh, what, no, we'll go around the table. We'll go what, around. Brian? I heard your answer. I heard your answer. I'll come back to that. What about you? I think it'd go either way. I'm hoping so. I hope I look better. You, you hope. What do you think, though? Yes. Okay. You'll, so you're 25, right? Mm -hmm. You'll be more physically attractive at 35 than at 25. Yeah. Okay. What about you? So we're saying like if at 35, I think I would look prettier at 35. You think you'll be more physically attractive at 35? Yeah, because I'm 24. I feel like or I'm going to grow. 20, 24, 20, 34. Okay. Yeah. You're going to grow? I don't know. I'm going to like just like grow in my like body more. I don't know. Work on myself more. <laughs> okay. I probably will look better. So you're 39. More, will you be more attractive at 49 or now? Yes, I think so. You'll, you'll be more attractive at 49 yeah. than you are now. I've glow, glown up. So. Okay. What about you? No. What about you? I think that um, attractiveness. Oh, hold on. Loose pussy energy donated oh one hundred dollars. <laughs> Brian, love your name. these stupid fucking busted fishes blowing their whoa, asses whoa, off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the fucking cat. Whoa. They're broken and there's a guy named Abdul that can fix them. Hashtag get, get the rocks. Hashtag castle time. Get Hashtag the rocks. This dot is dot Abdul? Sparta. Yeah. Get can the I get, get the rocks? Can I get Abdul's contact information, please? Yes, I need help. Yes, Sparta! Thank you, LPE. Go ahead. I think attractiveness um, is kind of determined by like youthfulness, and, and not by everyone. But I, to me, what I think is attractive is youthfulness and glowing skin, clear skin, long hair. Um, so I think when I'm 36 and 26, I think that I'm more beautiful now. But people can age gracefully and, and look beautiful. Yeah. 10 years from now. And some people look like better. that's what well, I was trying on. to say. It was to, what, she to, just clarify, put it really to clarify, <laughs> I'm not saying that in 10 years' time, you're just going to 
be unattractive? That's, that's not the question. You may very well still be attractive in 10 years. That's not the question. Will you be more attractive in 10 years is the question. No, I, based off of what I just said regarding youthfulness, I'm 26 and I don't think that I will be as youthful when I'm 36. That's not to say I won't be attractive, but to answer your question, 26 is more youthful. Sure. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. So I think you answered yes, you answered yes, 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 yes. So it was you five right there. Um, will you be more attractive in 20 years? Yes. <laughs> I think my 30s. Wait, I'm genuinely, peak, or are you just honest. trolling? No, That's yes, awesome. yes. Sorry, okay. I feel like in my 30s I'll peak. So no, not in 20 years. I mean, I'll be more attractive than. You can just see it in her face. She's like a go. badass bitch. Mm. Like, next question. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> um, right. I just want my face like slimmed down a little bit. It's your just face is little... slim. Okay. You know what I mean? You. Girl, like, get, get, get your yes. perfect. No, no, I feel like when I get older, like the stuff that oh, happened to my dad, he like looks more. I actually think men prefer, don't like that like super slim look. No, like, he, my dad looks good. My dad has a six pack. I'm not sure What's how your dad is. Yeah. I'm not saying my genetics. I'm saying my genetics. Like as he got older, okay. he looked better. So, so you're saying, 20, like, as I get you're, older. You're 26 year olds, excuse me, 26 years old currently. Mm-hmm. You think you'll be more physically attractive at 46? Could be. No, 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 no. It's not the question. I mean, I take care of myself. I do get Botox. I get my face done. So, I mean, yeah, I could. You, so you think it's not, okay. I wear sunscreen. So you think you'll be more physically attractive <laughs> at 46 than at 26, okay? Yep. God bless my husband. What about you? Don't wear sunscreen. You think you'll be more, yes. fi- are you guys just like saying this no. just to be like combative or you genuinely believe no. you'll be more physically attractive I at 45 than at tw- 25? Okay. What about you? I don't know. At that point, now I'm like kind of a lot older, so probably not. Okay. I'm going to say no. No, absolutely well, you, you, not. Okay. Yeah. You guys already answered, so. Um, don't you think it's a little bit delusional to think in 20 years you will be more physically attractive than you are now? No. How is that not... Are, do you, are you guys just not aware of the effects of aging? <laughs> well, if she well, does if, enough spells on herself, she could age backwards, right? I also don't think aging is ugly. Um, like what? And what? Also, yeah, exactly. And So you're in... Just to be clear... My then why don't you draw this? wrinkles mom, on your face you? when you're doing your makeup? Well, I think she means naturally. Well, I'm, well wait, well, what? <laughs> like, if you're saying aging, like, looks great. Yeah, well, I what mean, about like, if wait, a, Can we talk about aging? Yeah, like, I'm talking about, like, actual also, real wait, aging. I have a question. Those of you who ranked yourselves at tens over here, which I think was you. Yes. You, you, and you. Mm-hmm. But you're saying you're going to be more physically attractive in 10 years, more physically attractive in 20 years. How can you possibly be a 10 now if you will be better I, looking in 10 or 20 years. I feel like a 10 now, so I'm a 10. $100. T.I.L. <laughs> Shelbier, Taylor Hill, Roar and Bin Hussein, Kylie Jenner, Bella Hadid, mm. Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, mm. Hailey Bieber, Kaya Gerber, and Jade Webber. And if you they, don't look close to them, you're not a 10. Facts. They got just, a lot of plastic a lot surgery, of plastic some surgery. of those. I don't know. I don't know if I so agree on the, sure that, that, but kill of cereal, I, I do appreciate it. Wait, so, okay. 30 years? Any 30 years more attractive than 30 years? You don't want to no. hear from me. So I'm just, <laughs> just going to shut up. <laughs> okay, so, so basically, if you guys will be more attractive in 10 years, 20 years, if I could wave a magic wand that could only advance your outer appearance to how you will look in 10 or 20 years with no impact on your health, would you take it? No. But I thought you said you'd be more attractive. Wouldn't you want to be more attractive? I don't trust whatever you're taking, giving me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm down. You're, you're down to, okay. And my brain hasn't aged, like I'm the same. You're, I'm you're, you're healthy, gonna... you're still healthy, just your outward physical appearance. But brain though, I'm saying like. Brain is, aged. brain is the same, brain well, is the same. I wanna age with my body. Like I wanna But be don't wiser. you wanna be, don't you wanna to advance to your more attractive self at 35 and 45? <gasps> I never said that. Who wouldn't want to be 
well, instantly I'm feel more attractive. About myself later when I'm wiser and more beautiful. Sounds like a bunch of mental gymnastics, but okay. What about you? What was the question? If I could wave a magic wand, only advance your outer appearance to how you will look in 10 or 20 years, because you said you will be more physically attractive in 10 or 20 years with no impact on your health, would you take it? Probably, yeah. Huh. <laughs> okay. But then why do you get Botox? I don't. It's not like having like wrinkles. It's like <laughs> no. Wait, but what, what he's saying point? is he want, He's saying he would expedite the aging process yeah. ten years. Scoot it, scoot so it. you would look ten years older, older right now. Oh, that's what yeah. he's. That's what he's saying. If you could wave a magic wand to look better, because your argument is you would look better in ten years. Mm -hmm. You would look. Yeah. 36 so in terms of my now. face slimming down that was my answer he's the warlock okay. but i don't want wrinkle i'm not gonna say like yes give but me like, wrinkles but you can't cherry pick what that comes with so i mean yeah so i'm gonna continue to get removal. no no, no. Yeah. i said okay if i'm continuing to get botox how i am right now and my face slims down i believe i will be more attractive Delusional. Under, you're, you're beautiful. I'm just saying. That was my answer. You're fucking beautiful. Yeah, I'll even I'll so even give grant you this. So less, because just less. just to be as charitable as I can with the question, the magic wand question, you will advance your age for your outward appearance forward ten or twenty years, and it'll stay that way for ten or twenty years. So it's not like well I advance it forward ten or twenty years and then I just continually age because perhaps you concede that well in thirty years then I'll be less attractive. So we'll we'll stick it in place, we'll stick your outward physical appearance for ten years, twenty years. You would take your forty how you look at forty six and change it for how uh, swap I'm not it out. Understanding your question. <laughs> I got lost there. Okay, because all of you said you all think that you'll be more physically attractive in 10 years or 20 years, correct? Mm -hmm. So wouldn't it then be, you'd be better capable of attracting a partner if we just advanced your outward appearance, if we could wave a magic wand, mm -hmm. 10 or 20 years, right? So for you, you're 26, right? Mm -hmm. So we could snap up a finger, you look 46 and you'll stay- I've always said 10 years, you 36. You said you'll look better at in 20 years also. I said maybe, I didn't say yes to that. That's what you got in Okay, fine. I'll fine. We'll do 36. Okay. Wave a wand. We advance your outward appearance to how you will look at uh, 36. Mm -hmm. And it'll stay that way for 10 years. So it's not like you're just advancing your outward physical appearance in terms of your aging. Mm -hmm. In terms of your health, nothing changes. Do you take it? No. That's the most... <laughs> you're delusional. I'm sorry. You're delusional, it's dude. Okay. Don't trust what he gives you. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are just delusional. I don't know what, how else to say it. I thought it, you were schizo. I think that's you. You're projecting. <laughs> Wait, are you projecting? Okay, anyways, disregarding that. It's all good. I'll tell you, look, I'll tell you guys why I push back on this and why I think it's important. So, I think one of the important things when it comes to dating is knowing what your league is, knowing where you are in the dating marketplace. Because, I don't know if you guys know, do you know any guys who think they're hot shit, but they're not? Yeah. Now, what if I told you that's what you are? You think, because if you think, I'm, I'm fucking a 10 out of 10, I'm super fucking hot, here's where it gets dangerous for women. Not da like dangerous in terms of violence or anything, but here's where it gets dangerous. One, it's just, delusional two you're going to be chasing after a certain caliber of guy if you think that you're oh i'm this is my league here what ends up happening is well, women don't chase after guys they don't but also wait, really like a situation ship dynamic i'll t look you're gonna be pursuing men and this is why women are so upset by fuck boys and guys that sleep with you and then that's it. They, they don't want to give you commitment is you can sleep, women can sleep outside of their league. Men can't. We get rejected on the front end. So if a guy, for example, me, if I try to, I can't get anything from a girl who's outside of my league. I can't get a conversation. I can't get a date. 
I certainly can't get sex from a girl who's more attractive than me, who's outside my league. That just means you're insecure. It's 100% true. It has nothing to do with insecurity. Okay. It has to do with reality. What's your definition? Now, I'm sure of maybe you guys might agree with me, though. Uh -huh. There are men who will gladly That's sleep with you who will never give you commitment. Do you agree with that? I mean, yeah, there are, but like, I don't think that's where we started. I'm just a little Well, I'll, I'll explain it further. I'll explain it further. I'll explain it further. It's no, it's truth, but you can be quiet while I'm explaining it. I got you. So, as a guy, we get rejected on the front end. Women tend to get rejected on the back end. So what ends up happening is you'll sleep with a guy. Now, you might have, you, maybe on your end, you just want to keep it casual. Perhaps that's the case. But it could also be the case that you want to pursue this man for a long-term relationship. Here's where you can get into trouble. If you have an inaccurate self-assessment of your own physical attractiveness, you might be trying to pursue men that will never, ever give you commitment. You're going to get stuck in situationships. You're going to get stuck in friends with benefits. You'll never get commitment from the guy because men will gladly sleep with women who are below their league, so to speak. And so that's why it's dangerous for women to not be able to like accurately assess, well, mm, is this guy outside of my league? <laughs> because guys, like a guy who's, just to use the numbers, I know you guys don't like the numbers, a guy who's a 10 or a 9, for example, he'll have sex with a girl who's a 6 or a 5, maybe even keep her around for friends with benefits. She's never going to get commitment. Now what ends up happening, because she, can, she thinks she can sleep with him, she thinks that's her league. So then she thinks, well, he's a nine, I must be a nine. Not really how it works. The, the way you know what your league is, is the guys who you can get commitment from, who you get marriage from, that's your league. Ryan, can I ask a question for the sure. panel? Um, for the women here, how many of you, myself included, have broken up with somebody because they feel like they're not getting because you feel like you're not getting what you want or what you feel like you deserve, and so you break up with them. Mm. Like, <laughs> for whatever reason, you're just, like Brian said, it's a, it's a situationship, it's a friends with benefits, it's, he doesn't want to put a label on it, and you've just been kind of going with the flow, but at a certain point you've kind of had it and you've got to cut loose. How many... Of the women here have experienced that. that. Me, yeah. Mo yeah, most. I have a question for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is it related to the conversation? It, yeah, about the rejection thing. Okay, what is um, it? So you were saying, like, you get rejected by a lot of people who are, <laughs> you know, not in your league or whatever. Or not you, but in general, guys get, sorry. In general, guys get rejected or whatever. Um... I'm just confused why you think that way. Like, were you, did you, were you rejected a lot as a kid? Oh my God. As I'm, a kid? Yeah, because it's starting to, because like random. the whatever podcast and the attention meeting, it's starting to all click. Uh, it's, it's clicking for you. Yeah, it is clicking. What, what's clicking? A lot. <laughs> Next. Are you big on like talk therapy? Have you done that a lot? <clears throat> what, sorry? Have you done a lot of talk therapy? Like, do you think that's a good um, Therapy, <sighs> I've, do I've done, like I've gone to therapy, <laughs> but um, it's more spirituality route. I was just curious. Mm -hmm. But also like <clears throat> therapy kind of involved, like psychology involved with it. Brian, but I totally agree with what you said. I think men get a lot of rejection on the front half, and then women will get into a relationship thinking, okay, we got the man, we got the bag, but then we, for whatever reason, are disappointed with the direction of the relationship and where it's going, and so we'll be the one to cut the ties. And so the men will get, well, sorry, the, the women, unfortunately, will get the back end of the rejection. What's your question? No, it wasn't a question. I was just agreeing. You said that men get rejection in the, in the, basically in the beginning, and women get the rejection at the end of it because we will usually pull out because we're not getting what we want. So in a, in, in a sense, we're, we're getting rejected that way. 
because our needs or our wants aren't being met. Yeah, I mean, it's very, it's very different uh, between men and women. But if I can kind of bring it back to my point that I was trying to make really quick here, is that I would argue for most women, in order for you to sleep with a guy, he needs to be at least physically attractive enough for you to see yourself in a relationship with him. Like he's at least attractive enough for you to be in a relationship with him. Whether it gets there or not, that's totally separate. Whereas men will sleep with a girl of a certain physical attractiveness that we will, we instantly disqualify her from uh, a relationship. But we'll sleep with her. We can be in a relationship with her. So, I mean, I don't know if anybody disagrees. If you're, if you, you ladies are just fucking men that you just, their looks alone, you would never be in a relationship with them just based off their looks. Is anybody, is there any pushback here or you just, you guys actually agree with me on this? I already gave my, my opinion. I agree. That Look, here's the difference. As guys, if we can sleep with the girl, there's pretty high likelihood we can get her in a relationship. The reverse, though, isn't, doesn't occur to me that that's always the case. Just because you can sleep with a guy, it's not clear to me if you can get that guy in a relationship. 100%. Mm -hmm. That's a crazy mentality. How's that a crazy mentality? I don't know. I think you can get whoever you want if you have your mind to it. That's the most r slurred thing I've ever heard. Okay. You can get whoever you want. Is that the manifest yep. manifestation thing that you're talking about? Doesn't matter. Do your own research at this point. There's no such thing as manifestation. Do your own research. I think women try to sleep up. If that makes sure. sense. That's why. But we don't necessarily. That doesn't necessarily correlate to a relationship at longevity. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the manifestation stuff is about. I mean, that's just a. Do you actually live in reality? You think you can get anybody you want? What's your definition of reality? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You, do you think that is that like an own? No, do you think I'm just that was a asking. W? Exactly. You're Happy asking me the definition of no, reality? I, no, it's an Alan, it's an Alan Watts like quote. Like, what's your definition of reality? Did you get a lot of detentions when you were in high school? Detentions? Yeah, detentions. I only, um, I got, a, uh, what's it called when you're in, like, lunch detention. I got you lunch got, detention. You got a lot of those. And then I, no, just once. A lot of behavioral I, issues. No, I was actually yeah. a really good kid. What was your home life like? Um, wild. <laughs> was your father in the picture? Yeah, my father's still in the picture, but he was Are your parents married? No, they're divorced. Divorced? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over some of your pre-show notes here. You said you were arrested for a felony. What was that? Xanax. For what? I had it on me. You had it on you. Mm -hmm. I was I was very addicted to Xanax as a kid, and I like to spread addiction awareness now because I am 100% like clean. I, You're like, sober. Yeah, that's why I'm not drinking white claws with everybody else. Um, and caffeine is keeping me alive right now, um, but. Yeah. Is everyone drinking white glass? <laughs> like I got water. I think, Monster. I think two or three of the girls had had one drink before the show. Yeah. Um, okay. You were so you were in possession for distribution. What? Um, for having it because it wasn't like a script. So yeah. Have you ever have you ever distributed any drugs? Mm -mm. Sold any drugs? No. You said going to school off Molly? What does yeah, that mean? Yeah, okay. Like I told you, I was spiraling. Okay, so when I was 17, I started dating a guy who was six years older than me. So that's, that's yikes. That's he what started my like addiction issues because he was bringing me all these like drugs and stuff. You got addicted. Yeah, exactly. And that's when I, and then at like 19, I realized, okay, addiction is a problem. Like I thought that I'm an addict, that's it. I'm done with my life. Like I, I'm going to die. But I realized you can actually fucking live past this you can you know and yeah that was a bad time in my life but that's why i'm also here I, i'm here for the addicts like i know i don't know how you guys feel about addicts but not really a conversation i'm inclined to have you said you were in a mental hospital do you care to uh explain that yeah so i 
was with that guy. Um, I got Baker acted. Um, do you know what Baker acted is? In Florida, if you say you want to die immediately, if just if you're gonna refer to like just say de- you wanted to delete yourself or something. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. You got Baker acted, so you went to a mental hospital. Yeah. Okay. Um. Have you then, been? Do you, do you have you been diagnosed with anything? Yeah. What? Um. Anxiety, depression, and uh, a not ADHD, uh, BPD. And then uh, Border, borderline personality disorder. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, you said that the guy who you were dating, mm-hmm. uh, the when you were seventeen, he made you pull up on an old high school friend, and you robbed him. Yeah, he robbed him. I was in the front seat, and oh, I, he robbed. The yeah, guy. he had the gun to his face, and I watched the poor kid's eyes like. Trust me, I've paid my karma for that. <laughs> okay. Um, you got in, uh, there's something about that. You've been in a lot of car accidents. Was it because you were driving? Seven. Were you driving? I was only driving two of them. Okay. One, and then the other one was my ex's fault. Same ex one time realized no one put money on a bottle, so he just started shooting? Yep. A uh, gun? Yes. Florida people. Okay. Yeah. Stay away from the Florida guys. Did he hit anybody? Probably. I don't even know at this point. Okay. Um, <laughs> you you crashed into a sheriff's house? Yeah. Were you driving? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you say you're obviously clean now. Mm-hmm. Are you, though? Mm-hmm. You seemed a little zonked at the beginning of the podcast. What is zonked? Out of it. Out of it? Yeah. Or is that just you? I feel like it's just kind of me, but... Yeah. Uh, let's see. You said your ex... You, did you bite down on someone's lip, or was that your ex? Yeah, that was my ex. That was the recent ex. He, he bit down on your lip? Yeah. Okay, that's abusive. Um, you said you jumped a BZ with Jules, yeah, which is one of your of friends. Yeah, it was instigating it. It was because... At the time, it was when I first started my OnlyFans at 18. I didn't want anyone in my hometown to find out. And then this girl was telling everybody, and I got mad. Like I told you, I was... What do you mean you jumped her? How did you jump her? Like, jumping means, like, when someone... I I have a sense of what it means, but what did you do specifically? Okay, so she she lived in my same apartment complex, and she knew I was mad at her. And she... I told her to come over, and she knew what type of time I was on. But... I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> so you guys fought? I beat her ass. You you beat her ass? Yeah. Are you violent with partners? No. Have you ever been violent with a partner? Um, uh, My ex, the three-year one, he got it out of me. I'm not going to lie. He did get it out of me. Who initiated the violence? Yeah. Him? Mm-hmm. But you, you said he would, would bring it out of you. But it was because he was violent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you... When you jumped, so you jumped a girl with your friend. Yeah. So it was a 2v1? Joey donated $100. Ladies, you are in your best years to have the most marital options. What specifically is stopping you from getting married in your prime? Anything? I guess I'm just waiting for the right partner that shares the same um, religious views. Because all the qualities I look for in a man, um, if I just extract it and, and try to look for that in society, it all leads back to my religious views. So it's like um, just finding that partner for me. And there's there's no rush at this point because I've done it my way and trying to figure it out. And I didn't figure it out my way. So. All right. Hold on, guys. I d- because some of these chats are about to fall off, I'm just going to pull them up. And then we'll, I'll come back to some of my stuff. Uh, but peace starts with the woman. She has to consent to it being made or otherwise it never leaves the bedroom. Therefore, women need to be held accountable first before men. Sorry that I'm getting to some of these now. Uh, they came in a while ago. Uh, P- I think this is like talking about the adult content. Women start that, I guess. Uh, let me read this one. Or Natalie, could you read these? Some of these are coming through. Uh, Brian, will you accept the marathon challenge? You versus me, quickest time wins. Obviously, you win. You get a bottle of Johnny Blue, and I stop trolling. I win, and I come on and debate. Yes or no? He keeps asking, Brian. Yeah, I, I've, <laughs> I'm not going to do a race. 
Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I appreciate your uh, patronage, though, and your messages. Thank you, man. Thank you, the Bronesons. Time for logic. If you were all tens, you wouldn't even be on this podcast, let alone have trouble getting a man to commit to you. Time to come back to reality. <laughs> What's your I definition of reality? <laughs> if you're all tens, it's a fair point. Uh, we have this one, if you can That's read this. Opinion. Disgruntled, thank you, man. Jabriel, thank you. Natalie is only 10, TVH. Question for the ladies. Do you watch... I, I think, think he means mean anime. anime yeah. but all right, going around the table, do you watch anime? Do you, Natalie? Um, no, I don't. No. Naruto? No. I've only seen Naruto. No. 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 All right. We have this one. Ask the women to rate their intelligence on a scale of zero to 200. Um, I'm really young, so I would say 50 because I have a lot to learn. I feel like maybe 100. That'd be in between average. That's a really broad question. Um... If I'm thinking like emotional intelligence, I'm very high. I mean, obviously I didn't know the answers to the world war questions. <laughs> we'll put that out there. But um, I didn't really pay attention that much in history because I was really science focused. Um, so I'm sorry, I didn't give an oh. answer yet. All right, you're meandering. You're making your way to the answer. Go I ahead. was just clarifying go ahead, go ahead. how I'm getting to my answer. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna say 125. Okay. I think you were saying before, like, there's so many different ways to be intelligent. Yeah, exactly. Um, That's what, what I was, I was saying, at. too. And yeah. I'd be in the hundreds. We all have more to learn, but. Mm -hmm. I would also say, yeah, 100. I'd say 125. Yeah, like 120. I'd say 130. I don't want to get trolled like the girls who said 10, but, like, one. One. I think you deserve a high number. You want to be smart. Okay. Five, I don't know. Yeah, Can you read this one? Yeah, no. I could care less. <laughs> I didn't mean for you to assume these choices were post plastics. Look at them pre plastics. No one aside from medical intervention should get plastic surgery. If you're a 10 on panel, no makeup, please. Hmm. Well, well put, Philip Sarah. If you look at those people before their plastic surgery, I mean, you wouldn't think that they were a 10 on the street. I don't even know like half of the people. Well, listed, they just listed so. a bunch of different like models. I mean, Kylie Jenner definitely was not. Would she be a ten without her plastic surgery? I don't think she's a ten with it. Okay, so. But Shizzle, we have the king of DIY. If you can read this one. Ladies, you are in your best years to have the most marital options. What specifically is stopping you oh. from getting married in your prime? I think he yeah. sent it as a super chat, but he also uh, sent it as. Mm -hmm. Did anybody else want to answer this one or? What's stopping you from getting married? I got married in my prime. Best years. Divorce. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think I'm in my prime yet. I think yeah, your prime's at 60, 45, yeah. is it? <laughs> 65, maybe. She's getting there. She's getting to her prime. She's going to be a... Fine wine. I took some MILF. Thank, okay. Thank you for your Chicks answers. Up to 75K <laughs> seems feasible for an established man seeking marriage. Iron 5X that. May I suggest a book? I Kissed Dating Goodbye by Joshua Harris. If a serious man you love chose to wait for marriage for sex, would you wait? Nice stories. Okay. Um, if a serious man that you love wanted to wait for marriage to have sex, would you wait? I, let's just say, would you wait for marriage to have sex? Starting with you, go ahead. Mm, no. You gotta test a car before you buy it. Yes. <laughs> okay. I agree with that. I'm not religious, so I don't have any like part of me that's that ever really wanted that. I love Andrew Tate. Uh, so you, yes, you would wait or no? No, I would not wait. I mean, that ship has sailed, I think, already. But with no, new, I mean, with uh, a new person, like with I a would, new person, I yeah. could wait. Okay. Yeah, I think if a new person and I and I love them, I'd wait. Okay. No. Absolutely not. No. Yes, I would. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Journey Life, for your question. Appreciate it. We're all caught up on our chats here. Getting back to your criminal history. <laughs> <laughs> you said you jumped a bee with Jules. So, like, you both jumped her and she was alone? No, I was an instigator. I was there alone, and then she just kind of jumped in. It was just stupid. Jules jumped in or... 
I ju- no, yeah, she jumped in, but it was okay. my fault. It, was, it had nothing to do with her. Okay. I feel like you live euphoria so like in real life. I did. It's like <laughs> unfortunately, I'm like Jewel. Unfortunately, Florida baby. Okay. Like the Molly in school. Yeah, I privated that video because people were messaging me saying I want to do Molly, like, and I'm like, no, please don't. You said that you like to degrade men on your SW platforms. Yes. You like to degrade men. So um, I'm not gonna promote this platform, but this is how I personally talk to men, and there's a lot of guys on there who have fetishes, like I told you guys. Um, there's a lot of fetishes out there, um, and they like to be made fun of their pee pee size. So I'll sit there and make fun of them for it. And you enjoy it. It's like a an, like an act. Like, but you I'm you a, derive pleasure from degrading. No, fuck no, I'm numb to that shit. You it's said like it's fun. Actor. You said it's fun for you. No, I'm numb to it. But do you see a problem with being numb to that? Um, yes and no. So, yeah, you said yes. Why would you allow yourself to do something that you so, have to numb yourself because to? Because I'm numb to the to the buyers. I'm numb to the to the view, not the viewers, but the buyers, the OnlyFans people. I'm not numb to the people that I genuinely fall in love with and genuinely find a connection with. Of course with. not. Of course, right. Because I don't date my OnlyFans people. I don't date my SP people. I don't date none of my buyers. Like, but, m- but I guess what my argument is, is why would you continue to do something that isn't fulfilling you? That isn't making you happy and joyous and and bringing out the best in you. No, it is. It is. I guess it. I, I. Did I say it wasn't making me happy? It, no, no. But it was implied in okay, what you said no, by being numb. It's making me happy. Okay. So numbness is happiness to you? No. Okay. You also said that when you were young, you would fill up Walmart carts with alcohol. Yeah, and I was like fucking shoplift, fifteen. Basically. Well, no, I wouldn't. Or do steal it. it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. My friends would do it. They would fill up a cart while you're it was, it was 24 hours before covid okay so they fill up the cart with beer and all this bullshit mm-hmm. and then we'd they'd run out of walmart and we'd pick them up in the car and zoom 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 we out all right that's interesting yeah uh you also said that you hate labels yes. oh that's related to the yeah, yeah. The, that stuff okay uh, you said that you've seen one clip from the podcast. Your friend explained to you the concept. I kind of wanted to go, not knowing the vibe. Yeah, that's what I was asking you. Like, you said, you know, he hates on OF girls <laughs> and sex workers, so I'm ready for that discussion. I mean, what's the clip that you saw? I don't even know anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was a clip. Yeah, I don't hate on women who do OF or sex work. But a lot of women come on fucking disrespectful, kind of like yourself. So, yeah, you might see clips where I'm, like, checking these people who come on disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, compared to, like, some other podcasts and given, like, the cohort of people I deal with, I actually think I'm fairly charitable when it comes to conversations. I I was barely, like... I didn't know about it until my kick streamers joined. Your, Your Twitch streamers? No, kick. Kick streamers K-I-C-K. joined. K-I-C-K. Yeah, I, I know the platform. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm not seeking an apology. No, I thought you were. I thought you accidentally thought it was the old one, the K-I-K, like because a lot of people always think that the text messaging one that people used to. Oh, use the, all the messaging time. app. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what you dis- What specifically do you disagree on? I mean, I don't think it's a. I think it's a suboptimal dating choice to date someone who's involved in OF or sex work. Mm-hmm. Is that what you disagree with? You said you said you don't agree with dating someone who does OF, or you do? I think it's a suboptimal choice for men to make, and I suppose women too. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend women go and date men who are porn stars. Okay. I don't have a double standard on this, but yeah, I think it is a suboptimal dating choice. Okay. And I'm not claiming sitting here saying I'm perfect, have but you ever dated someone with an OF? Ever? No. Okay, I was just no. wondering. And actually, I've, I've even stated that so long as they've not done, uh, and I'm, I mean, it's still a suboptimal dating choice, but if there was like some girl and she did solo content, maybe conceivably, maybe, but there's other options out there too, Of course. but I haven't. So yeah, I was just wondering, but is that your contention? What do you mean? My contention of what? that I am 
I advise men to not date women who are involved in OnlyFans. Um, that's what I thought, but I guess not anymore. What do you mean? That's what you thought? I just like stated before it. I came here. Okay. Oh, so you cool. do still believe that? Still believe that. Never get pegged underscore Minnesota donated one hundred dollars. <laughs> Two balls struck down a path through life. Young one, I'm a run down. Bang me a cow. Old bull, I'll walk down and bang em all. Fluzzies work with brain him wise. Strumpet sell our three comma four comma three comma three comma three comma four comma five comma four comma three. Strumpets. Gusto meow for me, our end boy. I love that one. He wants Never you to meow. Again. Don't do it. Don't do it, Gustavo. Do it. Do it. You got you to do a champagne pop if you want Gustavo to meow. Um, all right, we have central limit theorem. Can you read this one? This panel is wild. Half of them claim to be tens. One claims a 40 IQ, not even intellectually functioning. Another claims 175 IQ, higher than Einstein. What the... Oh, I, think that's you. I wasn't <laughs> saying 175 IQ. I thought they were just going with like an yeah. arbitary scale. Uh, it, yeah, wasn't, I don't think, it wasn't because that was an IQ. They yeah. didn't ask IQ. That's, they asked yeah. that's a fair a point. Scale. I don't think I'm he didn't IQ. say intellectualness. Is that even possible? It is a fair point. He did not say it was an IQ scale. It was from yeah. zero to 200. So, although isn't that typically what the range is for? Well, then we also touched on there's multiple things to consider. Like, Can you have a zero IQ? Would you have to be like a vegetable, yeah. basically? NPC, yeah. a baby. No, a vegetable. <laughs> NPC. Yeah, like brain dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Baby, probably. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's see here. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the roses. I need to get up here momentarily. Actually, wait, before I do that, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Nick, if you can pull up Twitch. Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. There's 1,500 of you viewing. If you're not following, can you guys just do me a favor? Just click the little follow button. We're trying to get a follow, uh, get our followers up on Twitch, twitch.tv slash whatever. Appreciate it. Hakish, thank you for the follow. Guys, and if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch, and then it's a quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. If there's a little Twitch Prime in the chat, uh, Baby Canes, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for all the follows. Okay, Nick, X out of that message. Um, Cheese McGee, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for all the follows, guys. Tank, thank you for the Prime. Greg, thank you for the Prime. Excalibur Slayer, thank you for the Prime. Uh, sad little 420. Okay, thank you for the prime. Noxious, thank you for the prime. Big Willie P, thank you for the follow, dude. Avocado, thank you for the follow. Uh, Meech Chill, thank you for the follow. Joe, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you guys. We'll check back in on this in a little bit. Appreciate all your support over there on Twitch. Oh, uh, nah, it's okay. I need to get up really quick. Uh, Natalie, do you have a question? You got anything for the, the ladies? Oh my gosh. Uh, can we talk about like feminism stuff i think that's a great idea maybe you if you can go okay. around yeah. the table are you a feminist are you a feminist or we could go to trump stuff i, I think feminism, okay. feminism, feminism. 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 yeah mm, no answer you can't okay no 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 no, no. we're <laughs> okay, not okay, we're not okay. gonna do that oh fuck yes <laughs> <laughs> um I guess. I, I mean, what like, what's your definition of it? Like, that they believe women are higher. Well, what's, what's what would be your definition? That women are equal. That's how I'm. Yeah. I have say no. Yes, I'm a feminist. Yes. <clears throat> yes, kind of. moderately. Yeah. I, no, yeah. I'm not. Not at all. So you guys think being a feminist means that you think men and women are equal? That's your definition? What do you guys think the definition of feminism is? No. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that's my definition, but there's different levels to it. There's extreme feminists and then exactly. more Exactly, that's, yeah. that's, like, that's what I was saying. That's why I was like, yes, I am, yes, I am. Well, mm -hmm. I guess, so I guess my take on feminism and why I'm not a feminist is because I think that the balance of masculine and femininity is so beautiful and I can't do a lot of things that a man can do and a man can't do a lot of things that I can do and I think that's a beautiful combination to have a partner that can compliment you um, that's really important to me um, and I don't think we should try to compete or or be something we're not meant to be biologically especially would you date a man who didn't identify himself as a feminist yes yes no why not well for me I think feminism is just about us all having like the same amount of rights and what rights do women just not have in that general, men have? I mean, just... 
I mean, like, where do you I'm think there's inequality in society between men and women? Well, I just mean like women in sports. Because all the transgender men are coming in. Fair that point. That is a hot well, topic. <laughs> well, just like, I what mean, do you like, mean? Women in sports in general, I think, because get paid less because there's less viewers for. Well, that's why they sports. get paid less because well, there's less viewers. Right, but we also okay. <laughs> I'm just saying my my definition of it is, is really broad. Um, I agree with her. And if someone didn't think. Okay, wait, but back. So okay. no one can give an example of where women don't have the same rights as men, but that's why you think we should, or that's why you wouldn't date a man who doesn't identify as a feminist. But you can't give one example of where women and men aren't equal, except for women getting paid less in sports, but you just admitted it's because they get less views. Yeah, but I also don't think just because they get less views, should that mean they should get paid less. You know what I mean? So you think they, that they if bring people home like bring in less almost more championships than men sometimes. You're saying specifically in the context of USA teams competing mm -hmm. on the international stage, like female teams perform better than male teams, so they should make more money even though they bring in less sponsorships, viewerships, and promotional deals. Yes. How I is think, that financially I think that they feasible? Still be paid fairly for all the work that they put in. So fairly is just because they're women doing the same thing. It's, it has nothing to do with the economics or finances of running a business. Just for the sake of gender equality, we should just give women more money because they're women. So I think what you're arguing is for equity and not equality because women have equality. Women have the opportunity yeah. to play sports, but what you're saying is you want also, the equity to be the same as the equity within a, a man's yes. or a male sport yes. and financially, economically unfortunately the world just doesn't work like that and that's yeah. why it is the way it is also to extrapolate that men and women are not equal and the one anecdotal example that you sort of debunked and gave was like a niche <laughs> issue of women's sports is there anything that maybe affects more than like the maybe collective thousand ten thousand women in the united states who are oh, professional wow. athletes i don't know so i'm, I'm just i'm, I know, I'm I know, asking I this here i just i mean this genuinely like, I know it's the normal thing to say you're a feminist, right? Like, if you don't say it, maybe you get pushed back on a college campus or it's just sort of like the normal thing to do. I feel like most women probably like, oh, yeah, I'm a feminist because that means men and women are equal. But it sounds like you, you don't really have like a very well thought out explanation as to why you identify as one. So, like, well, where okay, do you well, think so that programming me, comes from? Okay, or why do you me, identify? I guess... I would say I'm a feminism just because I just think like girls should support like other girls and just like whatever their endeavors may be in life. That's my answer. So it's not that men and women are unequal in society? No. no. Well, I mean, I do think that they are unequal be biologically, yes. I think they're unequal because there's more so things So if they're unequal biologically, do. isn't that why there's a pay disparity, right? Because people would rather watch male sports because male athletes typically, even at like a college level, can outperform some of the most elite female athletes. High school. High school, middle school. High school yeah. yeah. Again, sports I think is, is a niche example, but like what's, I mean, anyone on the panel who said they're feminists, can you give me one way that men and women aren't equal in today's society? Isn't there a... Don't say pay gap. Don't say wage gap. I was just Yes. <laughs> so go ahead, enlighten me. <laughs> so that number there's that you're quoting a, there, there's a is they took it. the average of all the wages that men who are basically employees or work aren't just you know doing a hobby at home, little small business. Men, women didn't time control any variables for time, education, salary, time spent in the job, what the job is and they just averaged it. They didn't control for anything. Now, I'm no fan of sociological studies, and frankly, this is why, because they don't control for a lot of variables, but they averaged it, and then they said, well, women make 73 cents on a dollar, but if you actually adjust for a lot of those variables and some of the more recent studies they've done, they've actually found that the pay gap diminishes virtually to zero, and in a lot of urban areas, women actually tend to outperform mm -hmm. men, and frankly, if you get into the whole, all the entire DEI push, in most of corporate America, I think you could even start to say that underqualified women and other forms of minorities, and the women aren't a minority, are overpaid in terms of their credentials and qualifications for a job. But the pay gap just does not exist at all. And I would ask you this, if you guys think the wage gap exists, if Brian could hire the two of us and get away with paying, get away with paying me 75% less, 
why wouldn't he do that? And why wouldn't the entire workforce be basically all female? Like there's this great loophole that corporate America has that you just like get to save 25% on expenses if you hire women. So does, so something? wait, so does the wage gap exist? I just think I, you're brainwashed. Something? You think I'm brainwashed? I mean, you just said you're a feminist and you can't even give me one way to explain why you are. Feminism That's to all me I too. had to say. Just I just think you're brainwashed. Hey, feminism to me means that I feel empowered, okay? Like I just feel like uh, I feel like women should be able to exercise their independence. That's uh, I mean there's a lot of How can uh, you not exercise your independence in today's society? Um, I just feel like that there's a lot of social norms that, uh, that, I don't know if I'm best, best explaining this, but I mean, I, I think that there is a lot of, um, expectations for women to behave a certain way. And, um, I think like pushing out of those, those norms or those cultural norms is, um, are there not expectations for men to behave a certain way too? Yes, there are. Absolutely. Uh, but so. when I say that I'm a feminist, I mean like I feel like like females are empowered. That's that's what that means to me. But implied in that, I feel like is that there are societal forces that are stripping you away of your empowerment. So I guess what I'm saying is, wage gap aside, how are you not empowered? I would I would almost argue it's easier to start a business in America as a woman. You have preferential treatment when it comes to loans, mm -hmm. uh, preferential hiring processes. Um, literally just because you're a woman, women are the majority of college graduates. Um, I mean, life being a, a, a woman, I feel like in some ways kind of life on easy mode if you p play into the corporate structure. So how are you not, I mean, they literally have empowerment programs that they don't allow men, let alone straight white men in. So there's literally a multi-billion dollar corporate push to empower women. So how are you not empowered? I'm just saying, like, I, I am a proponent of, of feeling empowered. I'm a proponent of female empowerment, too. But People say my boss is a misogynist and he is a female co-host, but I think female empowerment doesn't come from pretending that there are issues in society, saying that we're unequal to men. And I think if you guys all consider, you know, you think I'm brainwashed, you can think that, but you also espouse an ideology that you can't even give me literally one example why you actually believe it, let alone define it, but you just slap that label on because that's what mainstream society has told you to believe. So I think you're actually the one who's brainwashed. I'm brainwashed. Girl, you are so based. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to actually, yeah. aside from just insulting her, do you want to actually present an argument for why you think she's brainwashed? Um, I'm just listening to everything she's saying and I'm getting the knowledge in. And I just, do you want to raise actual objections or do you um, want to just no, insult her? I think I don't think I should bring it up on this podcast. You can bring it up. Is Why it not? essay? It's just too deep and personal. It's related to feminism? <laughs> yeah. It's too deep and personal. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for one example. All right, well, Glenn, well, well, Glenn, wait, so just, can I say I, something? I, Actually, yeah, go ahead. Then I have a couple Sorry. questions. I was going to say, you seem to be really updated on like recent studies that show yeah. there may not be a wage gap, but there's always outlying situations. Like I have experienced being paid less than my male coworkers, even though we're working the same position. Well, you're lucky that you live in a country where there's codified legislation that would allow you to sue and get your rightful money. I well, am, yeah, but I'm just saying I can, have experience. Can we dive deep, a little deeper into that? What yeah. was the job? Um, I worked at a boba and cheese shop in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys both started at the exact same time? No, I started before. You started before? A couple weeks before, same position, and he was being paid $2 more an hour than me. Did he have more education? No. I had the same experience. Was the job, there was no difference in the job title? No. Did you ask your boss why, why the discrepancy? No, I did not. Um... Is it possible that he negotiated his salary and you didn't? No. They just gave it to him? Yeah. Okay. 100%. They do that. They do that. It, and it was, you said it was a boba shop? Yeah. Was the boss a male or a female? It was a female. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, there you have it. <laughs> okay. So, one other question. Was there any expectation of like lifting anything heavy? 
No. There's no like requirement to lift. I mean, if there's a lot of boba, maybe. <laughs> she could probably lift. I don't know. I mean, it's a bit anecdotal. I, yeah. total, and, and can lift. It's, I don't know if know. that specific example is evidence of. I'm just kidding. But did but, you think, ask for a promote? Did you ask to get paid more or paid equivalently? No, I didn't ask. And that about right there it. is the other reason why I think, in some ways, the, the wage gap exists yeah, because men, men be and women are different in asking mm-hmm. for raises. Yes. Agreed. Because I've true. also experienced differences in pay when I was in sales, in tech sales. I was being paid like a third of what my male counterparts were being paid, but I did advocate for myself and I kept getting raises because of that. Yeah. But their you're argument. Paying, you're getting paid one third, third base salary. So if they were making, if you were making a hundred thousand, they were making three hundred thousand. I wasn't making a hundred thousand at the time. I'm just I was using an example, but, yes, but they were making. Some of them were making three times. So if you're making fifty k, they were making one hundred fifty k. Is my math right there? Yeah. A third. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good is example. That, was is it a commission job? Sales isn't that often commission based. Salary and commission, but that was the thing. So, so their I did total <laughs> compensation or plus yep. commission, they were getting. Salary plus commission. So, so like your OTE just would be different off off rip technically because of your different salaries, but because were you was, selling the same products? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but because I did well in my sales, I mean, I was good. But I would argue like yeah, in certain scenarios that does happen. But in mine, it was because also I had less experience, even though I was a top performer. So I had to step away for a bit. I know you were going around the table asking if everyone's who's a feminist. Mm-hmm. Did we get all the way around the table on that? Everyone mm-hmm. got I the think answer? So. Yeah. And then somehow the wage gap mm-hmm. came up and I heard something about sports. Yeah. <laughs> so is it the case? So that was, a good clip. <laughs> was it the so, the s- women's sports should be paid the same as men's sports? Is that yeah, but I under obviously I understand like the w- women don't get as many views. I'm just saying it sucks because they are like they perform they do the same things as men. Do like they? they're working hard every single day. They bring home championships. I think like it does suck that people don't watch women's sports enough. But who's I mean? Does it depend on the sport? Are there some women's sports that get more views than men? Well, it it depends, but sure. Ben to the offender donated one hundred dollars. Women being equal in the eyes of the law is a good thing. It's whenever equality in terms of physicality and mentality becomes a jack of all trades, but master of none type scenario. Do you have the same issue though that say most like female OnlyFans creators get paid more than men? They're or hypothetical. Female models. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably they putting in the same men. work. No, I think that they should if they're putting in the same work, like yeah, they but should how be do you, paid. That's but not I, really I an optimal way of running an economy. The handyman donated one hundred dollars. Brixen, thanks for everything you do to teach young women the ways. Side note, ignore the brain dead goth girl, please. Mm. FFS. Hey, thank you. First thank time you. TTS. Love hey, the show. The handyman. Fight the good thank fight. Thank you. Thank you for your first time TTS. Really appreciate your generosity and patronage. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I will um, say I am not well educated with like economics and everything. I'm just... That, but that that is an inter- and I'm not attacking you guys. Obviously, I do no, this yeah, for a living, so same. it's slightly different. But I actually don't really do the cultural stuff. Like I said, my my wheelhouse really is the China stuff. I just like to think I'm an impartial observer. But it's just interesting to me because, like, does it not does it not weird you out to some extent that you're like, I'm a feminist. Like you have such this ingrained thing to be like, women need to be treated equal. I need empowerment. Like society is not fair you know it's not equal but then when you re- you've never actually thought about it like you sort of reverse engineered your thought process in other ways you started with the culmination mm-hmm. instead of actually doing the debate and digging into it right you guys have all told me like oh well you're so much more well researched than i am on this issue i'm really not like i said i don't do the cultural stuff but i just w- don't you feel weird like having an opinion that you haven't done the research on and it's just an opinion that you have because corporations put out commercials making it normalized to be a yeah. feminist and yeah, that's right. yeah i would agree but, with that i guess but yeah. i also experienced it like kind of her so like i know the bad parts of it and i did ask for a raise i cried to my manager i worked there was for, your manager male or female? it was a female okay but so if the issue is not being empowered patriarchy and you think it's patriarchy yeah. the two of you just told me the one anecdotal example Wait, what did you say? the the one anecdotal example we can get of a alleged pay gap was at the hands of a, a woman. 
Well, so how is it men keeping you down? No, no, no. I never said feminist. men no, were we never keeping s- me Wait, down. Who? Yeah. Just yeah. really quick, just so I, I, because I was gone. Who said they were feminists? Just show of hands. I said moderately. I also said moderately. No, no. Yeah, you? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Oh, Got it. Let me read this chat really quick. We'll come back to it. Uh, yeah. Actually, Natalie, could you read it? Example of female empowerment. How about while serving 12 years in the U.S. Army, females would purposely get pregnant to avoid deployments or get out of doing work or go home early because of cramps. There's only feminism in a free country provided by men. Hmm. Joker, deuce ace. Thank you, man. Appreciate your super chat. Actually, let me kind of uh, piggyback off this a little bit. Uh, question. So what do you think about demands for equal pay, equal pay in physically demanding jobs? such as firefighter, police officer, labor, soldier. Like, do you think, for example, women in the military, firefighters, police officers, laborers, <coughs> let's remove laborers. Do you think that, they, that there should be equal pay in those circumstances? Didn't she say there's equal pay? Well, there, no, there is. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you think there yeah. should be, though? I'm saying yeah. Okay. So, for example, the physical requirements, though, to become a firefighter or police officer, soldier, you know, there, there's like a physical tests. There's there's not just one standard. There's the male standard and the female standard, and the physical requirements that women need to achieve are far lower than for their male counterparts. Um, given that there's these are physically laborious jobs, do you? It it sounds like to me equal pay for unequal work. Because if there's a bigger physical, um, if there's a bigger physical burden on men in these jobs, wouldn't it stand to reason that they ought to be paid more? Well, I think everybody could put the same amount of work in technically, and if men well, are, uh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I don't. Know, maybe I'm misunderstanding, and I think I'm going to go off on a different. Tangent. Well, okay, That's let's all say, I have to say for right now. <laughs> I think some of the hardest I, jobs are military, firefighters, Mm -hmm. laborers, police officers, and there's a reason why it's predominantly men and there's a reason why they get paid royally for it. It's because the majority of women could not do it. Okay, let's say for example, it's just, if the physical, if, if we acknowledge that these jobs are physically demanding and might require you to, for example, restrain a criminal or rescue somebody from a burning building. Do you really, if you're incapable of performing that duty, but for the sake of like wokeness and putting people in this, these positions where people's lives potentially need to be saved, where's the argument for it being justified to give someone equal pay? You're talking to me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I meant it more in a general sense. (laughs) Oh, it's just like I've seen these videos, for example, of, of, um, and look, I think there's space for women to be involved in firefighting, being police officers, soldiers, depending on what. But I've seen these videos of, for example, there's like two or three female police officers trying to restrain a male. And they're just incapable of doing it. Like they cannot physically, like with force, restrain the male. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it was like, I don't know why you're laughing, dude, like, but if it was just one man or two males, they would have been capable of restraining this individual. But we're talking about payment, so we're saying that three women police officers should be paid less because they're less capable, is what you're saying? I mean, if part of your job involves dealing with criminals, and if we care about, here's another component of this, if a woman is incapable of physically restraining a man, the, she's going to be much quicker to use lethal force Mm -hmm. than a man will. So there's some considerations there because if she can't physically restrain him, okay, she's going to have to go through what, there's a specific terminology for it. She's going to have to go through like a, the escalation of, uh, there's a specific term. It's the escalation. Killer of serial donated $100. Spatio-temporal events in M versus F sports, movement speed, thrust power, throwing distances act. This is why women paid less, less ticket sales. Hmm. They only work as hard as they are biologically able. 
Word. I don't know, it just occurs to me, it's like, you know, if you gotta pay four people to do the job of what two people could do, yeah. Well, I think, I, sorry, go first. I was gonna say, I think for the sake of diversity, our society is being more inclusive um, and I think that can be dangerous for many reasons. It puts the officers, firefighters, um, whatever female, whichever profession it is, it puts them at risk. But I think that ultimately it's up to the employer to gauge what is necessary in terms of what their physical capabilities are uh, when contributing to the workforce. If you're getting on a plane, was, was say. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're getting on a plane, oh, okay, right. would you rather have the pilot be just like a dude ex-military super qualified got the job you could argue probably in spite of being a white dude or would you rather have someone who came up through the ranks of like the diversity equity and inclusion program she's a woman but she only got in there so the company could be like look at our esg score it's freaking awesome we have female pilots but you get to be the female pilot who would you rather fly with well the guy because he's more qualified yeah yeah I'm not attached to money like everybody else here, I guess. I don't care. If the woman was just as qualified, <laughs> then, it doesn't yeah. matter. Then, then it wouldn't matter. I think, I, I, do, but I, think I miss the difference between the two. Wait, Nick, private chat really so quick. I'm sorry. Someone I'm coming from a, an ex qualified guy background, qualified, or someone that. Who rose up to the DEI ranks? Yeah. Got the job because they added to that. Because they were a woman. Percentage. Which, like, I, I think know. if they have the Did qualification, chat, regardless. I mean, and commercial, I mean, commercial is pretty, like. I mean, things I mean, look at but the flights I know, lately. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, the company that was running the bridge in Maryland has it's a pretty it's strong a good DEI argument. program. It's a good argument. Um, I'm just, I think... I think if they got the qualifications either way, though, I mean, yeah, obviously, I think everyone would go with, like, ex-military, you were doing this for 30 years, like, you know what you're doing, but... So, you guys, so you said that, right? You should rather go with a qualified guy? So, shouldn't people like that be paid more, then, in the sense that... It's what customers prefer. You'd rather go with people who have more experience as opposed to just some figurehead diversity. Oh, it's a woman. Because when push comes to shove. Well, if like she had the training and yeah, like qualifications for it, then yeah, she should be paid equally as that person. But if not, then yeah, no. Yeah, but the whole purpose of all these like affirmative action and DEI style hiring programs is that you're lowering the standards to invite people in who don't have the same qualifications. We're gonna shift gears here a little bit. Um, let me read that chat that just came up. Then Nick, I'm gonna have you pull that up in a sec. Percy Ockley's, if Brie were a police officer, I'd let her restrain me. Do you wanna to respond to that, Brie? Oops, my bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I Thank work out hard to uh, very much. be able to do that, so. All right, hold on, there's a, there's a TTS that's just about to come through. Guys, like the video, take this opportunity to like the video, please. Bitfreeze donated $100. Marie from Orlando, sorry if I didn't get your name right. Such beautiful eyes, but sad recent past. Despite a little misguided, a strong to say what you think. Wish you a bright future and better choices, heart. Yeah, we're on there, we're already there. W bit freeze, thank you. We have Joker, Joker, Deuce. Oh, did I read this one already? Yeah. yeah. I did? Okay. All right. Uh, Nick, can you go ahead and pull up that image I sent you? This is a comic. Can you make it smaller? Um, wait a minute. I'm only getting 77% as many carrots as you're getting? Okay, I don't think they get it. No, we get, no, it. I, we get it. We get it. So to read the things, different career choices. So men make different career choices, work more overtime. They have more workplace deaths more workplace injuries, fewer days off, less comfortable working conditions. Do you guys agree that men and women make different choices when it comes to mm -hmm. yeah, but the careers yeah. they go into? Well, I mean, obviously nobody should all like make the same amount. I think I'm just saying for the same job, when you have the same qualifications, you, you should, should make the same but amount. If, but they do. I never argued it's against illegal. that. Oh, okay. I never said Yeah, there's, there's laws against it. Um, I just think it's all a puppet show. Ha, that was, thank you for your contribution. That was really helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That really added a lot. Yeah. That was great. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but I'm brainwashed. Watch out. She's, she's going to cast a spell on you. She's going to cast a spell. 
Wait, we're it's okay. We're talking. We're talking about time. feminism. Um, <laughs> hold on, I have a couple questions. So, um, who said they were feminists? You, you, and you, and then you were talking. You were also a feminist. Yeah, moderately. Yeah. Both okay. Moderately. So well, I think the problem so, is the definition is different for right. everybody. Right. It's changed to. Over oh, and last thing on this. Wait. So you, it was your position that women athletes should be paid the same as male athletes was that kind of your position yes but i understand like like t like sales like and ticketing and like stuff like that a lot of people don't watch women's sports well, if I you understand general, that it sucks well why does it why do but why does that suck because i think that they deserve like more rec recognition with recognition. the sports that they do and like all the hard work they do well nobody deserves i don't think anybody deserves recognition you earn recognition I know, but I feel and like And that's precisely like that. why they don't deserve to be paid more money. You earn more money. Okay. That's where that we deep. disagree. What's that? I don't think it was that deep. Yeah. I was just saying in general, it just kind of sucks. <laughs> Do you think... Does it, though? Well, I, I mean, that's I just know. the market. I'm, I'm done talking I think about she just that. She just named an example think, earlier, and I don't think she meant... Do you think transgender men should be allowed to compete in women's sports? <laughs> Absolutely not. not. No. Absolutely no, not. because not at biologically, all. no. Because, no. No. Uh. I've actually uh, played volleyball, a game of college volleyball against a transgendered person, and it was very, very obvious that they yeah. were at the advantage. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Really quick on the feminism thing. Um, so feminism, what, I missed this part if you guys defined it. What, how do you define being a feminist? What, is, what does that mean to you? Honestly, I wanted to say I wasn't a feminist. That's why I was shaking my head and doing this. Do we convert you? No, you didn't convert she me. Convert I just, me. I know how it be. Um, she knows how it be. <laughs> <laughs> I know the top levels on the feminism shit. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so you are or not, or not a feminist? I'll just say no for no. Okay, she... So we w, changed I'm her mind. I think you changed. You changed her <laughs> no, mind, change. Natalie. She said no. You said no first. No, she said yes. She said no. And then so you three are the I was remaining. No, like, <laughs> I was saying yes. You One three. Down. You three are the remaining feminists. Um, so what? So what? What exactly is feminism fighting for? What does it mean to be a feminist? Oh, it starts with me. Yeah, we'll start with you. Um, for me, it's more general and okay. more about. I think there's just a lot of things in society, mm -hmm. and that's not anyone's fault really it's just kind of how things have been and I think it's more just about changing the norms and just women supporting each other and men supporting women um, and appreciating mm -hmm. women you do you think men don't appreciate women I think some don't some don't I'm not saying well, what don't. about women do you think I think some women, women don't appreciate don't, women well what about women not appreciating men I think women should appreciate men too and I think okay. that's also part of feminism but is it it's wait part of feminism me, is I women used, appreciating men I think as much as they appreciate women. It I used seems the word like, equality uh, before. Okay. Well, Do you think that's because uh, historically a, women have been less appreciated than men? I mean, yes, but also But if who's they gone were, and fought in the battles and their lives have basically been discarded and killed in every world war? I'm not saying that men should be less appreciated or that women should be appreciated more than men, but I think we have an equal part in society and sometimes that looks different than it does for men, but I don't think it makes it less important at all. So what, I mean, what is, what is feminism trying to achieve? I guess it's not equality. I think I don't totally know for sure. And I think my definition of it has changed over the years and I'm really open okay. to thinking differently about it. Well, so what about you? I Into agree. the mic? Oh, I agree with what Taylor said. What did she say? Oh, God, you're gonna have to make me reiterate what, it. What, okay. do you, what do you agree I'll say, with? Okay, well, in your pretty words. much everything that she said, but also like just in general, um, for feminism for me, and obviously I still have so much more to learn, like I don't know like a lot, um, but I would just say like women, like supporting women, like she basically said, that, just that. That's it, supporting women? Yeah, just okay. like on, on all your endeavors and everything, that's how I feel. <laughs> that's, okay, what about you? Your sense of what feminism is? I feel the same way as S Supporting both. women? Yeah, women supporting women also just like that women can be independent, that they can do their own thing, you know, that the, the idea of that, not so much the political parts of it, but like, yeah. Well, so, I mean, one definition I've heard is feminism is something that fights for women's rights. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Would yes. you agree with that? Yeah. Um, and just curious for, since you guys go to UCSB, 
have you guys taken any like feminist studies, gender studies classes at UCSB? I have. Derelict donated oh, we'll come, $100. We'll Female models make significantly more than male models. Is that fair? The cognitive dissonance is next level. Yeah, see, I don't think I don't it think sucks think that true. male models don't make as much money as female models. I just think that that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. And I accept it. I, yeah, like you brought up OnlyFans earlier. Like, it's way easier for a girl to make yeah. money on OnlyFans than a guy. And I, I will say that. I don't, I don't oh, feel I any think, type of way. Do we tax the women on OnlyFans and distribute? 77%. Distrib <laughs> redistribute the wealth of the female OF creators to the men on the platform. I think that's mm -hmm. good. Gotta pay I mean, I never I think said that's that. Pretty, I, didn't say I think that's pretty. No, I, I know that's not what you're saying. <laughs> I actually completely agree with what you said earlier. If I don't think you were here. But you were yeah. talking about like oh, no. Oh, no. female and male roles in society. Like it, that's just how. It what is. do you What do you guys mean though by women supporting women? Like, is that kind of like, what does that really mean? Does that imply that like there's some thing Maybe inherently like, that's making it? Maybe women need to be supported to overcome a girl's girl but then yeah. why is that feminism isn't that just like well being i was just a trying girl? to define for them i don't I know think what they mean. naturally like society and misogyny and like i'm not going to get super into that there's so many ways to explain that but if there's so many of, ways then it kind of can put um women against each other sometimes yeah. isn't that more a result wait, of female I, nature i have a question i think it's a result of a lot of you you just said misogyny how do you define misogyny i think it is to me it's kind of favoring men in male can you give an example of it um wait so can like, you just to be precise what's your definition of misogyny my definition i think i might that's why i kind of corrected myself when i used it because maybe it's um like i'm using it more loosely i'm using it in a way where like you favor a man maybe even before yourself and what's best for you and like that's how I feel. So an example of that is maybe like I'd be more likely to agree with you than another woman and kind of like not really necessarily you've been disagreeing you with me all night. <laughs> well, that's my example. I wouldn't do that. Oh, OK. Um, um, but that's probably for other reasons. But I just wait, mean, so it'd be misogynistic for a woman to agree with a man. Over no, a I'm just saying if it went against how I feel, like if you said something that kind of went against, but I want to be agreeable and I want to be like Someone or, that is that like an internalized? Isn't that just female nature? Isn't that just Men are, being women submissive? are naturally more agreeable. Yeah, I think submissive, but maybe naturally. The patriarchy like wins society, again. Usually, the woman is more like traditionally submissive. Based. Um, Based and red pilled. <laughs> I don't get. It. I don't know the reference. Oh, okay. Don't worry about. It. Wait. So, okay. Um, how? What's your definition? Oh, I think we You're got. We. Me. Oh, okay. Um, I was trying to bring it back to so like one of the things I've heard about feminism is it's it's fighting for women's rights. Would you guys agree with that? Mm -hmm. You agree with that? Do you think there are women's rights we still need to fight for today? I'm um, I think the right to choose what we do like as far as abortion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reproductive it, rights. We can get into that, but is there is there cuz I I'm always curious because they say women's rights and I'm curious well what what rights precisely are feminists fighting for aside from that one that's the one that i'm most passionate about well are there others have, that you are less passionate about i'm i'm just saying i haven't done research and i can't think of something right now that i could any properly anybody talk else about. this is open to any of the girls who said they were feminists you you well mine's the same thing into the mic. On, oh, into mic. mine stands on the same thing abortion just just i think people, that okay yeah. Yeah, I think that's where I stand the strongest. I mean, there's no but is there any? Because I like, I I'm, I me personally, I can't think of any right well, that a man has that a woman doesn't. Well, didn't feminism? I don't know the timeline here, but it started when we didn't have as many rights. Like any and so we well, still have right feminism, to, yes, even though was, we've gotten all but, those rights. But I'm talking modern, modern day, Did right it start now. Start with the suffragettes. Feminism? I'm talking modern day. Mm -hmm. Well, this, that's the modern day issue. I think is the biggest issue, and I can't the think of right another to vote? one right now. No, wait. She's what? Saying wait the what? modern day, no, she's saying the modern day issue, issue right now is like abortion. No, but I'm saying is in the modern day right now. Is there any right that men have that women don't? No, not that I can no. think of. No. Okay. Okay. So the primary thing is the uh, is the abortion topic. Although it's not clear to me if that's really a um, 
a gendered discrepancy insofar as men have no reproductive rights at all. Yeah. So you could actually make an argument when it comes to, if we're talking about equality, mm -hmm. you could actually make the argument that equality would be entirely walking back women's rights entirely to have an abortion. That would actually be equality because men don't have and I'm not advocating that they should, men don't have a, uh, an abortion right. Men don't have, the, men don't even have what's called legal paternal surrender, mm -hmm. where whether the woman wants to keep the child or not, let's say she does, a man can't say, well, I'm not financially ready. I don't wanna be, I, I don't wanna be a father. Uh, I don't wanna be responsible. I don't want uh, parental responsibility. I don't want any financial responsibility. So men have no reproductive rights. So it occurs to me in terms of, women's rights, men's rights, equality. Uh, if we wanted equality, we would just entirely walk back women's right to an abortion. Yeah, but it's, it's not the same. And I, I get what you're saying. And right, earlier, but it's not evidence of a right that men have that women don't. I just don't think it's really comparable. But earlier, I used the word equality, and I think Bree said it's more equity, because mm -hmm. it's like men and women, women can be different in a lot of different ways. And I think it's not meaning literally we should all have the same things are the same um but that's what she thinks think. even though there's different views they should get paid the same i think we've already been over that and uh, yeah, she changed her mind yeah, about yeah, it established like um, i changed my mind about that we and i wasn't really when i talk about feminism i'm not really talking as much of course i care about abortion rights um but for me it's more of a general sense of equity yeah, and I think Brian's point is is mainly that equality in terms of abortion would would mean that no one would have a choice because men yeah. don't have a choice as is and women do currently and and so equality and abortion would be no one gets a choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's is not, what his point yeah, is. Right. But equality isn't the right word. Yeah. I would even go as far to say that feminism compounded with the sexual revolution giving women the freedom not just through birth control but through abortion technologies and stuff like that has actually done significantly more harm to women and has set women in some ways back. And I think if you look at the statistics on female happiness and how content we are in society, the fact that, what is it, like 60% of girls in our age group are on SSRIs, you know, I think you can start to, start to maybe think if all this progress that we've made in the name of empowerment, which I think is sort of a a fleeting thing that I think is sort of nebulous and hard to define to begin with, but also, you know, is feeling empowered on false pretenses all that great, right? Not really, if you get a job that you don't deserve and you can't perform, it doesn't really matter. Or maybe you have the same qualifications, but yeah, you only got into Harvard Business School because you're a woman or you're because you're some special minority. But I think the feminist movement, I know you didn't ask me to define it. Mm. I'll give a definition if you want. But I think that it has actually been counterproductive and women empowering women because I don't think women sleeping around which they can now do because of birth control and thinking that they have very masculine sexuality where they can be empowered by having casual sex with a bunch of dudes because now they can is necessarily being a girl's girl and is great for female mental health and, and physical health I agree <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, last I, maybe one or two last things on the feminism topic. Uh, maybe you guys heard these in your feminist classes that you guys took. Um, do we currently live in a patriarchy? And we'll go around the table for everybody on this. Go ahead. No. Surprising answer, but okay. No. Yes. I think yes. I also think yes. I'm gonna say no. I think so, yes. Yeah, yes. No, but maybe we should. Okay. Ooh, wait, okay. so. I yeah, okay. I, uh, so, wait, yes, 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 no, yes, yes, no, but we should. I'll have Natalie answer that in just a sec, so. Oh. Bender the offender donated $100. Keep in mind that Kentucky now allows women mm. to seek child support from a man even if the child really? isn't born yet. W. W. Kentucky. We actually, we can maybe, thank you, Bender the Offender. Uh, I think that's crazy. I'm not in favor of that, but um, hold on, wait, sorry, where was, oh, okay. Um, under patriarchy, 
Those of you who said yes, we're we're in a patriarchy. Are women oppressed? No. Into the mic. No. Maybe. Well, no, no, no. What do you mean? <laughs> maybe, maybe how? Maybe how? Then. I don't want to talk. About it. I'm so tired. Um, you got this. No, I really don't. I'm tired. Um, I don't know. It's not stuff I want to talk about on here, honestly. So I can just say no if that makes you feel better. No, no, no. I want. I just want the truth. I don't want you to give me the answer that I want. I just want the truth. Ah, <sighs> it's hard to speak the truth. I just don't even remember. Are women oppressed in the patriarchy? Well, you said there's a patriarchy. You said yeah. we we currently live in a patriarchy. Under said patriarchy, I think some are women, women oppressed? Are oppressed, but some women. Yeah. Okay. And I'm speaking, let's just make it simple, here in the United States. That's what I'm speaking about. I'm done with my turn. Well, no, are some women, so you, are women oppressed? For now. Just a little break. I just need a little break. Well, just engage. It's... <sighs> I need a snack break. I really... Stop. I don't break. indulge them. Go ahead. <laughs> Women don't like to work the long hours. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you want to just answer the question so I can... I did answer. I don't want to explain. That's not an answer. You didn't ask everybody else why. I'm, I started with her, or I think I started with you. we all said yes or no. What? Like, didn't we just say, like, a yes or no answer? I think she, you gave an answer. Yeah, I said no. You said no. And she said maybe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking about Maybe it. I have how. to think about it. I don't have an answer right now. But you said we do live in a patriarchy. I'll say no. <laughs> no? Okay. Who else, who, who else said we're in a patriarchy? I think you two. Mm -hmm. Are women oppressed under the patriarchy? No, I don't think no? so. Okay. No. Okay, I skipped over you. You coming back to you? That's not what I meant. I'll just say no. She'll just say no. Wait, would you like him okay. to define the patriarchy? Would that help you f like f no, better formulate I, your answer? I don't think that's where my problem is. I think I just, I'm not sure how I feel, honestly. Yeah. You're not sure. I'm not sure, I'm not uh, sure how I feel about Are you a pro? Uh, okay. Uh, well, so, maybe I under- I say something I don't mean. Under patriarchy are men oppressors. Are men oppressors? Are men oppressors under patriarchy? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're starting there now. Okay, I'm just confused on this. I just have, I want to be left. But you've, for just you've, like a minute. you've never heard the oppressed oppressor dynamic. Just let her, let's just let her think. Well, can Some, you define patriarchy so that everyone has like the same idea of like what you think it is? Or sorry. Well, I don't believe in the patriarchy, so it's not really my job to define it. If you assert something exists, the duty falls on you to define it. Otherwise, I'll just defer to Hitchens' razor. That which is asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. Boom. Lawyered. Boom. <laughs> Anything? Crickets. Anything? Under patriarchy, are men oppressors? Are you oppressed? How about that? Are you oppressed? Are you oppressed? Are you oppressed? No. But I already answered that. The patriarchy has... <laughs> beating them down and they can't even give an answer. Okay. Uh, interesting. Well, I mean, my sense of feminism, I'll say this. Feminism is not an equality movement. I'll be, I'll be charitable here and I'll say at its best, it's a women's advocacy movement. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with women's advocacy, but it's definitely not a equality movement. I don't know if you guys want to challenge me on that but there's clear evidence that feminists don't actually care about equality. You care about securing benefits for women. That's, again, not necessarily anything wrong with that, but don't call yourself an equality movement if you don't actually seek true equality. I actually agree with you on that. Yeah, it's an advocacy mo movement. Based in red pilled. You, do you want to engage at all? Do you agree, do you agree with my definition? I think so. You think so? It's not really a straight answer. 
You're a feminist, right? You said you were a feminist? I said no like three times. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, it was her so that was a feminist. Like, do, you, do you agree with my definition of it or? Yeah. Okay. That was helpful. Thank you guys for engaging. The, the engagement was very thoughtful. I'm going to read a couple chats here. Actually, Are we going to get Natalie's? I, I want to hear that. I'm actually oh, let me have her read it, and then we'll, we'll get to Natalie's. Um, the feminist ideals are largely political in nature. The left side of the political spectrum needs to push the false notion of feminism to maintain a voter base. They create fictitious problem only to sell you a solution for perpetual control. Yo, Emacs Tactical, appreciate your super chat. Thank you. We have this one. Why is it feminists can't even explain their position? As Grid One would say, how can the patriarchy help you today? Yeah, where's Grid One? You know, I haven't seen him. Yeah. Um, yo, Sean, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Wait, did you show the orange one, Nick? Yeah, oh, you did? Okay. Uh, Sean, appreciate it. Um, do the feminists at the table want to answer it? Why can't you explain your position? I feel like I already explained my I already explained my position earlier. Oh. Uh. Okay. I thought we already said. I feel like the majority of women uh, on this panel, at least, I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like these women have been claimed to be feminists because they they're more girls' girls and they want to advocate for women to be um, for women and not against women and to be more agreeable with women and and it's less the the true feminist movement and more of um, how we engage with one another. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. I don't know. No, I don't claim to be a I feminist. I could agree with that, yeah. When you guys are considering who you're voting for, what's like the primary issue that drives you? The puppet it's, show. Is it abortion or? What? Yes. Oh, that, yeah. that is a driving force yes. for me. Yeah, I would agree. I think okay. abortion is a driving force. So just to piggyback off that super chat, isn't it kind of interesting that, again, maybe for you, I know for a lot of women, young women that I speak to, like the driving impetus deciding who you vote for is an issue that we're just kind of walking through right now as a feminist cause as you defined but no offense you guys can't even really define feminism or misogyny and there's gray area I'm not using you guys specifically mm -hmm. but doesn't it make you like I was saying before sort of think how it's it's weird how there's these like isms and ideologies that are so strongly implanted in your brain but you haven't really even done the work to come to that conclusion yet it manifests in the form of you voting in a political way. Does she just say that, manifest? Do you believe in manifestation? Shut up, dude. <laughs> Go ahead, Natalie. But that you, you know, what the fuck? I would assume you're maybe probably Democrats or you vote for politicians, not solely, but strongly because of what they do with abortion. And when my side says that they use abortion as an issue to turn out the female vote, does it not make you think like, oh, isn't it interesting that I'm so passionate about this issue that I actually haven't done any research on. Well, with the abortion topic that we're speaking of, I have done research on it. So I think that's what helps me. But with, especially with that topic, I'm saying, like, I think women have the right to choose. And I think that should just be that. Like, if you don't want to get an abortion, great. But shouldn't we make legislative decisions based off of the majority? And if you're going to, I'm not saying you are going to argue this, but a lot of mm -hmm. people that are, um, pro-choice argue that abortion is an absolutely necessary in every state because so many women are getting raped and getting pregnant and that's why we primarily need abortions would you agree yes what would you how would you feel if i told you that less than one percent of all abortions are from rape use essay sorry, sorry. Okay. how would you feel if i told you that less than one percent of women who experience that are the minority less than one percent because know. we have to make decisions for the majority. Okay, let me let me think really quick. I don't think we should make make decisions for the majority. Yeah, well, I mean, thank I you guess, for that contribution. I mean, that was when, that was wonderful. When voting, thank you. Honestly, I mean, same thing. I have so much more to learn with it, and I've just recently started voting. Um, I look at it in a way of like what is going to benefit me and others in like later mm -hmm. and like mostly me um yeah i don't know i don't really have anything else to kind of say about well it. i think everyone like 
has the right to get an abortion no matter yeah. how they got pregnant. Is That's that because is that because it's your body and there's a, now another body inside of your body? That's why you feel inclined to take a life that is inside of you. I guess just because it happens to be inside of you, I not guess. because it's another body inside of yours. That's not how I look at it. I guess. Um, so would you make, really so it. would you make the argument that this fetus is simply a clump of cells until it's delivered? I mean, personally, like, I don't think, like, oh, everyone should just get abortions. I think it's mm -hmm. definitely, like, for emergency situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I don't think it's that simple either. I value life always. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think there's, like, a line there. Um, so let me, let me pose this question. So outside of um, medical emergencies uh, declared by doctors, medical professionals, and the less than 1% of people that are in a horrible situation, for the people that are simply just irresponsible with their protection with um, sexual intercourse. How do you feel about those people getting abortions? Oh, hold on. We'll come back to that topic here in just a sec. Hey, stay safe. Thank you for the big raid, dude. Yo, I hope you had a great stream, man. Hold on. Let me let me talk about this. for Nick, you're going to lower the audio just a bit. Stay safe. Phase three, season of discovery coming out. It's gonna be a great time. I really appreciate the raid, man. Thank you so much. Uh, stay safe as he's ready. He's uh, on Twitch. He's been on the show a couple times before. I have a World of Warcraft related question for the ladies. FYI, by the way, guys, we do have a live mage here in the show. She's a mage. She, she's a witch, but trust me, she's a mage. Or a warlock. We're talking about you, right? You cast spells and shit. Scuffed split, by the way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ladies, going around the table. Would you date? No, I'm kidding. Would you date a guy who plays World of Warcraft like just a casual seven hours a day? Hell yeah. I'm a streamer. I stream with him. You, okay, what about you? Seven hours is kind of a lot. But he's a pumper. Like, he's not just like a casual. Like, he, he, he's got multiple level 60s. He's a pumper. He's in... Molten Core, BWL, AQ40, Nax. Nax, what what's up? I what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? You don't know about Nax? No. It's okay. Um, he's just like, and you know, World, Warcraft logs, like he's parsing like 99 percentiles, like pink parses. Okay. Pink parses, World of Warcraft logs, or War Warcraft logs, excuse me. No, because he should be using that time with me. With, with you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Does it change anything if he's like, the main tank of his guild like if he's like dps he's kind of replaceable, although that is but he's like so, the main tank so hot i'm gonna have to go it's hot that him. he's the mt main tank. oh yeah yeah because like he's been funneled like this is him. he's been funneled all the loot oh, up yeah, until yeah. this point so he's like the main tank oh yeah fuck yeah, so it's like he has That's to play. That's so hot, but I'm going to have to go with no. Okay, what, what about you? <laughs> I don't game, so I don't know what any of that meant, to be honest. He plays seven hours a day. He's a pumper, raider. Like, Sounds like a prize. Like, is he working also? He's got Gressel and the... Oh, what's the offhand from KT? Well, like, okay, my question is, is he working, like, outside of that? Yeah, he's working on his raid. He's the guild leader, okay, too. Okay, you're trolling me. Answer no, I'm not trolling. He's... No, that's his job. He's, a, he he's a Twitch streamer. He's a streamer. He's a streamer. And he makes money doing that. Yeah, but he spends like 12 hours a day. Like You change it from 7 to 12. He's got like spreadsheets. <laughs> like, here's who's going to ZG this week. And he's like right. doing groups. Here's like, and, and they're like split rating, right? So there's like, because they're trying to get all the loot from like Nax and shit. Yeah, I still don't and know like what any BWL, of that means. And like BWL, like they get but this right. But if that is what he Wait, likes doing and he makes get money. get this right. Dude, they've been in BWL for six months and there hasn't been one like, Drake Fang Talisman that's dropped. It's like totally scuffed. Like the loot tables are garbage. Like whoever's seeding the fucking loot in that in the raids is like, I don't know what's if going on. If you stream that and you don't know what you're doing, a lot of guys will like it and they'll join and try to help you. Just letting But you like know dog this. shit seeds for the raids. Okay, so I'll reiterate again since you um, went off on that little tangent. Yeah. I don't know what any of that means. But like Natharians, what is it? Yo, stay safe. What is it from from uh uh, fuck. Natharian's Nath tear? Wait, fuck. The, uh, oh my god, I can't believe I'm blanking on the final boss of BWL. 
I think I'm doing it. Does too. anyone other Anybody? than you? I mean, you stream, so like, does I anyone know what you're talking? Look, about? would you date a guy who who plays like 14 hours a day World of Warcraft? You still didn't get no. my answer. 12 to 14. What about you? It went from. Seven would you? To 14. What, 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 14 hours a day. You would didn't you? answer the question. Does, what was he, the, does he make money streaming? Yeah, he makes money. He makes a decent living. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. Okay. That's not how the question started. What about you? Yeah, that wasn't how the question started. You like never got my. His name. His name's Ampy. Oh, okay. Ampy. I think I might have to change my answer then. <laughs> no, that's that's his that's his he's a warrior. We and he's like it. he's pretty like dude, this guy's a fucking like an inside joke he's, with yourself. No, I'm guys, listen. Question. He's a great tank, he's a great tank, he's a great raid leader, okay? I Are you guys DTF? Does this question you DTF? Ha- I mean does this is it his sole profession? All right, okay. All right. Does this was that fun for you? Or is it a, a hobby? That was fun. Is it his job or a hobby? Would you date a game or interested in this 12, 14 game. hours a day? Is his I mean, my baby daddy was a Dungeon and Dragons dungeon right. master, this- whatever that means. I don't know what it means. Yo, stay but- safe. Oh, wait, Nick, really quick. Pull up the Twitch. Guys, if you're joining us from Stay Safe, if you can, stay safe. Thank you so much for the raid. Guys, safe. drop us a follow. And Is the game like... Don't worry about it. I lost the game. Relax, God, I shaman. <laughs> Guys, if you're new from Stay Safe's channel, please drop us a follow. I, I spend the entire dating talk basically asking the girls World of, World of Warcraft related questions. So if you're from, drop us a follow. If you have a Prime sub available, drop us a little Prime in the chat. Last World of Warcraft question, guys. Are you guys excited for Season of Discovery Phase 3? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. excited. 100%. Woohoo. Yeah. Sweet. Are you guys excited? For what else is coming out? Is it mythology type of beat like the game? Do you guys play Horde or Alliance though? Are I, you guys like Horde or Alliance? I've never heard. Have of Have you guys that. done like Plunderstorm at all? Like are these like BRs? My, but I'm Royale? asking, is there mythology like, do you behind play, this? Do you play? Is there Plunderstorm? mythology behind this? Like these. I've games? been watching a bit of Plunderstorm and it like it seems kind of cool. So you there's know? no mythology behind these games. Myth- mythology? Yeah. Bro, what are you smoking, son? Mythology. I was just what? asking. You were just asking? Don't look at me that way. Stop with the. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you getting nervous? No. <laughs> okay, moving on. Stay safe. Thank you for the raid, man. Much appreciated. If you're over there on Twitch, uh, drop us a follow if you can. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Wait, where were we? I forgot. We were ta- you guys were talking about I didn't forget. I know exactly abortion. where we are. Abortion? Yeah. God damn. Okay, making it heavy for Stay Safe's audience here. Maybe should we... We'll come back to that. Let's come back to that. Let me read a couple chats. Girls, please give fave carnal position. Okay. Favorite carnal position. Cowgirl, doggy mission, buzz, light on, off, subdom. Who do the work? It's natural to be under man control and boom, boom, boom. Uh, apply you same logic across your lives. Okay, favorite position. Um, I like getting on top. Kind of based. Okay. Um, I think I'll skip this question. Oh come on, come on. We're all adults here. You've had carnal knowledge of a man. You don't want to say your favorite. You want to go back to the gr- getting grilled on feminism? Are you sure? I never this said a, I was a feminist. This is a softball. This I is never said I was a feminist. I wasn't getting oh, grilled. Okay. Well, no, I know, but your friends were. That's fine. You could save them. <laughs> you don't want. You don't want to talk about feminism. You don't want to take about sexual positions. Okay. What about you? Missionary, because what I, the fuck? I like eye contact. Girl, oh. I was gonna oh, say yeah. that. I agree. Same. Mm. I also agree, missionary. There's other. Okay, anyways, what about you? We both just agreed. You miss it all. Huh? I may have to agree with that. Do you disagree? I also said what she said. And then she said she said what we I said. We all agree. Missionary? You yes. guys are missionary? Okay. I like being spooned. Oh, that's Ooh, a good one. Word. Yeah. Okay, what about you? Same, same. I like missionary because uh, I like eye contact. Uh, okay. I just prefer not to say. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pass. She's going to pass? <laughs> you sure? You guys want Okay, all right. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll say my favorite position: girl on top. Oh, W. Oh, you guys but, are a perfect match. That's why I made him so nervous. <laughs> yes. Mm. Are, you, are you envisioning it? I'm gonna lose my mind. There's other considerations. Okay. All right. Um, I kind of like to do the work, though. 
Like, like girl on top of that, I would do the work. You can do, yeah, you can do the work. Relax, bro. Relax, Naomi. I'm not saying with Calm me. down, Relax. bro. I wasn't. Last show. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Go ahead. <laughs> what? What were you gonna say? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Thank you, Naomi. That was great. Um, uh, we have E, the prophet. Q for Brian. Do you consider yourself modern, traditional, or somewhere in the middle? If in the middle, would you consider changing the Q on your form for the girls to sliding scale instead of binary? Okay. Yeah. So on the girls' messages, message us requesting to be on the show. We ask if they're feminist or traditional um sure i guess i could change it as far as what i consider myself i'm somewhere in the middle i'm not staunchly traditional but i also am not totally 100 percent degen so hmm. i'd say i'm somewhat in the middle um bender the offender ladies who's to blame for the unrealistic beauty standards for women women for women. Women conforming. Women. Wait, let's, let's start. Actually, we can start with, no, let's start over here. We'll go around that. Okay, sorry. Influencers and celebrities. Your thoughts? Who's Wh to blame? Is it, is it men? Is it the patriarchy? Oh, and social media, sorry. Are men to blame? Is the patriarchy to blame? Who's to blame? Women. Oh. I think a little bit of both. Huh. Yeah, everyone, actually, I agree with everyone that. Everyone is okay. to blame. Okay. Everyone, all right. <laughs> Including us. Everyone's to blame, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I would say a little bit of both. And your thoughts? A little bit of both. A little bit of both, okay. I think Photoshop and filters and the exaggeratedness of everything on social media, nobody looks like how they actually look in real life. And I think it, oh, yep. it gives True. this false representation for especially young girls on what they should look like versus what people actually look like. She's right. I come from the beauty industry. I'm a licensed esthetician. I was in the beauty industry for 10 years. And one of the main reasons why I got out of it was just because my ideals and my values no longer aligned mm. with the beauty industry, okay. especially after having my daughter. Your thoughts? I think women are to blame for adhering to the male gaze. It's all your fault. Oh my god. Uh, ditto and cosmetics company. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think there's certain biological things, like I don't think we can deny that, generally speaking, men like women with large butts and big boobs, generally. So women could be sort of like, for example, with like BBLs and breast implants, women could be trying to achieve that sort of ideal body that men find attractive. But I don't know if it's men to blame for that necessarily. And also, as a natural body supremacist, I have a strong preference for no plastic surgery. I give me, okay, oh, okay, all right. Scott donated $100. These modern day women have oh. more rights than ever before and taking the life of the innocent oh. is how they choose to act upon this privilege is absolutely disgusting. Big W to the two ladies next to Brian. Thank you, Scott, for your TTS. I very much appreciate your message. And um, let me just finish my point, though, on this. So I would, when it comes to plastic surgery, I'd prefer a girl with an A cup, even, even flat over fake tits. I'll, prefer little belly over lipo, small ass over BBL, small upper lip over lip fillers, and a giant labia instead of <laughs> labiaplasty, which you got, which is like the most just dagger in the heart of my heart's over there. Like Soul just, crushing. Otherwise, I sound like I fit that description. So everything, I was like... I was like, it sounds oh, like he's so describing fast. me. I'm like, they literally know. called me out for like <laughs> a cup bimbo. <laughs> Wait, why did you <laughs> laugh? No, you like looked down at your. I've been, I just put on my sweater. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know why you. Okay. Does anyone here have plastic surgery? No. Well, you have the. What do you have? Labiaplasty? Yeah. Anything else? Lips? No, just Any my lips, lips and just your lips? Botox. Tonsils. Oh. Not exactly <laughs> plastic <laughs> surgery. <laughs> Uh, Got your way. Plastic surgery? No. Plastic surgery? Nope. Plastic no. surgery? Plastic surgery? Plastic <laughs> surgery? Lip filler? Um, lip filler is oh. not plastic surgery, but I do have well, lip filler. I wanted to be uh, a plastic surgeon. Plastic surgery is going under the knife. It's How about it's, uh, anesthesia. Is it under the 
purview of cosmetic but, surgery? But it's not procedure. surgery. Cosmetic it's procedure. Not it's not okay. surgery, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's a... It's any injection. cosmetic procedures, then? It's, uh, it's an injection. Yes, lip filler, that's it. Natalie? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm a feminist in that regard. Uh -huh. I'm a feminist. I'm so against plastic surgery, cosmetic I procedures, I guess. You, you feel me? Yeah, mostly. Okay. Well, cool. I'm just against our... The U.S.'s hospital and stuff. I like Western medicine more because the U.S. likes to s like treat symptoms. What? Do you mean Eastern yeah. medicine? Yeah. I mean, sorry. Yeah, yeah the Western U.S. Medicine. treats symptoms and Western does. Stop it. Get some help. Thank you. I need it. Um, <laughs> yeah, my point exact. Oh, stay safe. I don't know if you're still in the chat, but he's a brave and a decent man. He's a pioneer. Thank you, stay safe, appreciate the rain. Okay, uh, yeah. I think we should ban plastic surgery, how about that? Yes. Is that a radical position? Yeah, that's, that's a little it. wild. Yeah, I don't know about ban. I think we, we would have ban. less 12 year olds looking like 18 year olds, yeah. I don't know if Well, I mean, if I never are, told yeah. you I got a labiaplasty, there's no way any of you would know. It's a thing for like myself that I got I while know. I was celibate. I would know. How would you know? I would know. I just wouldn't know. I don't know how I would know, but I would know. <laughs> I would know. Is that a dare, Brian? Wait, what? No. 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 Now, I'll say this. If you're dating a guy and he's pressuring you to yeah, get that's plastic, that's up. a red, major red flag for the ladies. I would strongly advise you should probably break up with him. Mm -hmm. If you got A cups and he's like, babe, let me buy you some titties. Mm -hmm. How would you? Well, I'm curious. How would you react? Bye. Would you would you be like find okay, a bitch with or would you whatever be like, you want? Fuck you. Find a bitch that you what want. What about you? If your boyfriend, or whatever, I'll take some titties. Oh no! Don't, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't do it. I'm not advocating for them. I'm happy with myself, but I'll take some titties. You'll, you'll take titties. <laughs> I'll take some titties. If the titties are free, you'll take the titties. If the titties are free, I'm taking the titties. She takes free titties. I, I would as well, but like not because he's recommending I'm, dis I'm disappointed it. I'm in sorry. You. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Like I do want titties, but it's not because anyone's like asking me to or pressuring me to, I just want them. So if my boyfriend was like, I think you should get boobs, I'd be like, the fuck? But if I'm like, I want boobs, can you pay for them? I think that's fair. Okay. What about you? I don't really get the question. Like, would I take the Like, if, if a guy wanted to get you, <laughs> and it could be like, if a guy wanted to... Change something about change, you. Like, he wanted to get you a BBL or no, lip filler or something goodbye. like that. Yeah. It'd be kind of weird, right? Yeah, I, I would also probably say no. It's yeah. almost like... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, that's a hell no for me. <laughs> yeah. It's like that, that guy who waves the big red flag running around. <laughs> yeah, immediate red flag. Yeah, no. Uh, no. Can I make a prediction, though? Sure. Okay, I think that they have gone out of their way to normalize men being feminine in a host of ways, particularly like wearing dresses and wearing skirts. I think in the near future, you are going to start seeing the normalization of plastic surgery for men. And not, not like in the way that some men get it, but I think like lip fillers and It's more and stuff common like in, in, in uh, yeah, back in East, especially in Asia. I think it's gonna mm -hmm. be a Wear like, makeup. Think about it. Sad Sephora, you go to Sephora day. and you just see like dudes everywhere mm. in the, on the wall. I think it's already a thing. It's just more subtle. It's like definitely a thing already that men but get things gonna, done. It's, it's very popular in Asia. Men wearing makeup, base, concealer. Mm -hmm. Well, that's their culture, mm -hmm. you know? Failed, mm -hmm. failed society. But that's their culture. You just hate makeup in general, though. It's not just like for that specifically. You hate when women wear makeup. Journey Life, uh, can you read this one? Some of you said you seek a traditional man that will pay, give an allowance, etc. So I'm puzzled, I'm not religious at all, but the three that agreed to wait elevated your attractiveness to 20. Forget looks, I'll stick with you for life. Good values for kids, do I have to convert? To what, to Christianity? Is that what he's talking about? Um, Wait, uh, who here wants like a traditional dynamic with a guy? Show of hands on this. Like, what yeah. You say traditional. Traditional dynamic. Uh, like Chivalry, he pays for dates. 
And that's it. That's the only two. I mean, those sound good. <laughs> those sound good. I don't know. If Opens I the car door. Be nice. Well, you can be nice and not <laughs> traditional, I suppose. I know, so that's how I feel. Wait, so who should, how about this? Who should pay on the, who do you think should pay on the first date, starting with you? You're, my answer is going to be stupid. You could just answer the question. <laughs> just say the stupid thing. Okay. And then we'll move on. I think both of us could pay. We could go half and half. I don't think that's stupid. Thank you for Whoever initiates the date should pay. Whoever initiates the date should pay. Okay. Um, I think that can be the case once you're in a relationship, but I think on the first date, a male should pay. Mm -hmm. um, Would you prefer the guy to pay for the first date? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Does that I think that's natural for like any animal Here, kingdom let type me, thing. Let me, frame it like, let me frame it like this for you. Because you said whoever asked should pay, which sort of glances over the fact that in 95, 99% of situations, men are asking women out on dates, not the reverse. Um, if a guy asked you out on a date, and on the date he was like, hey, um, the waiter comes by and he says, hey, two, two bills, please, would you feel a certain type of way about that? I would. Would there not be a second date? Mm. It would be negative, It right? depends how good the date is. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's down bad. <laughs> Maybe he's real down bad. Been there. You should not be Been pursuing there. you and asking you on a date. That is true. If, yeah. if Maybe is. you shouldn't invite someone on a date if you can't pay for them. Oh, he can pay, but he wants to split. Oh, okay. He just, I don't know about that. That would give the wrong impression. You're not trying to court them. Why does that give that impression? What do you mean? You're trying to win over this you could girl. still You could still have a romantic interest in somebody and want to split the bill. Yeah, but why are you asking a girl on a date? If you're expecting her what? to pay. What do you mean? Like I said, once you get into a relationship, right? Whoever then, like then initiates 50, 50, it, then okay. I'm like, okay, yeah, if I okay. ask you to specifically go somewhere, like I'll pay for it. Nickelodeon donated $100. Brian, please put this miserable witch out of her misery and throw a glass of water in her face. For real? Best case scenario, it do cleans it. that spunk out of her eyes. Do it. No, I'm not going to throw water on any of my guests. But uh, thank you, man. I appreciate the sentiment, I guess. Thank you. Think, thank you, Nickelodeon. Appreciate it. Thank you, um, Wait, Nickelodeon. Go ahead. Go ahead. I have an interesting... Um, th so I was on a podcast a couple weeks ago, Access Vegas with Michael Sartain and Rolo. Yeah. Red Pill people, too. Um, and they asked all the guys in the room if they'd ever initiated a date without the intention of having sex, and none of them raised their hands. And then they asked all the women if they've ever gone on a date without the intention of having sex and all of them raise their hands. Yeah. But then the thing I want to get your opinion on mm -hmm. is I think it's fair if a man like has the intention of wanting to have sex with a woman because he ultimately finds her attractive and like that's right part of mm -hmm. that and it's okay. But I think also on a woman's perspective, it's not necessarily a bad thing because you could be giving someone a chance that you may not have otherwise to get to know them. What are your thoughts? You mean if the woman goes on a date with a guy who she has not yet determined if she wants to have sex with him, mm -hmm. but so is that, f the question is, is that fair or good or gives her an opportunity Just, to Yeah, meet? what's your, what's your thoughts on it in general? If that was I don't object, of, like, I don't object to it. If you haven't made a determination whether you want to have sex with this person or not, and you go, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay. You can go, I don't think women are obliged to go. The only scenario where you can go on a date with a man is if you want to have sex with him. I don't think that that has to be the case. I think you should have a genuine romantic interest and not mm -hmm. just be going on the date because you're bored or want a free meal. I'm not saying all women do that, but some do. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Yeah, I just want to what, hear your what were they arguing that the woman has to want to fuck They're the like, guy? That's crazy. Well, just saying like, of it course a, a man wants to have sex with a woman. I'm like, yeah, I agree with you. Of course a man would want to have sex with a woman that he's like, spending his resources on. Right. But I that's mean, why I agree. Like a man should pay for the first. Thing. I mean, I would agree that most men, if they're wanting to go on a date with you, they've probably already made a determination that you're attractive enough to have mm -hmm. to have sex with. Mm -hmm. Although I've had situations where I've gone on a date with a girl, wanted to have sex with her, and she kind of talked herself out of that shit. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I don't really like you mm -hmm. anymore. So there's that. 
And I differ with from some guys. Like some guys are like, yo, I'm still gonna hit, but she's a fucking terrible person. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm just I I just can't do it. I need to like the girl a little bit. You. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. Why didn't a little oh, banter here, just a little banter. You. Jeez, okay. I just I wasn't sure if you were talking to me, but you were looking right at me, so I was like, Oh my god, okay. Are we having a moment? No, just don't, <laughs> don't, don't over don't overthink I'm it. I'm blushing. Don't overthink it. Um we were wait, we're going around the table. Oh, who should pay? I would prefer if he paid. Prefer the prefer if the guy pays. I think whoever initiated it should pay. But more often than not, who initiates? Men. Men. Okay. What about you? I think you split down the middle. My girl, okay. I totally agree. I think it's split down the middle, hmm. at least for the first couple dates. And if he's insistent that he pay, then I'll usually always offer to tip or get dessert. And once I'm in a relationship with somebody, I like to do the you pay, I pay, you pay, I pay. Okay, what about you? Um, I'm a traditional woman, so I expect a man to step into his masculinity and be the provider because I'll okay. be feminine and submissive. Sure. Uh, dinner dates are overrated by Agreed. the guy. Okay. Yeah. See, I okay, one follow-up question, then I'll give my take on this. Uh, would you, when you get, if you get married, when you get married, would you take the guy's last name? Yes. Depends on if it's a cool last name. Well, hold on. <laughs> but hold on. Traditional gender roles, such as men paying for the first date, traditional gender roles would seem to dictate that you should take the man's last name in the case of marriage. They do. What if he has a shitty last name? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You take it anyways. But okay, I'll go around the table. Before yeah, I, I would take my husband's last name. Would you take your husband's last name? I mean, I'm, I guess I can't say that yet, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Wouldn't be opposed? But hold on, no, no, no. It's not just that. If you want traditional treatment, don't you... I never you, said I wanted... I you, said wanted I could, you said you want a guy no, to pay I for the first date. No, I get to pick and choose. Huh? I get to pick and choose. What do you mean, pick and choose? Like ah, I equality, the buffet. It's a buffet. <laughs> you get to pick and choose the thing that benefits you and those that... Okay. That's my answer. But you actually admitted to you want to pick and choose yeah. the things that benefit you when it comes to traditional gender roles? I mean, I'm I'm probably gonna take his last name, but I just haven't thought about it till right now. So I can't so say what, it confidently. And I also really like my last name. Okay, so There's that seems like it would be a begrudge. I would have to think about let's it. Let's say let's say he has a bad last name. How bad? Give me an example. Yeah, give a bad name. I think I'd like it. Maybe Finkel. Be funny. Oh my god, I, I don't like even know. Taylor Finkel. I can see it. <laughs> Taylor Finkel, everybody. That's How about her. Mrs. Finkel? Oh I, I don't like know. Mrs. Uh, Finkel. You can't. I don't think that's that bad. I think that's a pretty good one. Corn donger. That's even better. Corn donger. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. care about the last name. I would take uh, it just to make things like easier. But to me, that's not like a. I don't think I'm like giving up a part of myself. But that's how tradition Fokker. is. I get, I get what your about point. Fokker? I love that. <laughs> Fokker. Fokker. Great that kind of Fokker. sounds sick to me. I might change it now. Oh my god. Okay. To me, I just don't. Wait, that's so, a good, so, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Wait, so like, but you, think... you, you, you said that you want to pick and choose. I was kind of kidding, but no, you're being, before, you're being serious. You're To start this conversation, are you traditional or not? And I said, no. like, what is traditional? Like, I have okay. some that are traditional right. and some that aren't. Would you take your husband's last name? I would like, like, add it to mine. You hyphenate, like hyphenate it, yeah. But you want a guy to pay for the first date? I said whoever initiated the first date would pay. Do you frequently initiate first dates? Uh, yes, I have. You yes. have, but I, more I often have. than yes. not. I have multiple times, actually. And do you pay or do you split? Yeah, if I'm taking them out, I ask them on a date, first I'm going to pay first for date. them. Not, not boyfriend, not guy you're seeing yes. first date. I'm concap on this. But okay, okay, whatever. I can actually be here <laughs> on the testimony here for her. can test it for me. Uh, okay. But whatever. Right. Okay, what about you? Well, you said 50, it should be split, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. But I would take on his last name. Actually, here's my position. I want the girl to want to split, but I'll just pay for it. Well, yeah, you always, my... you always say, oh, I'll split it. And then they're supposed to say, yeah, I hate no, but I want one, no. The first one, no. I, I actually, no, let me, do, let me let me go. That, like, oh, I hate God. guys who just talk. Let me just go even. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> what? <laughs> <It's work>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'll, I'll go even further. I want the girl to want to pay for everything, oh, that's but funny. I want, I'll pay. Actually, you know that's what? Why do you, what if she I makes want more her money than you? I want her to simp, <laughs> and actually, I'll just let her pay. I'll just let her pay. She oh, can God, simp. The child okay. That's like the most base thing ever. What was your question? If she makes more money than you. She you said you want money? to marry a girl that's rich. I would be willing to marry a woman who makes more money than makes me. Makes more money than yep. you, but you pay for everything. That's the but only she s- wants to pay for everything. Wait, what's the question? No, he wants her to really want to. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. If a girl made more than you. Yeah. And she wanted she she went to reach for the bill every time, but you paid anyway. Would you still pay if she made more money than you, or like? No, I'd let her pay. <laughs> really? Yeah, she can pay for everything. Mm. I still want to lead though. What's okay. your sign? <laughs> What's your sign? I know that's stupid, but what is it? It kind of is. Um, <laughs> what's your sign? I'm a Taurus. Okay, I'll tell you after the show. What the fuck? Why can't you say it during the show? I don't want to say it during the show. Oh, you don't want them to know. Yeah, I don't want I don't want any witches out there to fucking cast some like <laughs> Capricorn shit. No one's gonna shit. know everything from your sun sign. I don't know, bro. I've talked to some fucking witches, bro. You don't know. You don't. You haven't When's seen the birthday? things I've seen. When's you your haven't birthday? seen. When's your birthday? Bro, I'm not telling you my birthday. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Right, yeah, most of the time I'll just you pay. You trying to fight right I'll now? I'll pay. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of dope if she's such a, sh- a simp that she wants to pay. That's kind of dope. That's a good dynamic. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Good show. talk. Hold on. We got some more notes here. Wait, uh, you didn't finish. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My bad. I took my husband's last name and I was really stoked to take his last name because oh. I really liked it. Good for you. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I'd gladly take my husband's last name. Of course. There you have it, folks. There you have it. There was this, we had this girl on the show who she made this joke. Uh, she went viral actually, and maybe Nick, you can pull it up. It was the girl who she did a TikTok and she, it was about paying for the first date. Um, it was the one that Chase was on. Do you remember what I'm talking about, Nick? Um, she was like, oh, that's funny. Like if, if a guy ever offered on a date to split the bill, she would be like, oh. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that we were, that this just was like a friend friends, date. Just friends class. Yeah. It was a TikTok. Yeah. Um, and then she came on the show. We had her on the show. Is that the girl that said, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed? Yeah. I don't know, but let me yeah. finish yeah, my thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that mm-hmm. one. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Actually, play it and then I'll, I'll do the explanation. Explanation. Play what? Do you have the, do you have it? No, I'm looking for it. What do you, what do I look up? Uh, girls, it's like maybe Google search. There was a New York, New York Post article. New York Post, uh, girls' reaction to men paying for, not paying for the date, I think. That might, that might find it. Fuck, what was her name? While you're doing that, I'm going to read some chats here. Maybe not. Uh, wait, we did this one. Brian, do you game? If so, what are your games and what is your console? I Ooh, used I'm to interested. I used to play video games. I don't play anymore. I haven't played any video games since like t- April 2020. Um, I yeah, I used to play video games. Used to play World of Warcraft. Just I'm too busy. It takes up way too much. Cause I'm not like the type of guy when it comes to video games where I can like play for an hour. I'm. I'm like an addict. So you're talking it. about yourself earlier. I'm right? an addict with that 14 shit. 14 hours a day. If I'm going to play a video issues. game, I'm going to play that shit all day. So, does, so I have to, I just prevent myself from playing at all otherwise. Yeah. Are you so. good? Like, I, I'm pretty, I was, do you struggle I was pretty good. With like, like I played Hearthstone. I, was, I hit Legend, World of Warcraft. Like, you know, I was, a, I was in the top rating guild. So Horde, like you could like Horde Twitch NA. stream and like make money from it though? Or no? I, don't, I wouldn't do it. No. I don't want um, I wouldn't do that. But Tori, I appreciate it. you get addicted it. again? I don't know if it's... Do you have an addictive an personality question mark? I actually don't think I have an addictive personality. But what, with video games, it's hard to... Like with World of Warcraft, it's hard to play for just an hour. Like you want to keep playing that shit all fucking day so you found it yes go ahead when a man wants to go 50 50 with you on a date do this <clears throat> oh my god i'm so embarrassed right now um wait you wanted to just be friends oh 
again. Was that was it an ad or something? Or? Yeah, I pulled it up in the New York Customs. Right into ad. There's more to it though. If, it it, yeah, if you're able to pay, play the rest, nice. just let the ad play on mute, and then we'll uh, let me see if there was any chats here. Nope, no chats there. Guys, go to chat TV slash whatever. Oh, there it is. Okay, go ahead. Uh, hopefully. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. oh, just let it play. Let it play. Let it play. Let's see if there's more. Oh, it wasn't an ad. It was just New York Forced. Okay. It, it's lame that they won't let the whole thing play, but whatever. You get the idea. So she's like, oh, you, you want to split? Oh, you wanted to be friends? And then she came on the show. And then we asked uh, somehow the question of, would you take your husband's last name come up? And she was like, well, no, I, got, I like my last name. I wouldn't take his last name. And then Chase, who was, my, uh, who was one of the male guests on the show, he said, oh, I didn't know you just wanted to be friends. You don't want to take my last name? <laughs> That's cute. Touche. <laughs> uh. Lawyer, or I don't know what's, the, how the turntables how the turntables okay uh what what's that what do you want to say naomi say it Hi. say it i'm good it was just funny okay cool thank you for sharing naomi that was great oh natalie you wanted to talk about princess treatment what you got for us oh yes um i think the term in and of itself is hypocritical because all women don't deserve princess treatment because they are not princesses. The inherent part of that is that you have a certain status, you're born into something, so you get treated a certain way out of factors that you can't control. And I think a lot of women show up to relationships just looking what guys can do for them. Yeah. Um, and they don't necessarily deserve like the traditional relationship dynamic. Um, but I think also there's just a weird trend of like very weird social media dating advice for women I think that mm -hmm. makes you think like it's all great to value yourself but like being a high value woman and how you date as a high value woman and it's just sort of I don't know maybe I get weird Instagram ads um, but yeah I just I don't think I don't agree with that term mm -hmm. yeah you give what you get your ads are based on your like like your search history and what you see on your phone by the way I I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think a lot of, you know, these people calling themselves queens, kings, I think it's kind of cringe. So it's like very even entitled. both men. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's very entitled behavior. Yeah. Oh, I'm a queen. Mm -hmm. I want princess treatment. At best, I can offer you court jester <laughs> <laughs> treatment. That's the best I can do. Otherwise, you're going to get peasant. <laughs> treatment surf i'll give you surf treatment you're a surf it goes back to i think the inflated sense of self which i guess is yeah. maybe sort of the hypergamous nature of women mm. but if you view yourself not as a literal princess but like as deserving mm. of that i just think you're showing up to relationships looking for what you can get out of someone mm. and nine times out of ten women then like reject the traditional female role in a relationship oh, i'm not going to cook i'm not going to clean mm. and it's like mm. well what, what are you bringing to the yeah. table? So basically what you're saying is, is that women should immediately, as soon as you meet a guy, do his laundry. <laughs> I'm not clean. saying that necessarily. I just think... That's what I'm saying. Women show up sometimes, I think, with a delusional sense of self in relationships. Mm -hmm. And they, <laughs> they just want men to like... Do everything. Do, yeah, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they don't reciprocate. And mm -hmm. if you were to ask them to like do your laundry, they would literally be like, "What the heck? This guy is like from the 17th century. Mm -hmm. He's so backwards." It's like, well, not not really. Um, but I think that is also kind of female nature. Hmm. I feel that. I don't really like the term like bring to the table either, because like in a relationship, I feel like you should be like building together and get to that point where like you do submit to your man because I, I do that naturally in relationships even though I'm non-traditional like I do want traditional relationship I've always been in traditional relationships so you you want a traditional relationship yeah Brian we went it's gonna over be this. hard that's a hard sale that's Is a hard it? sell I think so mm -hmm. you were in sales though so give me your hard pitch <laughs> not to she not was to, making a me. third though no I'm kidding I wasn't at the end, but yeah. <laughs> when I first started, right out of college. But like, do you, okay, there's there's videos of, I mean, you said you've done BG content, right? Mm -hmm. So there's videos of you out on the internet having sex with other men on camera. 
I mean, maybe we got different definitions of what traditional is, but I feel like that's not the most traditional. And do you think traditional men want videos of their girlfriend or wife having sex with another man out there on the internet? Do you think that could be a sticking point for some men? For sure, it's not the pool that I will be dating in, though, in terms of people that are not okay with what I do. So. But it, it doesn't it doesn't really reek of being traditional. But you really want a traditional relationship dynamic. Sure. And well, actually, to almost make your make an argument for you, I think the sad state of affairs is you might actually you've probably got a good chance of actually getting it. Yeah, I do. Now. <laughs> Now here's, but here's my argument though. Mm -hmm. I think because there's a lot of simps out there and a lot of men who will bend over backwards mm -hmm. uh, for the ladies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you deserve it, but okay. you're gonna get it anyways. That's your opinion. Which that's, I kind of and that's totally to, okay. I respect that. I respect her opinion too. On that. you both said like I don't deserve it. Yeah. Y'all said that, but regards. I think she's gonna get it. She's gonna yeah. get it anyways because like no, men, she will. She will. Men will. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> like, there's a lot of cope. Like, I do think there's a lot of cope where guys are like, oh, she she did OF. Like, her her prospects are forever ruined. Mm -hmm. And it's like you do close the doors on some guys, sure. but like there will be a there will be a guy, and we don't know if he's secretly a cuck or a feeder or whatever he might be. <laughs> Watch and out, I'm, you I'm, might get her I'm, treatment. I'm king friendly, so it's okay. He's gonna fatten you up. <laughs> you nev you won't know though. He's gonna get you fucking, I mean, the, your metabolism's good, I hope. Yeah, he's still gonna try though. I say I eat a lot. He's gonna inject lard into the cookies. <laughs> Here, babe, here's would, a cookie. Hey, I'm traditional, I would be baking. You're, I'm actually a good you're, baker. You're gonna be traditional? I'm gonna be Nara Smith one day. You're gonna be who? Nara Smith. You know, I, this is like the weirdest intuition I have with you, but like when I look at you... Oh my god, hold on a second. Jack underscore Pliades thank, thank underscore Chovanti donated $100. Men are not afforded X, but if they were the list would be top three. Disney royalty references, the phrase and affirmation of get your bag, girl and celibate labiaplasty, self-involved madness. Girl and celibate... Self-involved madness. Jack play ladies. Get your bag, girl. Shavante. Well, we're not a match. That's okay. It's all good. What were you saying? About I was. This is like the most like fringe intuition. I feel like you would have, like a, you would have one season of a reality show on A and E. Okay. But that that would be it. Just one season? Like a reality show, like an offshoot, like a total C-tier offshoot of the Kardashians. Okay. Ish. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult, but that's the intuition I have. Mm -hmm. If she hey. did, would you watch it? Well, that, no, I, I wouldn't I think watch you would, it. Right? Yeah, I think you would. You came up with this in your own head. Yeah, like, you this was, you're thinking about it. <laughs> this was entirely like a thought of yours i don't know I'll, i didn't come up yeah with that. that was i, just, I think uh, honestly though like really let's random. think there's, about there's that. a lot more to me and okay. i know you guys don't know me right there's a lot more to me i don't have to defend myself but like i don't know a if lot i was more attacking to me you than, like, i don't think i was this. attacking you i don't think just like only fans itself so i think we would actually get along i mean we do get along really well right i'm just but we get along <laughs> outside of the camera when we're not debating things I'm just confused why... What? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Wait, okay, let's... Oh, I want to Like, get I'm a my... good person at the end of the day. Yeah, I do only... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying you're not. I just... I don't know you that well. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I said. That's how I started the, the statement. Like, sometimes I look at you and I'm like, is this the Antichrist? <laughs> Sorry, what? Ryan! I don't know. I get this, like, demon energy from you. <laughs> I get some demon vibes, I'm bro. I'm clipping that. I'm clipping like, there's that. something in your eyes. I'm like... Are you drawn in or what? No, I'm kind of scared, dude. <laughs> Are you me? I'm terrified, bro. There's something evil. I'm kidding. Maybe it's me. But am I? <laughs> but I'm kind of... I'm just kidding, but I'm you serious. You let me come back on. Maybe it's well, so I don't think, like... I don't think you mean that, actually. Sometimes you must confront evil and shine the light upon it. All that which is exposed to the light itself becomes light. Okay, so I'll see you same time next month. Or? 
Are you flirting, We're downtown. Brian? No, I'm just... Yeah, he, yeah what he is, is going giving, on? It's giving flirting. I'm not and flirting. Okay. I just called her evil <laughs> and the Antichrist. You know how boys, <laughs> you know how boys, boys flirt? Like, um, really is this yeah. the no. I don't know. This We're is going to be an moment. E-day. I'm we sorry, have, guys. We have these once in a while. No. I mean, it's, it is six I to seven hours, just, to be fair. Yes, I'm like, flirting. I called her evil. That's really sweet, though. She's uh-huh. evil. Okay. You can find better well, ways. Now you understand why. Like, I I'm not trying to flirt. I'm just, you're like, not trying to, but you are. I just made in this. I, here, I'll make. I'll make uh, intuitions for, about all of you. That would be fair. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. I'll Lord hail Jesus before you start. <sighs> Do you want a word? You're going to live an interesting life. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment. Um, it is. That's my you, intuition speaking. Wait, you're speaking out of intuition. I just realized that. And you just... Yeah, I'm manifesting right now. No, that's, that's not manifest- my own reality. TV that's show. not manifestation. You're just speaking I out of intuition. I think you're going to get a fuck ton more tattoos. You're going to date a bunch of bunch more abusive men. Don't oh, put that on her. don't You're put gonna, that on me. Thank what, you. I, th- that's what I'm projecting. I'm sorry. Was I? Did You're I, did projecting I, that? Was that? So you, have you been abused? You that was that out of that pocket? Was that, that, that was crazy. Maybe don't that get canceled crazy. on your own podcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Wait, what? Yeah. Take that, that one back. Just Wait, why would that be? No, keep it on. Why keep would it on. I get canceled for that? Keep it on. I keep it on. Canceled. There's a pattern. Just there's, kind of, there's a pattern of behavior here. I've I've healed. I've healed. It's been years. No that one for like, Was that a little uh, in the gut punch? And it wasn't even to me. You called me the Antichrist and I laughed. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> like, I know. You can keep going if you want. Um, moving on to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Safe. I think for you, <laughs> you're going to marry like a, like a senator or a congressman. Mm. You'll get divorced at 45. You'll have two kids. You'll go on to own a maple syrup company for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure syrup. exactly why. That's so like funny that you her. say that because I talk about how I'm going to get married twice. It's her plan. You're it's my little plan. You you have... want, wait, you're, you're planning to get married <laughs> twice? Yeah. Wait, yes, wait, sir. Wait, this is on the internet forever. This Maybe don't say that. Place. Wait, let them dig their own grave, please. Like that I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think that that's that, that bad. You have a wedgie, I mean, very dear. Obviously dear, you kidding, have a wedgie. But... I'm going to the Uh-huh. I'm going to pass on that one. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> I'm going to pass. That's what happens when you got a fat I like Okay. Um, I think I already antichrist, evil. That's so crazy, but that's, that's I don't how you see me. I feel like I have a very positive energy to yeah. myself. Yeah, I agree. It's like, like princess. But yeah, you guys don't agree with what I do, but like, I don't think I'm a bad person at all. You're, Under, you're there's, there's this like bubbling dark energy. Mm-mm bubbling under the surface you got it you got me like i have here's another intuition you you, you what's the the mom of the kardashians what's her name uh, chris, 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 chris jenner. jenner i feel like that's gonna be you in the future you're gonna be well they you got, say the chris devil jenner. works hard but chris jenner works harder so can you guys uh sh- kindly <laughs> shut the fuck up back there thank you um, can I ask where the maple syrup came from? I get like, <laughs> a, I just get this vibe from you, like a maple syrup. I mean, vibe. I kind of like that for you, though. I know, I, I don't disagree. I do yeah. too. I, I don't, don't know. know where it came maple. from. Mm. Like, it's going to be this sort of like artisan, like, she's going to have the thing, best maple syrup you know, out there. Artisan maple syrup company, and you're going to okay. like distribute through Trader Joe's. Okay. Like, that's Ooh. the vibe. That's a good, that's a good thing. I like that. That's good, right? Uh, like that for, for, for you. Um, <laughs> should I smile more? For, wait, what's that? I said, should, sure. I, should I smile more? Yeah, the only time you smile at me the entire night. Um, mm-hmm. I think for you, you're going to work in HR. Human resources. You're gonna be the. S- you're gonna do well in HR. This is mean. I don't like it. What, what do you mean? <laughs> HR. HR. You're gonna work in the HR. Antichrist. <laughs> She's more is that worse than the Antichrist? I think the bubbling is me, like the <laughs> dark energy. I don't get dark energy from you. Though. I think you're gonna. I thought that's what he would say. You're gonna date. He doesn't even. 
a plumber? A plumber. That's you're gonna date a plumber, a blue collar guy. This is my payback. But you. but you're gonna torture him. <laughs> okay. Uh, not like in a physically violent way. And then for you, that's what I'm okay. <laughs> scared now. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna breed French bulldogs. Oh hell yeah, I'm down for that. You're gonna be like so down for that. Yeah, you will get married, but he'll Thank die you. early to stress. <gasps> And then, Wait, why? Why is he so stressed out, though? Because of me you know, and my dogs? You know why. For you, okay. you are... Um, well, your life path is kind of set, so... That's, that's well, you've not got true. Two kids. <laughs> so I'm, sorry. I'm just being like, really, she hold on. She can't like be an HR. No, <laughs> no maybe you're an antichrist. You're going to become a yoga teacher. How about that? Okay, Ooh. I can see that. You're gonna save all the money you've made from being an RN, and and you're gonna become a yoga teacher. Yep. You're going to. You're like a Disney person, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna. There's gonna be a viral video of you freaking out at Disneyland, <laughs> like being a like on some Karen shit. You're gonna go viral. You're gonna. It's gonna ruin your career. You're gonna end up homeless. Um, but then comeback story. You're gonna end up. Um, Meeting my Prince Charming. No, you're going to end up uh, <laughs> writing a very successful series of romance novels. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like can that. I can I do it yeah. next? Uh, <laughs> you over here. <laughs> yeah, you're going to um, get married. You're going to pump out seven children. <laughs> Don't put that on me. Girl. Seven Don't put children. that on me, uh, You're going to. Uh, that's about it. Um, <laughs> Natalie. Natalie is going to. Uh, uh, run for you want to call it politics? She's going to do something in the political sphere, which she's her. already doing. She's going to become. <laughs> you're going to. You're going to be the. What's the the. Spence, Spicer. What, what was press his secretary. job? Press You're going to be the press sec Thank secretary. Thank you. That's what I want. You're going to be the press secretary for the president in twenty. Wait, fuck. Twenty twenty four. In twenty forty, you're going to be the press secretary for The Rock and Logan Paul. The Rock. <laughs> That's the ticket in 2040. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. OK, that was that pretty accurate? I feel like I got a pretty good read. Sorry, that was kind of cringe. My bad. Just seven was children. Chad, my husband's going to die earlier. I'm, in earlier, fact, the but... devil, yes. Was Brian, where did you see yourself? I mean, you are using your years. intuition. Where do you want to be? 10 years, I see myself Figurative. retired. I don't know. I don't do you want to stay in Santa Barbara? Room. I'm gonna be. I don't know <laughs> what. I don't know what the here. future holds. Maybe if I get canceled, who knows what the future has in store for me? I'm gonna continue on with the podcast in some capacity for, for as long as possible. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing the dating podcast forever. Maybe I bring in some young blood, mm -hmm. eventually, because I want to be having this these conversations. And when I'm like 45, that would be. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you. I think I got like three years in me to like have these conversations and then I'm gonna wanna okay, I had now you know, I, check it out. I have a question. So we claim, you claim to be a dating podcast, correct? Cause yeah. that's what like all the topics or sure. at least that you sent us were she about. She wants to get to the dating Yeah, you part. wanna talk about the dating <laughs> Well, stuff? I feel like we it's barely talked about it. And I was like, okay, it's very true. It was a debate. We can. I, know, I didn't really okay, think yeah. that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know what I was gonna say. It's been a political meaning episode for sure. Yeah, it's, I know. I was excited I to talk was about so dating. Oh, I had some let, stories. Let's talk about dating then. It's too late. Well, it's too oh, late we can now. talk about. We can talk about it. I forget them. Hold on, Sean. We're gonna have questions says, for us. Most here are conditional traditionalists. Wouldn't submit to their husband if they disagree with him. I mean, I disagree with that. Uh, yeah. Wait, huh? Yeah. Sorry, guys. That was, I if wasted I five minutes on the I'm future sorry, of that. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. <laughs> here, I'll get into some of the pre-show notes here. Um, let's talk about dating. Are you a Disney adult? Oh, God. <laughs> I would consider myself one, yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's talk about you dating. said... Are you a Disney adult? <laughs> uh, you have a great, <laughs> awful first like date story. Yeah, I think so. Yes. You want to tell us that? Sure. I... It was a blind date with somebody in the military that I met online. We exchanged pictures. We talked briefly on the phone. Mind you, this was a long time ago. But we met at BJ's, which if you're, I don't know if they have it in any 
BJ's. where else than California, but it's basically it's a microbrewery pizza place. Lots of mm-hmm. lots of options. Yeah. So we meet there. I sit down, and he's he's he was in the military, and he's just an immediate nightmare. Super boisterous, complaining, talking. The waitress comes up. She asks what we want to drink, and he says, I want a Budweiser. And the waitress is trying to explain because BJ's their microbrewery that they didn't have Budweiser. And he got just really vocal about this is America and I'm an American and I'm in the military and I want an American beer. And meanwhile, I'm just going like this because it's so embarrassing. Uh, And so I get up and leave. I decide five minutes into the day and I didn't want to be there. And I go to the restroom, I flag down my waitress, and I said, look, this guy is a nightmare, and she said, I don't blame you. But the, I guess the, the funniest part is, is this guy was so completely off his rocker that I was afraid that he was going to find out that I was leaving. And so I parked probably a quarter of a mile away, and this is in Laguna Beach, and it's really hilly. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just booking it up and down all of these hills to try to get away from this guy as fast as I can because I didn't know what he would do. And I unfortunately had left my jacket on the back of the chair and I called the restaurant probably 15 minutes later and and, they said, yes, he is going absolutely berserk. Mm. Be glad that you left. So that was my absolute nightmare. Okay. You said you had stories about dating a con con artist and a dumpster diver oh god Uh, (laughs) so um my second boyfriend i was with him for two years um and i (sighs) rode the wave of delusion for too long but yes he he considered himself a messiah um, hmm. a self-proclaimed messiah, basically the second coming, thought he was the most spiritual, evolved person on the planet, and me just being really dumb and naive, I kind of was indoctrinated into his philosophy. But he was also homeless for a lot of the time that I was dating. And so, Wait, yes. you dated a homeless guy? He was homeless for for a period of time, and then he was kind of sort of living in somebody's garage for a period of time. And he was... I feel that. When you're young, you 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 kind of just are blind to certain things. Um, But yes, on more than one occasion, he would take me to this one particular dumpster that was behind... I think it's, what is it, not Papa John's, um, Little Caesars that have those ready-to-go pizzas. And at the end of the night, they would throw the perfectly good pizzas in a bag into the dumpster. And so he would fish them out of the dumpster and then take them back. And I dated him for two years. Chivalry is alive, ladies. (laughs) Wow, romantic. Romantic. You said you wanted to speak on having multiple sexual partners before marriage as opposed to being a virgin. What did you mean by that? What did you want to speak on specifically on that? Oh, gosh. Um, Well, there's so many ways that I can go. I... There's there's two ways that I can go with this. Um, I think that, to your point, I wouldn't, what did you, how did you phrase it? You wouldn't, um, d- you wouldn't purchase, purchase a car, car without, without test driving, driving it. it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so for me, at least, I feel like my sexual compatibility, my sexual chemistry is very quintessential to having a really strong relationship. And you don't know, you could have the most amazing, loving connection with somebody, but you don't. You cannot predict how you will engage with them sexually until you have crossed that line. And I've dated a number of people who I thought I have this amazing relationship with them. I have this amazing connection with them. And then I sleep with them and it's just not there. And it's it's not necessarily awful, but it's just not what I was expecting. 
Well, so does the, for you to consider a guy for a long-term relationship, does he have to be the best sex you've ever had? Oh, no, not at all. But okay. he, I, I don't want to have a virgin. You wouldn't I've, want to date a virgin. I, I, okay. No, I've, but isn't that, I've been... Okay, okay let's say he's not a virgin, though, mm -hmm. but the first... Well, okay, look, actually, question for the whole table mm -hmm. here. Because maybe, look, some, I think we can all agree, sometimes you don't always put forth your best performance all the time. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's the first time, right? Uh, if the first time was bad, would that just be... No. Just instantly not going to see them a second time? No. 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 You'll give them a second chance. Yeah. You know, a lot of times they can be nervous and it just uh -huh. doesn't work out. Oh, there you go. That's reasonable. That's, yeah, you okay, can talk that's them reasonable. Through it. Mm -hmm. I agree with Coke Dick. Yeah, I agree. No. Depends. First time, not so great. It could be really bad. It could be really, really bad. I've had yeah. that happen. And before. would you still get another chance or? No. Into the mic. First time, really? What if they were nervous? Yes. Yes. If they were nervous, but like I've had scenarios where I've. It's the first time, and they did horribly just, bad, and it was just, just doesn't, no. Doesn't, okay. Well, and then, yeah. yeah, like, give it a fair shot. A couple times? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm re-waiting for marriage. Um, I'm not a virgin at the moment, mm -hmm. but in the past, I would be very gracious for the first time. In the past? Okay. Gracious. All right. Natalie, what about you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Interesting. Wait, so... Wait, was that a yes to you I wouldn't with sleep with them again? has said yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, so uh -oh. the you were saying, though, that you want to test drive the car, mm -hmm. and if the sex isn't... But isn't, you know, look, isn't that I, something I you can work on? Yes and no. So, for example, <laughs> I married my husband. I was incredibly in love with him, thought he was the love of my life, had... Oh, wait, your husband was not good in bed? Let me get to it. Okay. okay. So, th thought he was the love of my life. We had... Date, so we had dated for off and on for seven years before we got married. Yeah. And I was a thousand and ten percent confident, convinced that this was my person. I had found him. I loved him intrinsically, inside and out, faults and all. I ignored the red flags in the relationship meaning wait the, you ignored the red flags to the guy you married because i was so in love with him and the idea of marrying him because i just i loved him and i was willing to overlook things specifically the sexual dynamic the sexual chemistry that we had or mm -hmm. didn't have what, what was lacking I'm sure everybody at this table can have an experience where you have had partners where you just naturally click with them. You just naturally, there's just a connection, there's an energy between you, and it just works. And then you can be with another partner where you may get along with them really well, but the sexual dynamic is not there. And there's no way of making it work. There's no amount of counseling, there's no amount of practicing that you could do to fix it and that's where i fell short with my husband i just i loved him but i didn't have that intrinsic part that you need with a partner that makes it different from every other relationship that you have wait you guys were married for five years was no, it? no 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 so we dated from the time i was 23 to 30 off and on it wasn't oh, one it was an period off of and on again it was an off and on relationship and then you did get married though we got married and we were married for you got a year married and a in an off <laughs> mm -hmm. the the reason okay. why i was so hell-bent on marrying him is because for the longest time he wasn't ready or didn't want to commit to me so when he and that's the reason why we would always break up is because i wanted to be in this committed relationship but he was not willing to give me that so i would break up with him and then we would get back to together and how, again how many and again. times was it oh gosh off and on a lot he moved a couple ten, times, ten times mm, less. maybe five five times who, yeah. would, who would reinitiate I think me because I just you? Wait, I loved you would him break so up much. And you would yes. reinitiate. Yes, I just loved him so much. I just couldn't let him go because I was but, convinced that he was my person, and I was just willing to 
make the sacrifice of maybe not getting everything that I wanted at the time. But you eventually got married. Mm -hmm. Who initiated the divorce? It was mutual. It was mutual. Mm -hmm. I, don't I think we were both unhappy for different reasons. What was the, I don't know if you said it. What was the mm -hmm. reason for the divorce? Was there infidelity? Or no, it no. was just what? It the was sex just, was bad. Was that the I reason think, for the divorce? I think there's. I can only speak for myself because I can't speak for somebody else. But I think for me, the reason why I personally didn't want to be married to him for the rest of my life was because I could see myself cheating on him and I didn't want to do that. And so I decided to make the decision to break up because I was, yeah. Well, Excuse me? I was just Damn. unhappy. Okay sexually i felt like i couldn't ever connect with my partner were, he had a lot of were emotional you guys walls. having yeah, were you guys having sex or was it yeah. a dead bedroom we we were we were also trying very hard to conceive for most of the time that we were engaged and married so we Wait, were having a lot of sex but did you it have a kid with with him or is this from no, a different man this okay one, you have yeah. one kid mm -hmm. different man um Wait, and you got married before or after you have a had a kid? I, I got married at 30 and I had my child at you'd, 35. You'd, so oh, I, I with was a different person. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, so did you tell him that the sex wasn't really Oh yes. Doing it for oh him? yes. We had so we we talked about okay, well do we need to go to therapy and maybe we need to practice the way we kiss with each other and we would openly talk about the fact that we wanted to fix this as a couple, as a unit, as a as a what, what as was a his what was his explanation there? I don't I Would you would you climax? I would make myself you uh okay mm -hmm. so he wasn't able to make you climax not him alone no would our other have other partners been able to do that mm, i usually always have to help myself along. okay mm -hmm. um but well, it if, was for for my husband and i it was just has very, a guy a guy's never been able to make you climax yes but it's more well, rare it's very rare yeah and i i don't mean to get is this are we talking clitoral orgasm or I've only had that, I would say, maybe as I could probably count on one hand. And is that like something that, because for some girls it can be a mental thing, mm -hmm. like it's maybe there, there's not a level of comfort there. Or I was very comfortable with him. What, it, what the problem was is it was just very mechanical. For you? For you? Did, uh, no, it did just. You watch, did you watch porn? No. Did you use toys? No. So with your own hands, you'd be able to get mm -hmm. yourself to climb. I just didn't feel that he, he had a lot of emotional blocks that he wasn't comfortable talking about. And so I think well, it inhibited me from feeling that super deep intimacy with him. And I need that in a partner. In and order that, to climb. Yeah. Well, in order well, was to, the sex bad because you could the guys could the guy couldn't make you climax or were there other reasons why the sex was bad? It was bad because it it wasn't intimate and there wasn't love it and wasn't, there wasn't romance. You mean he just like wanted to hit it from the back basically? Like all the time? Did you feel empowered when you were with him? That's no, the question. No, not at all. Okay, it wasn't, there you go. The yeah. sex wasn't Cut off. intimate? What do you mean? It just, there wasn't... Was he really into rough sex? Was that... Kind of. I okay. mean... And you wanted more gentle sex? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I see. Oh, no, I get that. And I think okay. he was willing to give that to me and compromise, but... The, it, what was missing at the end of the day was that that pure intimacy that you can only get when you're really vulnerable with another human being and he wasn't able to give me his full vulnerability so i always felt like he was holding back um i mean i'm not that sounds a little bit like I'm not sure why that's a component of the sex being bad, but it for me it is. I have to have really emotionally connected sex for I mean, don't get me wrong, I like to be, you know, railed every once in a while, but <laughs> but most of the time I like to have a close, loving, bonded connection with my partner and I just never felt that with him. But you you said you loved him, right? I did. 
So the sex was bad from a technical perspective or there no. was a missing connection yeah, comfort, it was, intimacy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. I think she said both. Emotional mm-hmm. connection. He and was always also holding just like back different. and I felt that. I felt like he Holding wasn't... Holding back sexually? I felt, no, emotionally. I felt like he That's was That's what always, men do. That's the name of the game. We don't... Yeah, but not with your wife. How was he holding back? He wasn't allowing himself to be fully <sighs> present with me. He was... I think he was scared What to, do you mean fully present? I mean, it's obviously... I imagine this is something that's hard to precisely articulate, mm-hmm. but... <sighs> without actually seeing the dynamic or knowing the dynamic but uh he, and it wasn't and it wasn't vulnerable? just it wasn't just sexually he just he held a lot of secrets from me in general and i felt it the most in the bedroom yeah you have to pay attention to how you feel when you get i don't know man from a guy uh, i don't know man that sounds like a lot of work it sounds like kind of a lot of work I disagree. I mean, you don't even want to get married to someone, but like, there's a level of intimacy, and I can. But she said the sex was bad. Yeah, but I can speak on that as a sex worker. But you said that you want to test drive. So like, for you, it wasn't this thing of. Like when you're dating somebody new, how long do you typically wait before having sex with them? A couple, a couple, like at least a week or two, sometimes longer. But it's usually it's it's usually a few dates in. Okay. It's usually never the first date. So the sex is always going to be bad? No. Well, I'm just confused because like... It was just bad with him because I just couldn't... I just didn't ever feel close to him. I thought it was just... It felt just very mechanical. Like the sex that you get when you meet somebody for the first time and you're just banging, that's what it felt like for me. It didn't feel like the love and the intimacy that you're supposed to feel with your lifelong partner. Okay. Uh... I know what you're saying. I completely actually like understand what you're saying. Yeah, Thank no, you. I do too. That's what I was trying to like, give a little, yeah. You can have amazing, great sex on paper. Or like camera. for example, one of my last boyfriends was a perfect 10 on paper. He hit all of the boxes. We had theoretically great sex, but we didn't have that connection. And so we only, our relationship only lasted for a couple months because he felt it and I felt it. And it was just like a mutual, you know, this was great while it lasted. Thank you very much, but I'm going to be on my way. And no, man, that sounds like a lot of work. So what it sounds like to me, Brian, is you have had a lot of mechanical sex, but you haven't had a lot of really intimate, wonderful, beautiful sex because you don't even know what I'm talking about. No, it just seems like you want this sort of vague, nebulous, ethereal thing, which... The people like, who know, the Disney, know. The people who know, know what I'm talking about. That's all I have to well, say. Well, I mean, I'll actually throw this out there. I actually don't like the rough sex that you speak of. I actually prefer more intimate, gentle sex. There you I'm go. not clear if that's what you're really... Why are you looking at me that way? Look, I get that you want to just, like, have super crazy rough sex. Relax. Not everybody's into that, okay? <laughs> Chill out, bro. I'm just trying to see what you're going to say. No. I actually prefer... I don't want to, like, do the, the fucking jackhammer. Yeah. Okay, but That's have not you had interesting a, like, to me. real yeah. connection? Like, have you felt that super deep connection with someone? Like, have you looked into a woman's eyes and just, like, held her hand and have it be this beautiful moment between you two? Like, two souls bonding together. If you've That's never... It doesn't have to be that. You, you want guys, some Disney shit. It doesn't shit. have to be that. Yes. You but you know Disney a difference shit. between, like, when you have that a, a connection kind and you of, don't I have a connection. I can't say the word. I'm not going to say the word, but that sounds kind of... No, that's you just, I, I mean. think no, what real have, true intimacy is. I and think I don't your think, expectations be kind of crazy when it comes no, to sex. Okay, I, my question though, have you had experiences where you feel more connected than another? If you're having the same type of sex, have you felt more connected to one person over the other emotionally during the sex? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so that's exactly what she's saying. Mm-hmm. But it, 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 To her extent it's not, is not exactly your extent, but it does make sense, right, of that different level of connection. And it's not a lot of work when you have a natural intrinsic connection. It just, it works. But and that's you don't why have to think about it. It makes sense to test it out mm-hmm. before you get married. In certain people's scenario, if you're not for religious reasons, that's totally cool and that's your own thing. But, like, for some people, that's not what they believe in, so... 
I'm I'm a little lost, to be honest. I'm not even sure where to tackle that from. Maybe, maybe your expectations are a little too high. And if that's possible. I had Chat. a really, I had a pretty, I had, I was blessed enough to be intimate with somebody who blew my mind in every way possible. And it wasn't the sex, it was the intimacy, it was the love, it was the connection. And so I have a pretty high benchmark from which to base my future connections. And oh, I, you're I would, you're I, no, I would tell That's him fucked. all the time. And if you're watching, he knows. I would tell him all the time, you ruined me. You literally ruined Alpha me because, because is, now I Red have Pill this super high about, expectation. You, so I'm very cog I'm very aware so this of is, it. Th there's this, uh, I don't like the term alpha, but it's actually a good descriptive uh, thing here. So you've been with a guy. Mm -hmm. Was he, um, I mean, the sex itself was great, but was he also like really attractive and like hit a bunch of check marks too? I don't think... He, uh, Yes and no. I don't think. Well, Yo, this, I this shit is dangerous. Once a girl gets fucked a certain way, bro, you guys are fucked. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm dude. sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I, I would say it's over. I would say I would say he's it's he was a, a traditionally Done attractive it. guy. I don't know. This if is he why was body a 10 this, this kind of segues into our next conversation that you wanted to talk about is body count. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Once you've fucked enough guys, you've landed on a certain dude that just like it could it, it might not even be sex, but it could be like you're he's just so fucking attractive or mm -hmm. his status or just like something, his charisma or the way you feel about him that is not going to be easily replicated in other men. And you're going to use that guy as the benchmark for all the other guys going into the future. Absolutely. I have a really great analogy for that. But this that. actually it's, almost, let me, let me just mm -hmm. add one do thing. That too, though. Not really. Yeah, eh, not really. It's a bit different. Um, this actually stems back to the rating thing. So here's where women get into big trouble. Because you have sexual access to men that you can't get commitment from, if you fuck those really attractive dudes that will never give you commitment, and then like the guys who will actually commit to you are like one, two, three points down, either their sex game, status, money, whatever it is, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be comparing the guy who you can actually get commitment from to the guy who you can't get commitment from and that makes for a terrible terrible fucking relationship mm -hmm. cuz you think you've settled when really you were just shooting though? out of your league huh talking about physical is not the same as what she's talking about though exactly what? she was talking about connection that whole time mhm mm so, do you not know what connection is okay so I, let me let me let me give you my saying, analogy like, that's not the same but, thing of like excuse me at the end of the day, in terms of sex, what we were talking about is looking for that specific connection. So, like, what does that even mean? I'm the confused. connection. Do you if you if you've never experienced it, it's yeah. hard to quantify. The vibe. You guys Wait. are talking about the mm -hmm. click, the chemistry, Wait. the vibe. Yeah, yeah there's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there such thing Have as sexual never chemistry? Experience you... the, like that connection well, with somebody? Well, there's sexual chemistry and then there's romantic chemistry. I'm sure you would agree. Yeah. yeah. Like you can feel the click or vibe for somebody before you've had sex with them, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But sexual chemistry is what she's talking mm -hmm. about. Okay. There is but you're zero. Hold, it sounds like you're holding these men to this like this one guy just fucked you really proper. And I'm not really denying proper. that. It, he and he it ru literally no, ruined me. No, but she me, actually yeah. admitted it. Mm -hmm. She said from her own mouth. She said, "He ruined me for other men." Mm -hmm. But like, and that's precisely why segueing here. Mm -hmm. Why I think body count matters because eventually. You keep, it's like a Russian roulette. Well, not Russian roulette. You keep rolling the dice and eventually you're gonna land on a dude who fucks you just right or who's just attractive enough. And then all the, all the guys, <laughs> let's, let's assume that that relationship doesn't work out. That's the benchmark for all the other guys moving forward. And it sets those men up for disappoint. Mm -hmm. You're gonna disappoint your girl. Mm -hmm. But there's always Just there's saying. always the potential to form a new bond or a new connection with that partner. So it's Bro, not com um, it's not completely. That's so okay. You said that like so while me... you're while you're fucking these like new men, mm -hmm. do you think 
about the guy who put it down just right. That's such a f oh my god, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, I can analyze that's so that. crazy, dude. I don't think she's that way. she's having sex with other I men. I can analyze She's having that. sex with so, other men, and she's thinking about the guy who did it just right. So I can answer. Oh that. my god, that's I, so. I, I can answer that question. So the reason why that's crazy. I, the reason why I knew I needed to get a divorce was because. I have a crystal clear memory of me having sex with my husband and thinking about this other guy and me th knowing in that moment I have to divorce him because if I don't get I've out of this marriage, before. I'm going to cheat on him. I'm going to try to find this. That's and I know that's really fucked up, but I didn't want to be no, a cheater. No, it's not. It's not. That's happened to me too. <laughs> so while you were, hold on, let me recap here. While you were having sex mm -hmm. with your husband, mm -hmm. You were thinking about another man mm -hmm. who you were having, s who you had better sex with, mm -hmm. and because the sex with your husband wasn't as good as the sex with this other man, mm -hmm. you wanted to get a divorce. It wasn't the sex; it was the connection. But yes, it was the realization 100%. too. The guy who was really good in bed. How mm -hmm. long did you date him for? Six months. And how soon did you have that connection after meeting him? Immediately. It was immediate. You, you wait, hold on. I thought a connection is something that takes a while to develop. No, it's that intrinsic connection that you either have or you don't with a person. It's either there well, or it's not. So just that you base can build primal... you can build on that connection to you... have form deeper connections, wow. but there's... this is a red pill if I've ever fucking no, heard one. No, but there's different types of connections. There can be a sexual connection. Well, this was a base primal connection. connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had the click. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. You've did, never had it, that before. Why didn't it not? Why did it not work out with this guy? Because he was a lot younger than me, and I didn't want um, younger. Meaning, uh, he was he was in a completely different stage in his life from me, and I didn't want to hold him down by being in a relationship with me. I kind of made the sacrifice to let him be young and yeah, do and experience his yeah. youth and not be tied down by me mm -hmm. was he a, was, what arc archetype archetype is was he are we bad was he a bad boy archetype archetype um he was cocky <laughs> but archetype. yeah but sweet cocky mm -hmm. but sweet mm -hmm. um tattoos no no tattoos mm -mm. okay Pretty much the antithesis of what my type is, I should say. He was the opposite of what your type is? Mm -hmm. What's your type? Tall, dad bod, not cocky, so <laughs> down to earth. So he was short? He was not short. I think he was right about my was height. Was he ripped? Skinny, no. Skinny. Skinny, mm -hmm. okay. Bad skin. Bad skin. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I saw beyond the physical. I just fell in love with who he was. Uh, were there any, were there any, like, uh, did he have any personality disorders? No, he was the most normal, he was, he was so mature, like, I met him when I was 20 and he was 22, and at 22 he was already a pilot, he was already working in aviation, he was already on his way towards his aviation career. And he was just very goal driven. Hilly donated $100. It's beyond fucked up. Brian's right. Good men get fucked over cause of your fairy tale delusion. Disgusting. Hmm. After you segue into body count, can we ask why they deserve this man that they dream of? I didn't say it. I, I completely am. I'm, I'm don't live in Dululu and I am very aware that it's fucked up. Thus, why I wanted to get a divorce because I didn't want to be that awful person that cheated on her husband. At least she's aware of her like actions. A lot of people can't be aware of that and they don't validate it. Nickelodeon donated $100 and they say pair bonding isn't real. Girl. You're ruined. I am. Take the guy that's willing to love you and be happy you got it. Soul ties Though, are real. after this show, that will probably be harder. Go back to our hubby. <laughs> well, he's married to somebody else. Soul Thank ties you. are real. Soul ties are real. This is crazy. I mean, this is a huge difference. Nickelodeon, I appreciate your, um, your message. We have another one here that's about to come in. Jesus Christ. 
Loose pussy energy donated $100. <laughs> Holy shite, these hoes are fucking haram. <laughs> Thinking of other dudes while your husband is fucking you? Brian, Abdul is sharpening his rocks. He would like to see this 304 ASAP. Hashtag get the fucking rocks. Well, when I Damn. said, when I said, when I agreed with her, I was thinking about a girl, not another guy, just saying. And I'm not a 304. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm almost at a loss for words here. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Um, I'm, if anything, I'm 100% honest i'm not delusional well, I, I know i credit you for your honesty and exactly. actually being able to admit that because that's spreading awareness by doing that um you thought that was funny it's no definitely comment. not mainstream i mean this look really quick on the whole click chemistry vibe mm -hmm. lightning butterflies whatever whatever bullshit term you want to attribute to it mm -hmm. uh i don't really believe in that because you've never had it no, look, I've had, I've had women that I get along better You've with. You've never than had others. it. If you if you can't. No, because if, men and women are different. No, once We're you get different. that feeling, you'll know that feeling. That's trust. just no, a cop out. It's not a cop out. It's just this like, it's sort of it's Ryan, this nebulous thing, bro. It, nothing I happened. I actually agree with them on this one. That's fine if you agree, yeah. but it's like here's what I think it is. Who hurt you? When you don't feel that. Here's what it is. Mm. He doesn't trigger your anxious trauma response, that I which you confuse you. for love. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. That's what the click and the chemistry and the connection mm -hmm. is. Or the other thing it could be is you'll feel that for a guy who's like really out of your league. Mm -hmm. That's the other way to, to trigger it. No, I 100% am a very aware of the whole butterfly thing. You're not supposed to fe want to feel butterflies with the person you have potential partnership with because your anxiety is heightened and your cortisol levels are heightened that you should feel calm and at ease with your partner. Mm-hmm. But I guess you're like self-aware. It's still but not God the damn. same thing yeah, as sexual chemistry. chemistry. No, but we're talking... Okay, there's like differences here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's all I was talking about the whole time. That's, that's crazy, just, yeah, son. No, that's yeah, crazy. I was explaining the difference too between that. Well, I mean, if, if we're going off of the click or the chemistry or the vibe, how many... He who here has felt, going around the table, starting with you, who here has felt that for somebody? Have you Vibes. felt you felt, yeah. it? you felt it? You felt it, 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 you felt it. Well, did I mean I'm curious, did that person end up always being a good person that you felt that for? Yes. They always were a good person? Yes. They were always the the one you should have been with? No. No. Did any of those guys let me ask you another follow up question starting with you. Did any of those guys that you did feel the chemistry or the click or the whatever sparks, whatever the term is, with, did that guy turn out to be a piece of shit? Yes, but there's a difference between the feeling that you feel. That's all I'm going to say. Continue. Yes. I'm still just talking about sexual chemistry. Just romantic chemistry. Romantic chemistry? Yeah, because you... End up being a you piece can, of shit? Yes. Not in every scenario. Not, I'm not saying in every scenario, but have you felt it for a guy and turns out he really wasn't the, you probably shouldn't have picked him. Yeah. Okay, have you had that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, with other people, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not clear to me then if picking men based off of this nebulous click is really the optimum way of finding a partner. It's not, but it's anyone nature. Ever said that, it just Brian. happens sometimes. Yeah, but we're not beholden to our base animal instincts of wanting that person that, you know, mm. maybe boring's good. Maybe unexciting is good. Because um, y'all are so, y'all yeah, got the, you, it's like, you got your dopamine hits so mm -hmm. fucked up. You need a guy who's like chaotic mm -hmm. or introduces chaos into your life because you're addicted to the drama and the excitement. You're chasing the feeling, yeah. Not me. You're addicted. You guys are addicts. Mm -hmm. You like the toxicity. I'm an addict. You like the toxic guys. I mean, to be completely fair, my five year, that was like, he was super boring in every way. <laughs> and he had a feeding fetish so well, that no one's safe. Okay. No one's Nobody's safe. safe. <laughs> I just think, in terms going back again to the sexual chemistry part, it's important 
for someone like me and i said it's not for everybody because if you're holding off until marriage or whatever then that's totally like your own thing but for me i do want to make sure that i am sexually compatible with my partner before getting married i th i think that's fine i think it's fine if you want to have good sex with a partner I do think there's a difference though here between men and women. Men don't typically prioritize sexual experience in women. I well, because women really true. value like that intimacy. What do you mean? Exactly what you just said. No, I think what, Brian's couldn't... saying, Brian, most men would prefer women that don't have a lot of sexual, is that what you mean? Sexual experience, yeah. men prefer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Right, well there's a differential here though. It seems women either don't care or prefer men to have some degree or perhaps a great degree of sexual experience. I never, yeah, I never personally said that. I okay. just feel like the I connection has to be there. I think that's kind of weird of men, though. Because, like, Is why, it weird? why do you want someone who's, like, freshly experienced? Like, well, it's kind of like okay. it's giving you want a child or something? You if, know? if you look at biology, <sighs> like, men want okay, to... Okay, always with the... you. Do you do realize, like, for example, to make the extreme argument, like a woman could be 25 and still a virgin? Yeah, duh. What, what do you think, let, let's just take your thing to the logical conclusion. What do you think is more P word? A man who wants to date a woman who's 25 who's a virgin, or a man who wants to date an 18 year old who's had sex with 100 men? Mm. What do you think is more? And I don't actually, I mean, well. A virgin. You think, you think it's more P word and, to want to date older? a 25 year old? Let's say he's, let's say he's 28. And how old is the girl? I already gave you the numbers. She's 25 and she's a virgin versus an 18 okay. year old who's had sex with a hundred men. That's a hard one now because I thought the 18 year old was a virgin. No. Um, fuck. Okay, yeah, I'm still gonna go with the virgin answer. That makes absolutely no logical sense, but That's fine. okay. Um, we have Sean here. Brian, put in a good word for me with. Oh, she. Who's Bree? Um, oh, I'll bring this back up when you come to the table, then. <laughs> Bro, that's so you're talking like age gap shit now, or you think? Do you you think men who prefer women who have a low body count or who are virgins are predators? You think it's predatory? P words. Um. Not all of them, but it can give some Into traits. Mike. It can give some, not all of them, but it could give some traits for sure. Especially as, um, like I'm 22 and I was really, like I've always looked really young. Look, right now, I don't know how old I look, but I've always looked really young, like since a jit. So I've realized how men act and yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. That's all I gotta say. So you think it's weird for men to prefer women of any age with a uh, of any adult age with a low body count virgin low body counts different okay so men who want to date women who are virgins are p words not p words they're what then it's just it gives you the ick is that it it's it just gives you the potentially p word potentially well now you're going back okay it's potentially p-word. Why? Should I say 50-50 of them are p-word, or should I? Just, 50, okay. So 50, what, if they're, what if they're the same? No, 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 no. Hold on. Say what you're gonna say. Go ahead. All of them are p-words. All all men who want virgin women are p-words. But what if they're the even, same? Even even if the woman is 30 and she's a virgin, he's he. Is he religious? I don't see how that's relevant. Let's say he's not. If he's not, um, hmm. I'm just going to stay with both the answers, yeah. Yeah. I think it just goes back, I actually agree Such with you on this point, it goes back to like not wanting to have your girl compare you to anybody else. I don't know, my guy friends I've talked to, they're all like, I want to be her only experience doing X, Y, Z, and yeah, not just like I sexual, just in general like too. experiences. Like, I want to be the only man that took you to this restaurant. If, yeah, if sure. you've yeah. been here before, don't fucking talk to me about it that type of thing because they're like I don't want to know I want to be in my mind like I want to be that only experience for you yeah I get so that I think it's view. fair from that perspective do you agree with that mindset or no 
I agree. For men to, yeah, I think. To want to be like your only experience in their head at least. Of like, sure. I'm doing this. That's I'm the only totally one that's fair. ever done this. Yeah. yeah. I think it's I think totally fair, fair and well. it's totally natural. Yeah. yeah. And I think to on the flip side. And I think on the flip side, women actually prefer men. And I'm not speaking in generalities, but women prefer men who have had more than one sexual partner because I don't, maybe it makes them more manly. Like they're experienced, they know what to do, they know what not to do, they're, they could take the lead. Like I wouldn't want to be with somebody again that's a virgin or hasn't had sex all that much because then I feel like I'm taking the masculine role and I don't think women like that. So I think there's a dichotomy there. Wait, I, we'll get to body count in just a sec. Going back to you, what is your argument for men who are attracted to women who are virgins What's your argument there for it being P-word? Well, what's the reason Into the why, mic. What's the reason why they want to explore a new young body like that? What if they're not... What if it's a 30-year-old virgin? Village donated $100. Feel for you, Brian. Don't think you'll get through to them, dot ladies. Yeah. Men and women aren't the same. Most of this panel is 100% delusional. Men don't seek experience. They seek exclusivity and security. W the Lulu's. <laughs> okay. What is your, so what is your argument? I just think it's a little weird. Okay, you think it's weird. What's your argument? Um, I get what she was saying. What are you saying? But also, it's just like, What's the intriguement behind a fresh new body like that? Because I don't know. Because like like I was saying, the p words like young people who aren't experienced, just like a virgin, you know. And I'm just trying to make that connection for you. And if you can't click it, then that's okay. End of conversation. Okay. Words have meaning, definitionally. Words are spells. So, <laughs> let's say, for example, a 25-year-old virgin. This is an adult woman. So how, what is the argument you're going to make that a man who's attracted to a 25-year-old woman who happens to be a virgin is in any way P-word? What's my argument? Like, what do you mean? How are you coming to the conclusion that the man who's attracted to a 25-year-old secretly is attracted to what? It's a, you have to be under 15 or 14 to be considered to be attracted to that? Well, the fact that, that he's that? been sitting there waiting for a virgin is kind of weird. Who, um, knows, wh who knows that that's the case? But also I know like the religious standpoint and all that. Um, okay. Sure. Let's go there. So are Christian men or Muslim men who want to date a virgin, are you prepared to make the argument that... Christian and Muslim men are P words because they prefer virgins? Christians, yes. Why? No comment, that's it. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. So you're fine with attacking Christians but not Muslims, is that what you're saying? I wonder why that is. Me too. If you really feel that way, I would like you to enlighten me. Mm -hmm. or, well, I've, or, I've asked her to make no, an argument, but no, and, and she can't. And if you if you misspoke, then you can just say that you misspoke. But if you genuinely mean that, I would love to hear why. Have you guys not? I'm sorry. I'm just not trying to like get like the government on this. Governments, shit. no, you're good. But okay. like, explain your thought, like like fully, because you, you we you came on a podcast to explain your opinions and mm -hmm. to put your opinions out there. I'm a Christian. I would mm -hmm. love to hear what you have to say about this. Um, and if you want to recant your statement, recant your statement. No, you're good, you're good. Because remember how I was talking about how they knocked on my door? Yeah. Okay, so um, I just see Christianity as, and I know you guys look at me like a demon, but I see it as kind of like a cult, low-key, and you guys are being brainwashed, and I don't mean that in no disrespectful way. What, wait, just curious. Why are Christians... In what way are they being brainwashed? Is I it because they believe in God? I explained it earlier. I don't recall you explaining it's because, it. But. Because, okay, this is what they told me. And she explained it too. But she said, or the people told me, I was like, okay, so in order to go to heaven, all I, okay, Jesus committed his sins for us. So we came here as sinners. So we're already sinners. 
So that's what they told me, right? So I was like, okay, so in order to go to heaven, all I have to do is just like pray and believe in whatever. And she, and then she explained to me like the differentiation before, between that. And I was like, oh, so that means if you're in our word or in whatever, you're still going to heaven. And yeah, and they're like, yeah. So that's why I was kind of like, what the okay, frick? but back back to hold on. Wait. You wait, 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 one thing. You said okay. You said Christianity is a cult. What about the other religions? Are you prepared to make that statement about the other religions? No. What? So why do you single out Christianity? Um, because I've just been doing more research on that one right now. I mean, if anything, I think you can make the argument about Catholicism. We don't have to All right, we're getting into the weeds of, of here. Islam, but what Islam is... <laughs> Hold on, well, then, let's wait. Let's not. Let's yeah. not go there. Let's not go there. All <laughs> I just, right. I just wanted to know okay. your your further in depth opinion. I'm not even going to continue engaging there. It's just getting ridiculous. Let's hit on body count really quick. Let's try to wrap up soon. So, body count. yeah. So you wanted a segue. You said you disagree with me on. Oh, hold on. Grogel donated one hundred and fifty dollars. This woman is stupid. Pedos don't care if a child has experience or not, they are attracted to children. That's why they are pedos. The definition is someone attracted to a child. Adults aren't kids. Word? Yes, words have meaning. Here, I'll read this and then we'll get words into it. Uh, Sean, Brian, put in a good word for me with Bree. Remember, I saved you from that line. Yeah, Sean, Bree. Uh, Brie, Brie, Sean did save me from a lion one time. Oh my God, thank wow, you, Brie. Oh my God, I'm you. so happy he's alive. If, if he, um, ha, ha, if he uh, <laughs> slides into your DMs, I'm just saying, give him a chance, you know, give him a chance. Hi, Sean, thank you. All right. Thank uh, you. you disagree with me on body count? What, go ahead. So you, I don't remember when you said it, but you said, well, you, you made the connection of body count once you have a high body count it almost sticks to you it is your past and it defines who you are and you equated it to well once you're a murderer you're always a murderer and i i can see where you're coming from but i don't agree with that i feel so for example did i say that yeah you did did i yeah okay let's just assume i did okay and so <laughs> for me personally i and I, I don't think I slept around a lot, but I had my share of fun after my divorce. And I did a lot of regrettable things when I was younger. And as I've matured, as I've grown older, as I've become a mother, I take my who I let into my bed more seriously. Mm. And I've okay. grown and I've become more wise and more particular with the men that I choose to be with. And I, I don't feel like once you've been a promiscuous person, once you've been an, an OnlyFans girl, that that always has to define you. I think you can grow and learn and evolve and mature and move on. And that stigma doesn't always have to be attached to you. Exactly. Just like the whatever podcast doesn't have to be attached to you forever. You feel me? Like you can grow from that, you can get another. Just, I mean, it's it's basically just like throwing Were you it out there. On your head as a child. Were you? Because you're clearly you. not understanding what I'm saying. No, I'm clearly not. So I guess you were dropped. I mean, wow, just, was that the reverse Uno? Well done. You did great there. That was... To just, like, throw it out once somebody's born again, you know, whatever they born again? No. Whatever they've done in the past, they've now set a new life course for themselves. Right. Living in, for example, okay. a better, a better, more pure yeah. life. Okay, so, I mean, there's a couple things there. So, there's one, my, I make arguments. But I also, just to interrupt you, I feel that way to a point. If you slept with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, then mm, sure. it's kind of a slippery slope. So I say to a point. Okay. Well, there's a couple things there. First, we can get into the body count, but the other thing is I've made arguments of, well, if a girl in her past previously, for example, had sex with men fairly quickly, mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden changed up, yeah. the, the past 20 men she slept with... And then forcing the next guy to wait like three, four, five weeks. Or yeah. until marriage. I've heard that, yeah. You're free to do it. Mm -hmm. But I think that's, a, that's an L for the yeah. guy. I think that's an L for the guy. Yeah. Um, I think... 
I can understand her. You might reasoning. be able to find a guy who's okay with it. But yeah, and I, can I un- personally would be like one. I mean. I, maybe I'm not the best guy to ask on this because I'm not interested in waiting long periods of time before having sex. I mm-hmm. think, me personally, I don't really believe in waiting for sex. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You know, in terms of like, um, I feel that. You know, I'm fine having sex relatively early on, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to judge the girl for it. I think there's better indicators where you can make judgments on that front, but I just think it's uh, well. It, there's a couple of factors to this. So, for example, if like sh- that's going to just be her guaranteed mm-hmm. position moving forward. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to wait three months from now mm-hmm. on, and you're never going to falter from that. Mm-hmm. That's a bit more respectable than, like, I would feel kind of like a sucker. If she was wishy washy with it. Yeah, like yeah. a week ago, she fucked a guy really yeah. quick. Oh, you meet me. You've changed up. You want to wait three months. We mm-hmm. date for six months, and then as soon as you're out of the relationship, you fuck a guy mm-hmm. right away. It's like, okay, that was never your actual value yeah. set. You just arbitrarily wanted to leverage sex mm-hmm. for some reason, or you, you heard something in a fucking cosmopolitan, mm-hmm. and you're going to leverage sex to yeah. get compliance in some way. Eh, not about it. Yeah, not about it. Now, I mean, but my advice to men, for example, who maybe they also want to wait, I still think it's a suboptimal dating choice for you to get with a girl who previously was promiscuous, and then now she's going to make... You're, look, as a woman, you can always change up. Mm-hmm. You slept with 100 men on the first date, mm-hmm. and then you meet a guy you really like, and you want to wait until marriage. Mm-hmm. That's your call. You can do that. Mm-hmm. I think that's a raw deal for the guy. Mm-hmm. You're free to do it. Mm-hmm. But I, from the guy's perspective, that feels like a raw deal. I could totally, I could totally Whether you want to wait or not. Mm-hmm. I always like the adage, there's always um, a lid to every pot. So even if you do egregious things when you're younger, you don't make the wisest decisions, all it takes is one person to love you for who you are and see past what you see past what you did in that past, accept you for who you are now and your goals and how you want to move forward and call it a day. You just need yeah. that one yeah, person to see Everything happens to see it. for a reason. I mean, uh, just from my own experience, I've encountered, like, I've dated some women who... They'll tell, I've, I'll ask kind of some details about their past. They'll tell me, and I do feel like a bit raw about it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you, you've hooked up with these guys and you hooked up with them quick, but now you want to wait. Well, maybe she weeks. thought you were special and different, and that's why she wanted to wait because she was like, wow, Brian's this really cool, intellectual, interesting guy. I don't want to ruin my chances and sleep with him right away and have the chance that he's going to think of me a certain way, so I'm going to wait for well, him. Well, here's the thing. you At least for me specifically, mm-hmm. you've actually gone ahead and ruined your chances with me if you're going to make me wait when you didn't make other men in the yeah, past wait. If it's always that. been your standard, if all the guys you dated, mm-hmm. you waited that's more acceptable. Yeah. If you're a virgin, that's more acceptable. But if you've you fucked 10, 10 other dudes, seven other dudes, yeah, quit. Yeah, back. And then, then yeah. oh, Brian, I want to wait in, I want to wait until marriage. I want to wait 3 months. I'm going to look at you like really? I'm just not going to date you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just going to be like, "Hey, there's a mismatch here. Mm-hmm. You want to wait. I don't. Let's go our separate ways." Mm-hmm. I think that's a little weird of you to ask such a specific question, though. What do you mean? How's it weird? Like, has any guy ever asked you girls, like, how, what, what's your patterns on how you have sex in the past before me? That's a little weird. No, never. Well, it could I come up like different. this. I mean, if, if, you, if you're a guy and you're desirous of having sex with a girl mm-hmm. and she's like, no, 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 I've got a 90-day rule, a 60-day rule. I want to wait three months. And I'd be like, oh, okay, I respect that. Has that been your standard for all the other guys you've dated? Mm -hmm. And if you tell me no, oh yeah, I hooked up with a guy a month ago, you're not fresh enough in your new value set for me to take you seriously with Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So if if you're gonna be steadfast and wanna wait, it was nice meeting you, but yeah, I, I ain't waiting. That's oh, why I can see where you're coming so from. Long. And I think women, if you want to make, just like you said, you wanna give the car a test drive, like women can also, if, if the guy wants to wait till marriage and you want, as women want to have sex before marriage, that can be a deal breaker for you. And you can say, I don't want to wait. I'm gonna meet somebody new. It was nice to meet you, goodbye. Yeah, respectfully, no. Mm-hmm. So it's, I don't have a double standard on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But um, look, let me to give you. I want to give you an analogy here. So, you you were saying, well, she really likes you. So, 
you know, all those other guys were just mistakes and were just fun, but she really likes or you. Or maybe she just and decided she, wants she woke up one day and she's like, she you know what? I don't want to be promiscuous anymore. I don't want to sleep with Wait, guys Nick, on do you the have first that, date anymore. that cuck flower meme that's... Uh, oh, cucks? The cuck flower mm -hmm. meme that it, it has I to be... Uh, it has to be cens the censored <laughs> one, though. Yeah. Um, I'm a professional in cucks. Okay, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> it's just... I, I don't it's you're gonna have to Google it. It's just look you reward the fuck boys mm -hmm. who will never give you commitment with them And you reward them with immediate sex mm -hmm. But you punish the guys who are worthy mm -hmm. of a relationship by making them wait weeks or months I don't know. It's just I think maybe the mentality and I, I could be wrong But I think maybe the mentality is kind of going along with what you said or what you've said in the past is if if a girl sleep, sleeps with you right away, you might not take her seriously I down the line. That. I never said that. Oh, okay. Well, for, some for men, me, some men not... might think that. It, like, if if they sleep with a girl right away, yes, she's kind of she she's out of the running for relationship status. I agree with you that some men will will certainly view it that way. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I don't think that that's a good metric to disqualify a girl on based on the quickness with which she has sex with you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's. Ready. You got something, Nick? Yeah, this is kind of, uh, we, it's censored, but uh, I don't know. The, 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 this is like kind of it. That's how, that's how guys feel. <laughs> kind of, well, no, it's not. Wait. What's the uncensored part? Wait, I can't make out what it is. Okay, it's a line the of girl, men. Uh -huh. There's a girl at the end, road. and then one of the guys has uh, flowers. Oh, and so it's the girl bending over. This just sounds like a bunch of insecure is that what that is? men. Okay. Yeah. Insecure, yeah, okay. Here, I'll give you a couple of analogies here. So tell me if this resonates at all. Okay. How this is for the whole panel. Tell me how you would feel. Mm -hmm. So you really like this guy, you go on a date, everything is great, but you find out he wants to go 50-50 with you until you guys are married. But then you learn his last three girlfriends he paid for everything, rent, dates vacations he even went on a date a week before he met you and he paid the entire bill all the chivalry all that how does that make you feel i think maybe he's just being cautious maybe he's just been screwed over one too many times by gold diggers i don't mind the cautiousness i think if maybe you wouldn't feel a certain type of way about that i mean everybody has the everybody has the right to change their mind and to change you know how they go about dating you don't have to stick to one thing for the rest of your dating life well she also says you you said you were okay with doing 50 50 mm -hmm. though right Absolutely. so that's i mean yeah, yeah obviously. i think okay. if we started dating, i got more analogies i think I if got we started dating analogies. and i could see that we were both you know going towards a certain path i wouldn't mind doing 50 50. but it's weird it's like you withhold intimacy with the man that you supposedly like but you'll give it away to men who are undeserving. I, like we'll have girls, uh, we've had girls come on the show and they'll say, well, uh, if I'm traveling or I just wanna have fun, I'll just fuck right away. But then the guy I really like, I'm gonna, even though it's not even my, my value set, it's just this arbitrary thing, I'm gonna make the guy who I really, really like, I'm gonna make him wait for sex. Mm -hmm. Even if he wants it, I'll make him wait. Yeah, because she probably wants a relationship from that particular person. She just doesn't wanna get she just doesn't want a. You so know. you're using sex as leverage. Yeah, to and she's us using that she probably as a distraction until she gets the other. I think she she Thank just you. wants to go with the intent of having it be more serious and, as opposed to just a hookup in the beginning. How about this? How about this? Okay. All the exes got five star meals, mm -hmm. but I'm you fine get with In -N -Out. you get McDonald's. I'm fine with that because he turned. Fire. Because he turned over a new leaf. Hey, he's saving money. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> I'm really I get open minded. Every Friday, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> how about this? I thought we're on. against McDonald's. Okay, I'm. Are I'm, we? I'm. I'm. Let's just. Okay, we're just gonna go back to body count because I'm not gonna be able to explain this <laughs> yeah. to you guys. Uh, okay, do you think going around the table? Do you think men are insecure if they care about a woman's body count? Yes. No. Um, not necessarily insecure if it's like religious regions, but kind Let's of what I not. explained earlier of like, they ideally want a girl with a low body count because they don't want her to compare. So 
it's not saying like oh you're just fucking insecure it's just mm -hmm. yeah I mean, sure in the back of your head sometimes sometimes I would insecure. Say sometimes too they're insecure okay say no no okay i would say no i think it's just personal preference fair i'd say sometimes sometimes insecure okay what about you uh no okay all right should body count matter um no yeah for me it does oh, okay for me it personally doesn't no 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 yes if body count doesn't matter what's your body count uh, five five mm -hmm. i'm 22 years old Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. Oh, okay. Um, five times three. What's your body count? Seven. I'm not disclosing. No, no come on. Didn't you say it last show? No. Range? Want to give a range? Less than 20. Okay. Seven. Seven. Hold on now. You guys all have the same <laughs> body count. Your friends, seven. <laughs> That's the truth. Okay, seven, all right. Seven, seven angel nine. number. Nine. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Oh, Gravel saved by the TTS. One hundred dollars. High body count shows a difference in values. Women don't like men who sleep with dudes. Why do you all think men want you after you've slept with the exact PPA you don't like in a partner? <laughs> Uh, like yeah, based, based graggle. So. Uh, body but, count? Um, I'm not going to say. Range? You want to do range? I only <laughs> sleep with people I'm in relationships with. In the past, range. I would do that. Less than 10? Yeah. Okay. I didn't disclose last time. Range? Why, why are some range? people allowed to disclose not? I guess, you know, it's, I, not it's, fair. it's not fair. Life's not fair. I mean, he's not, like, holding you. Yeah, you're right. Life's point. not fair. Like, At least I'm not capping. Five. I'm 22, and I was in a relationship since I was 15. Three years. Then one. Wait, one, then three, then one. Huh. Yeah. I want to ask the chat. Chat, do you think she's telling the truth? Let me know, chat. Bye I'm bye. probably going to say no. Well, whatever your answers are. Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. <laughs> Um, All right, well, I, I want to give you guys credit. Again? I mm -hmm. want to give you guys credit, though, for answering the question. The those of you who did. No, it's, it's good. I know it's hard on you to do that. Um, no, it's not. I think it's hard on you. That's why you didn't do it for me. Wait. Brian. Says, Brian. Yeah, what's up? What's your body count? Well, hold on. You didn't disclose. You can't be yes, asking I me Yes, I did. That. I gave you a range. Give me Wait, a range. Wait, yeah. What is your body count? I don't count? disclose my body count. Sorry, guys. Oh, but it's oh, personal. Rules for oh, these. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Wait, I have a question. Oh, boy. What about so give Gustavo? Give us a range. Gustavo, range. what's your body count? We should it's uproar. Right? No. No. Zero. 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 He said zero. <laughs> Uh, Sarah. That's really personal, though. It's crazy how you ask these personal That's questions crazy. to us, and we can't. It's can almost ask like I'm kind of the questions. interviewer, kind of. I know, but imagine like, imagine that. What happened, bro? What is up with <laughs> bro? Are you... What? Girl, you should make merch. I don't know. About <laughs> like that. what happened? <laughs> what happened, Brian? That's what it's gonna say. Sorry. Honestly, I would. That's buy copyright it. right there. Really? <laughs> Maybe I'll just put, I'll put a like, one instead of an I oh so gosh. I don't get copyrighted. No, you totally could. And then you can donate the proceeds to people for who need therapy. Yeah. Boom. I don't think it's insecure for men to care about body count. Okay. In fact, I think it's super secure. Okay. Super secure. Interesting. Look, let's just go over a couple basic ones. Obviously, somebody who's had more sexual partners is more likely to have an STD. People who have had more sexual partners are more likely to cheat more likely to uh for there to be infidelity mm -hmm. greater likelihood of reporting relationship dissatisfaction greater likelihood of uh, difficulty when it comes to pair bonding uh also there's um there's a biological component and an evo psych component of why men care about this more than women it comes down to paternity certainty so in the past before there were dna tests if a, if a woman was promiscuous there, and let's say that she was dating multiple men, sleeping with multiple men at the same time, there would be no way to know who the father is. And obviously, men want to ensure paternity 
They want to be sure that the child is in fact theirs. It's one of the biggest L's that you can take in your life <laughs> as a man is to raise a kid that you think is yours but actually isn't. Uh, so I've heard that story a lot. <laughs> Are you laughing at paternity fraud? Is that no. funny to you? No, okay. it's not funny. Yeah. Do you think it's funny? I don't think it's funny. Oh. I think it's... Uh, actually, I think it should be criminalized, to actually, be honest. I do this thing where like, when I'm uncomfortable, I laugh. So okay. you just Whatever. caught me. I get it. People laugh when they're uncomfortable. Cool. Uh, so, I mean, that's a big part of it. So, yeah. And it honestly, just it's kind of gross. It's just kind of gross. for women or for everyone I think look if women can feel gross about it too like when it comes to promiscuity like would you feel a little gross for example and I'm using an extreme example here to make my yes, point probably <laughs> okay okay she doesn't even want to hear it here. <laughs> um, would you feel a little grossed out for example if a guy had sex with a girl and then then like within uh, that same day went and had sex with you yeah, it's a different feel a little than body count, but yeah. Well, it's yeah, a little it's different, not but the it's the same thing. It's, it's very, kind it's of related, though. It's, like it's not a little. So. It's related to promiscuity. So if, for example, like you hooked up with a girl today, mm -hmm. and then I fucked you. you. Had a, no, that's well, what you were about to say. Whoa. Whoa. Flirting. Flirting again. Right. again. Ryan. Oh. Should I just walk oh. away? I, your <laughs> eyes lit Look, he's up. Look, You guys want some he's space? Yeah, we'll get some space. We can we can go. Go. Yeah, we can leave. We can, leave. We can wrap it up for y'all. <laughs> <you guys. laughs> Anyways, what I was going to say is if, if theoretically, right? Cause That's you didn't... fucking disgusting. No, 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 oh. not the, 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 the promiscuity thing. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's that, what that I thought. Because I was about to go off. Ooh. Calm down, relax. It's good. Can I finish my question? Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, cool. So if you have a a big body count, right? Because you didn't disclose because you don't want to, and that's yeah, fair. Sure. If it means a lot to you, it doesn't really. Go matter. ahead. Go ahead. But if you have a big body count, but you're only hooking up with one person right now, how does that affect anything? What do you mean? If you never disclose that to them, they never asked you. Would you expect someone to judge you off of your body count? Theoretically, if it's high. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. Why do you say that? Because you're flirty. No, he's. I can tell. I'm just kidding. She I'm can kidding. tell I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not a virgin. Uh, but if a girl wanted to protection. disqualify me because of my Lots body of count, I, that's fine. But I'm saying like, with it. if that was never even a topic of conversation, is that a red flag to you? Like, does that really matter? What do you? What's the question? Like, how do I phrase it? Um. I want to put like you Bro, in that position. You if your down, body right? count is high, <laughs> why are you getting nervous? But now, like, no, it's just, you're only hooking up with one person. On like, her. your past doesn't really affect right now. You're talking about like hooking up with multiple people at the same time. That's like not the same thing. It's kind of related because it's related to promiscuity, right? Body count is or body count is proxy for promiscuity. Now, I agree with you. For example, a woman. To, to, to steal man your position. Let's say a woman had sex with a hundred men, right? Okay. But then she didn't have sex for three years, mm -hmm. right? My example that I provided would not be a, a strong argument to make because, well, how does the disgust fast factor come into this? Because she's been celibate for three years. You could still, I could actually maybe still make an argument that it's kind of still disgusting, but let's assume she doesn't even have STDs. She's totally clean. Still kind of, there's still kind of, I'm still kind of but grossed out like by a, it. But that's like in your head type of thing. Because it's like, mm -hmm. she's clean and she Child hasn't had sex in three years. So it's what's just. happened? But okay, let's say, let's say she's has a high body count and she's still being promiscuous. Okay, that's So body fair. count would be proxy for her promiscuity. And then it stands to reason that she's been perhaps sexually active recently. And then it would be like an actual physical disgust Mm -hmm. over you just fucked somebody else that's a different there's story there's maybe seeds <coughs> brian hey it takes a couple days a day of 24 48 hours I think it's, well, it's never it's never leaked yeah, out for like five, five like, days it's yeah. never leaked out like seven hours later come on ladies oh my god calm down bro relax i'm the sex don't get too here. excited here like, jesus christ oh, i shouldn't have said that my bad um <laughs> <laughs> okay let's see Bri Brianna 
you're very conservative Christian, pro-life, anti-porn, anti-OnlyFans. You used to post scandalous pictures before the OnlyFans days. You got a lot of attention, which has trickled into your adult life, has kept you in negative cycles, friendships, relationships, lifestyle habits don't benefit you. You wanted to share the other side of modesty and how different life is for me now that you uphold yourself from a place of integrity and respect and that sex work doesn't have to be the only way to be a young, successful adult? Yeah. Okay, go absolutely. ahead. I need to get up really quick. Yeah. Go ahead. Speak. Um, so I... I'm very far from this mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you can encroach. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> no, so I never... This was before OnlyFans like, was a thing. Um, just like on Instagram and social media, whatever, I'd post bikini pics, scandalous pics, butt shots, like all whatever. I was like 18, 19, 20, and um, that validation from a man felt really good. I mean, I'm not making money off of, or I wasn't making money off of it, and it was very superficial, but I did um, exchange sexual favors for other things, and I, and I did do the whole like sugar baby thing for a while, and I thought that made me feel good. I thought that gave me the validation and, and I thought it was empowering and I thought it was everything that, you know, adult successful woman in that realm um, could achieve. And all that it really did was it, it just made my wounds that I had pre-existing uh, bigger and it kind of trickled into every other aspect of my life. And that's not to say that's the same for everyone, obviously not. Um, but now like I am more modest and I, and I have learned from the trauma that I have allowed myself to be a part of because the way I did not respect myself, men didn't respect me. A man is only going to respect you as much as you respect you. Amen. And if and if it's a higher standard than they want to provide, the trash takes itself out and it's kind of not something you have to deal with. And I feel like um, because of my past, I haven't upheld myself. I haven't upheld and respected my boundaries. I didn't have boundaries for a very long time. And I just think that it's so important and even if you're in the industry i think it's important to have boundaries and to know what that looks like for you um and that and that the reason why you you may be doing things whether that be sex work whether that be the p word whether that be um any anything um i think that there's a deeper meaning behind why you feel like that is the only thing you can bring to the table and i and i believe that there's more that you can contribute to society because at one point that's not what I believed. So at one point I thought that I'm pretty and I can get what I want and that's not the way the world works. And the world will um, chew you up and spit you out and then you're gonna have to look at yourself one day and, and pick up the pieces. And truly beauty is a depreciating asset. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna be young and beautiful for as long as you think you are and, and one day you will have to start over. And there will be a gap in your resume and, and you will have to explain that and it's just, I feel so deeply for women that go through, you know, OnlyFans and, and do porn and stuff like that, um, because there are better ways to be self-expressive and to have companionship and to have that type of connection. And I just, um, I, I just think it takes courage to see that and acknowledge that, and it takes courage to move forward and move past that. What was your catalyst for changing? Being so broken and knowing that I caused it. Yes, someone else hurt me, cheated on me, physically abused me, but it was ultimately because I didn't respect my own boundaries for the sake of love or attention or a relationship. That's why I hurt myself. Is and this the feeder guy? This is my last two relationships. But um, essentially, it's because my lack of own, my own self-respect allowed these things to happen. Huh. That's all. I respect your opinion and I respect where you're coming from and your experiences. I would counter that and say, yeah, I mean, I worked in corporate, so I had a normal job. I did that. I did the whole thing. I got a pre-med degree. I worked in tech. I, I did that life. Um, and ultimately, like, corporate America is the biggest pimps out there. So I am my own CEO. I have my own S-Corp. I run my own business every day. And just because morally it doesn't align with what you believe in, which is totally okay, that doesn't mean that my business is any less like than what you do for a living. No, no, absolutely. And I'm not trying to sit here saying that I'm better than you by any means or, or saying that because, you know, morally it goes you against- You have an S-corp? <laughs> yeah. For your OnlyFans? Mm -hmm. Why not just an LLC? <laughs> the Tax brackets. Corp ta oh, okay. But my point is, right. is that Wait, couldn't you just be an LLC and elect to get taxed as an S-Corp? 
We're not good. Why okay, all right. I know. I know. Why does it have to be anyway, I'm just not Brian. true. If, I don't care. I'm just saying, it's a business at the end of the day. Like, I know, I don't even like the bring that to the table type of conversation. Because, yeah. Like, no, but I understand for the but, sake of business. Why wait, you, chat. Yeah. Hold on. Well, let me, let me go into some fucking CPA shit. Chat, can't you be an LLC and elect to be taxed as an S Corp? Like, as if you were, I could be wrong. I've, I don't know. Okay. Anyways. Am I right? What was the Chat. last thing we were saying? You can be an LLC and just elect, and that would, re you wouldn't have to like do uh, hours or what, what's it called? I don't know. What, saying, okay, sorry, yes. derailing. Sorry, well, I just sorry. filed ahead, the paperwork, so anyway, it's okay. like a couple weeks ago. All I'm saying is that you're beautiful and you're smart, Thank you. clearly. I do plan to give back though, and that's like part of like yeah. what my plan is. So you asked earlier, I think, I don't know which one of you did, but like, do you have an exit plan? I mean, I plan to do this as long as it still makes me happy and I wake up every day and I'm not like miserable. Yeah. Um, I know it does have mental effects on a lot of people, but like me personally, I don't feel that way. Like I can genuinely say like, I don't feel that way. I actually mm -hmm. felt way more stressed and unhappy every day waking up reporting to a people that didn't respect me exactly. you have a very light a like effervescent five. energy Aww, i could tell you're you. like a genuine yeah. happy no she's person. not the antichrist Definitely yeah the antichrist. Not. Definitely not. Well, sorry what sorry, no sorry. she's but um w yeah no i like completely w. agree like from your perspective i know a lot of people always try to like talk me out of what i do and like not saying you're trying to talk me out of it but just saying your perspective and that's why we're here you know like i respect yeah. everyone's opinions i just don't agree <laughs> yeah and you totally don't have to agree i agree just agree to yeah. disagree i just see that there's so much more potential in you and in all of these women joey donated 100 dollars. ladies may i sell you a hermes purse it was worn by 30 other women in countless photos all around the world do you know it's also 35 is? years old and full of other, other people's stuff. Can I get full price? Is it a Birkin or a Kelly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, guys, Joey, thank you, man. Appreciate the you analogy. Guys know Hermes mythology? Word. <laughs> okay. Where were we? Were we trying to convert her out of no, being I'm not, an OF No, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm I don't not even trying think to she convert was trying anyone. To convert uh, she was not just saying you, just... where she came from and her evolution from like Absolutely. posting bikini pics and more scandalous photos to where she's at now. Okay. And I think that's respectable. I, right. I respect that because you are very set and I respect you for that on what you want in your traditional lifestyle. Like I want that too, but like not right now. And no, I'm not absolutely. looking for it. So. I, just, I just fear the day that you wake up and you're like, I have this gap in my life, this time in my life that I can't get back. And it's like, you could have been using this time to be working on other, um, in my opinion, more beneficial um, things in your life. And that's not to say what you're, that what you're doing won't be successful or won't have longevity. Um, I just worry about the morality, your, your characteristics and what you can bring to just society generally. Not that what you're doing is inherently evil or horrible. Or the Antichrist. Or the Antichrist by any <laughs> means. But I, I just think that people that do yep. sex work um, can find better outlets and, and better ways to contribute to society as well. I agree with that. Yeah. But it's not to yeah. demonize I mean, anyone. I'm going to use my capital to, to do positive things. Yeah. I do positive things a lot. You've I just never don't talk about it. You've never sent in a super chat to the whatever channel. Mm -hmm. That would be a positive first step. No, maybe I, next I should start taxing. Like, no. okay, you gotta if you come on the whatever I podcast, you gotta tax. do a hundred dollar TTS no, every show. Um, okay, whatever. Sierra, you in your pre-show notes, you said there's a crazy story. Wait, it's Kira. Oh shit, my bad. It's Kira. Okay. <laughs> Sierra, uh, no, it's, it's you got Irish stood story. up. You got stood up. Oh my god, yeah. What what happened? Okay, I met this guy at um, <laughs> Wildcat. Um, he came up to me. I Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Have you ever like drank water and it just like hits the back of your throat? I was like, oh yeah. Bro, that was about to be really embarrassing, but I fucking you rescued deep throated him. that bitch. You've never had that where you like throw it back and you yeah, like bro. nearly fucking die? Yeah, deep really throat. throw it back and you almost die? It goes in the wrong That sounded place. crazy. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> this is a, this is, this, is, this is a family crazy. friendly show. It's okay. so not. Get your, get your head out of the gutter. You got that gluck gluck. Get out of the gutter. Acid. Okay, go ahead. You got Anyways, stood up. <laughs> this guy, uh, came up to me at Wildcat and was like, you're so pretty, da, da, da. Like, I want to like hang out with you, all this stuff. Got his contact information. And then like basically leading up to the date, he was like saying like how excited he was and whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. Like I'm excited too. We've hung out a few times before, but just like 
not like a date yeah. setting. Um, and then we were going to go see a movie and then I was like, okay, pick me up at like seven because the movie was at 730 and then he just never ended up picking me up and I haven't heard from him since. Oh, damn. So I'm was like, this recently? Yeah. He didn't even text you? What's his you? name? No. no. <laughs> he should have been the one that was like, Come I'm on. picking you up at seven. See, like that's where you need like. Well, because we were both like kind of talking about it though. I don't know. It was just weird. Know, like I was just, it was just like... weird how like the whole week leading up to it, he was like, "Oh my god, I can't wait!" And then like he didn't show up, and I was like, "Did something happen?" You still or... haven't talked to him? No. Wait, are you guys housemates, roommates? We yeah, we we are, me and Emmy are housemates. But you I know. wanted to add that he texted her like an hour before. Yeah, like so it's literally not like he ghosted her. Yeah, yeah no, just, like he was texting like he was like, up until I'll tell you like, when I'm on right my way. Yeah, and then nothing. And then, <laughs> and then and you that haven't was heard it. from him. No. Did you send him a message like, "Hey, what no. happened?" I said, "Well, the last message I sent went to him was, I was like, Damn. you know, like the movie's at seven thirty, right?" <laughs> At seven. That's and cold. Like, that's, that's at, yeah, at cold. like seven o'clock. <laughs> so like, cold. what was that? Like, I would have rather him just be like, "Hey, I don't want to go on this date with you anymore." Because I'm like, "Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I have no like ex- expectations from you." I was just excited to go see the Bob Marley movie. Bob uh, Marley. Didn't happen. Aww. It was super. Yeah. I don't know. That's and then like, I weirdly L. felt embarrassed about it. But that's now I'm like, up. "Okay, it's no, not me. It weird of it's, not it's just you. weird of him. It's not you." It's fucked up. I know. Fucked up. Fucked up. Thanks, um, Kevin. I'm just kidding. That's not, uh, that's not uh, <laughs> We can call him Wait, Kevin. Do you two have any things that you want to hit on? Re- dating, relationship topics. I'm you guys so didn't tired. get the opportunity to talk too much. Anything from you? Um, Home nothing, slot? I don't know. Nothing that comes to mind, like, straight. Yeah. Um, I feel like it just, what, like, it, it flows. It flows? Yeah. I it's kind of like, yeah. I want to know everybody's opinion on that story, though. Like, oh, what do you think story. it was? Oh, what did we... Like, what do you think happened? Wait, how long ago was this? Joey Quite donated literally like a couple days ago. <laughs> I love this podcast. It reminds me of why I won't survive on the dating scene. Don't say In that. In 38 days, I marry a woman where I was her first mate. Three carrots went on her finger. Girls, smarten up. King of DIY. King of do-it-yourself? You got a YouTube channel or something? Uh doing some household projects uh three carrots yeah, Chat Joey, said he died. thank you very Hopefully much not, but, for um... your for your uh, tts man uh congrats on your wedding you said in 38 days i hope it goes well and uh but yeah dude the dating scene right now is kind of brutal so uh congrats on your uh that thing wait you're saying what what was what yeah what do you think happened to him to him hey, wait so give us a little backstory His you guys had you guys hooked up, up? Maybe, huh? Had you guys like hooked up previously? This was like a casual hookup. Yeah, we've we've hooked up before. Yeah, had but you like ever... the whole like the whole entire time he was like, I like want to take you out like on a date, like da da da, like oh. all this stuff. And I was like, okay, cool, like whatever, I'm down. And then yeah, up like I'm saying like up into like an hour before we're supposed to go on this date, nothing. Mm. Something better came up. It's just he went to a yeah, women's sporting game. <laughs> <laughs> He went to a WNBA <laughs> game. Good fun. for him. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, it's it better to know now. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not like I like. You can I was just like, more, wasn't expecting yeah. like much from anything, but it would have been like fun. I don't know. You're like. Uh, definitely. Like I said, I'm not looking definitely, for a relationship uh, right now, but you know. Wrong. Definitely wrong of him to have sort of <laughs> essentially set up this plan. For for, with you right. and to not communicate with you at all he should have even if he didn't want to go he could have just said hey can we reschedule or eh, i mean at least like a even though yeah he should have at least told you because yeah. then you're probably waiting around what's well, going the on the thing is like i got i like got home from work i got ready i put all this time in and yeah. then up and like that's, literally that's texting me while i'm getting ready and then like never shows up Dude, she also shower. canceled another date yeah i had for another date for Whoa, him well yeah. hold on now that's, that's true i forgot about that part oh, the... wait triggered brian hold on now <laughs> i don't feel so bad all of a sudden <laughs> oh no no she no. you canceled so you had a date well, i planned. rescheduled the other date because i, I wanted <laughs> Wait, hold on. So you rescheduled. So when did you have the other date planned? The, the, wait. See? So was this like a spontaneous, hey, babe, I want to take you to a movie? It was like that day that he wanted to do the no, movie? No, like we, he texted me on Sunday and we were like, oh, we like, we should go to a movie. Or I mentioned basically, so on Sun last, yeah, last Sunday, I think, I don't remember. Um, 
we were texting and I was like, oh, like I'm kind of like, I want to have like a chill weekend. Like I kind of want to go to a movie and see like the Bob Marley movie. And he was like, yeah, I want to see that too. Like, let me take you on a date. That'll be like our first date. And I was like, okay. And then, but yeah. you already had another date planned for that date. Yes. Pre previously <laughs> pre-planned. Yeah. With a, a different dude. Yes. And you canceled. How much notice? Well, did I didn't you give cancel. I re oh, well, as soon as like well, you rescheduled the date. I rescheduled the date. Yes. Damn. And that's well, exactly I was, like the I said, situation. Well, I'm like I said, I am deal. dating. Like I am out. Like I'm dating. Okay. People. Um, um, but I canceled or rescheduled that date like right then. Like I didn't make him wait feel, forever. I don't feel as bad. The guy was still <laughs> wrong for just Recar full on ghosting know, you right? and not telling you, hey, I'm not going to pick you up. I'm just surprised there was no subs. I mean, it sounds like he's just straight up ghosting you now, though. Well, yeah. It wasn't like there was an emergency or mm -mm. is he is he alive? I would assume so. Okay, he's ghosting you then. He is alive. We actually saw his snap maps. Ooh, that's active. awkward. We know he's up Good in times. Um, Shout out Dick, to you. Dick Thank move you. on his part. A little less bad, though, because... Because I rescheduled my other date. You're dating multiple guys at the same time, so don't feel a whole bunch of pity. But it was he, what he did was wrong. <laughs> what he did was wrong. Definitely would... That's a terrible position I, are you even happy with that situation where you're like dating multiple people well it's not like i'm dating like a million men i'm just like going out on dates like people ask me out on a, on a date and i'm gonna go on it and see like where things go people. but don't you like having people but aren't there like don't you meet a guy and you just there's one guy you really like and you want to like really pursue that one guy at if the, she likes him yeah if i like them sure but will you but still like, be dating other men while you're? No, like if I if I want to, so you if don't I, even really you're, if you're I sleeping with men date, you don't even really like that well, much. Okay. Shouldn't you at least like the guy if you're gonna sleep? Well, with I'm not saying that I don't not like the men that I like. What? <laughs> not sleep necessarily. With. You just want to fuck the dude. What? You, you like, don't have that feeling she wants for someone. To spite, are you a spite fucker? Where'd like that come I fucking <laughs> I hate this guy so much I'm gonna fuck him. You no. know what I mean? Yeah, where did never that come from? <laughs> well, okay, like I said, okay, um, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. I am, like, in the okay. dating pool, like, the yeah, dating yeah. scene. I would like to meet people. And if I meet a guy that I okay. end up really liking, then, yeah, I'm going to stick to that one guy. But I haven't right. really found that yet. But I can't really gauge that off of one date. Like, okay. I've, so the guy that I rescheduled, we already had a date before. So then this would have been our second date. I don't know if I just like crazy women. I don't think they're crazy though. I oh, just want, here's the thing, for me, if I'm dating a girl, hmm? like I don't want her to want other guys. Like I have to be the only guy in the picture. Fair. If we go on a first date, you want a second date, all the other guys has to be a wrap. Preferably there's no, just I no agree. guys. I agree. Preferably there's just no guys at all in the picture when we even first meet. I agree. Yeah. It's rare though. Yeah. What and you were saying something about your situation. You're like seeing this one guy, but there's kind of you're dating around, kind of. Yeah. And by the way, to preface, dating doesn't mean like I'm taking home all these people and sleeping with them. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because I'm not. Maybe not. But like, for example, if I was like, if I was dating any of you, like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Please, God. He Take demands. Take it on my brain. Take it on my yeah, brain. Take so it on my you. brain. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Bro, you were like mad trying to flirt with me back there. Stop. I, what? Up. Bro, you were like. It's a self you've been project. Do, yo, you've been like, I fucking the shit out of me the, the entire show. Chill the fuck out, bro. I think you should just have Are like a okay? fight club. Oh, whatever fight club and just. Are you okay? Out. Bro, you want to fuck me? Chill out, dude. What the fuck? Are you okay? I'm not about it. Like, I mean, I'd like, literally rather like. Like, I'm not. Like, you know, on live. You wanna? You wanna? Mm -hmm. You wanna Say one thing. Say one leave. thing you guys like about each Hell other. Oh yeah, bro. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like about each other. Cheers. I don't think he cares what I say. Like literally, right now. What you want? Uh. Wait, Taylor said a good point. Now say something that you like about each other. Mm. One thing that you like, like about it. her. Yes. One thing you like about him. Do it. Uh, good point, him. Taylor yeah, Finkel. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you, Taylor Let's Finkel. My plumber <laughs> husband told me that's what me and my plumber husband do. Bring it full circle. <laughs> so what I like about him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. One thing. Um, All he gets to. <laughs> I think I think he's smarter than he actually is perceiving that's himself really nice to be. Of her. <laughs> he's what? smarter than he perceives 
himself to be. Or maybe be. he'll get there. So at you one point. like you think that I think I'm, I'm like stupid. Then no, I think I'm you're. I think you're very smart, but I don't think you're at the point that you should be at yet. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> That's the most bad thing I've ever heard. I don't think I'm at that you point do either. Better. You better. I don't yeah, think I'm at that point she's either. She's potential. rooting for you. <laughs> now tell I, her. I need to say something nice yeah, to her. Yeah, you gotta yeah, say yeah, something, yeah. one thing. Your turn. And not some. And yeah, don't do like a backhanded ass compliment or something like that. It's okay if you do. I can take it. I'm a big girl. <laughs> I'm proud of you <laughs> that I think you're sober. You think? I think. She's sober. I don't know, you seemed a little, at the beginning of the show, a little, you know. Okay. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Was that good? Was that? No. Was that good? It was okay. It was you okay. Could, I feel like you could I have done you a lot do better. I, I think you can do a lot better. I, hi, guys. I, like, I honestly, I really do, like, promote sobriety and, like, addiction, like, all of that, because I've dealt with addiction. I've dealt with my family's addiction, mm -hmm. everything, so... I'm sober. I have my key tag if you want to see it. Like, a few more things before we wrap up, and just to finish on that point, I will say that at least when it comes to dating, I want immediate, near immediate. Or how do I normally frame this? I want. I'm blanking. Sorry, it's been a long fucking podcast, it's almost like, at seven hours. Cutting it Everyone yelling at exactly. me. That's why people think I'm cutting like fucked girl, up. Like I've been here for six hours. Oh, I want. I, I want I'm tired. exclusive. I want uh, not exclusive. I want tired. immediate loyalty. I'm no, tired. it's tired. What's that, Nick? There though. Yes, thank you, Nick. The f thank you, God damn. I want <laughs> undivided romantic and sexual attention immediately. But if if your romantic attention is divided, in other words, you're dating other men, I I lose interest. So does that, is like, that why is you're that still goes single? both ways though? Like, is yeah, are you willing to are do you the willing same? to do the same? What do you mean? Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Work. Perfect. <laughs> are you still single, Brian? <laughs> if I okay, if I was in a relationship, I wouldn't disclose it I on know. the podcast. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say. Just figured I'd ask again. So wait. Oh, Nick, let's pull up some of the tabs. Actually, wait, chats. Wait, no, hold on. Guys, go to Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, guys, please go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Just open up another tab. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. If you're watching over there on Twitch, drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. Oh, we just hit the seven hour mark. Okay, we're going to definitely wrap up soon. <laughs> Hunt, promise, like promise here. Five, five yeah, minutes, ten minutes. What? Guys, that's why jobs. they think I'm off drugs. I've been sitting here for six hours, no caffeine, nothing. I got up at 4 a.m. this morning. <laughs> My flight was at 7 a.m. Yeah, literally, I have jet lag. Like, yeah. Guys, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow if you're on okay. Twitch. Just give us a little follow in the chat. No food. Drop us a prime. If it's the, Yo, Slayer, thank for the uh, prime. Uh, Jeremy, thank you for the follow. No thank, thank you all for all the follows, guys. Oh, okay. You can... Oh. Uh, also... We need to pull up these chats here. EOG Demise. Ladies, 304 short and curly's preference. What? I short, love how they said ladies bush slash trimmed, 304. Clean, <laughs> is 304 the area code? <laughs> is, is that this? Yeah, oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely the area code. Uh -huh. okay. uh, short and curly's preference. Is this like grooming down there? Is that what this is about? That's what I'm assuming, assuming, yeah. So is this, he's asking your preference in our, men? Our preference in men. Do you guys have a preference on that front? I don't have a preference. No. I'm grown. No preference. Don't care? No. You want a jungle? If I, get I wouldn't be happy with a jungle. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Deep diving that jungle. Maybe like... Into the mic? Hmm. Into the mic? Not the jungle, but... Not the jungle. <laughs> the jungle. <laughs> trimmed. Why not? Trimmed. Explore the wilderness. I would say trimmed. It don't matter to me. Yeah. Hey. I do not like it when a guy is bald. I like him to be a man and have hair. Be a man and mm -hmm. have some hair. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a preference. No preference. Uh, ditto with what she said. All right, EOG. Thank you, man. Tommy, emo girl is so... Actually, let me have you read it. Go ahead. Brain dead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Read it. Oh, me? Yeah. Emo girl is so brain that she made the other girl look like Isaac Newton. Who's the other girl? I'm assuming. Her. I'm oh. the only other, yeah. Okay. Isaac Newton. Thank you. 
but that's kind of rude to her. No, you're good. W. Isaac Newton. Yeah. He's a very smart man. Is this yes. Argentinian? I think it's the Argentinian currency, maybe? Thank ARS, you, Tommy, maybe? for the or, 500. No, maybe, maybe not. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Nick, can you pull up the first thing that we were going to react to? Oh, guys. So, okay. This is, this is what you guys might be very curious because I know you guys, you know, given your admissions during the show, I'm sure you're all dying to know what I'm looking for in a woman. This is, this is, I think, what Is this I'm, the bowing video? Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead, Nick. Boom. Did you see the bow? Did you guys see the bow? Huge. Get the rocks. Oh, great. Okay. We'll read that in a second. The one that had a labia place to get the rocks. Question for all, would you date a man who checked out the boxes but was adam adamantly vegan, just in that version toward violence to animals in any fashion? We'll get to that in a sec, Crocs. Yeah, uh, here's great. the video. Thank this is this is great. Uh, play it one more time here in just a sec. Yo, Slay, Slay, Slayer GTX, thank you for the gifted you, 20 subs, man. Appreciate it. Uh, pull, pull it back up. Let's see the bow one more time. Look at this. Huge. Boom. Brian, so, I think I think though she probably has had plastic surgery though. She oh looks well, like, I wasn't making. I'm not saying like that's the. I don't get it epitome of uh, the physical appearance that I think she's an attractive girl but it was more so the bow it's the bow okay it's we'll get an Asian girl then she doesn't I, I'm gonna get a white girl to bow to me or an Asian girl good luck with that I can shit I'll um, but in terms of the labiaplasty to address the comment, I think uh, that's a very bold statement to make because you don't know why I had it done does that make sense I don't think he was even he just said, get the rocks. Care to elaborate? Yeah, I mean, and like... He just said, get the rocks. Okay. So then let me just shut the fuck up then. Based? Um, <laughs> would you, the question is, would you date a man who checked all the boxes, but wait, actually, hold on, before we do that, would you guys be willing, great guy, would you be willing, if he wanted you to bow for him, would you do it? <laughs> repeat, repeat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Would you Would you be willing to bow for a guy? Would I be willing to bow for a guy? Yeah. Fuck no. No. Okay. Mm. Does he bow for me too? No. He wants you to bow to him. No. I'm Asian, so I'm down. Maybe like a curtsy. <laughs> Can you show us a curtsy? No. Right now. Okay. My legs are numb from the way I've been saying this. Nice. <laughs> um, maybe as a joke. But probably not. Yes. Yeah. yes. It's like a sign of respect, though, for Asian people. I've so made I feel like guys bow down. Maybe you have a different yeah. like, view of it. It's not so much like a... Just saying. Like, uh, it's like respect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. What Does that make sense? No. Yeah, no, I'm, you, you that's how I'm thinking of it. You wouldn't bow? Would you bow? Um, actually, my last relationship, we were in an argument. One of our last <laughs> arguments, um, he thought he had the upper hand and, and demanded I got on my knees and bow down to him. And you did <laughs> I said, get out of my house, good, we're done. Good, 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 good. good. That, and that, I would never, <laughs> yeah, ever, you don't know ever how do many that. men I've no, had no, bow no. down to me, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, were you okay. halfway, I feel like you were halfway asking us another question and then we got interrupted oh. by a super chat. Am we're, I? What is it? Maybe I don't I'm know. so tired. I know. I, know. I think yeah. all of us are. Would, would you bow? Surprised. Would you bow? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There, Natalie would you bow. You would bow, hey. Natalie. You are a different yeah. woman by the end of this podcast than you were in the beginning. Isn't that like the definition of submissive? Yeah. But like, in all aspects, you would bow, whether that be like. Isn't that Submitting to your well, I don't it is, but like that was an Asian woman, and like that's the stereotype also. But that's also a cultural thing of like yeah, it's respect. More cultural. Cultural appropriation. <laughs> yeah. Fuck I don't it. Think that's Let's cool. go. <laughs> I'm culturally See, like, appropriating. I feel like I don't know. I love what? when people what? indulge you, in like. No, you don't like it. Okay. Asian and culture. What's that? I don't think yeah, there's anything that. that wrong. Yeah, I don't think that's it's like not. Yeah. Okay, but instead white of just... people have bowed throughout yeah. the years. No, hold on. no, I'm no. saying in that scenario. I'm not gonna wait. I, hold on. I'm not gonna allow you to claim cultural ownership okay. of the bow. I didn't. Say you want to start talking about dreads? We can talk about dreads. Oh, Let's talk about dreads. Yeah. You want to talk about? Dreads are You want to talk about? I don't even know where I'm going. With I was that. just saying like. <laughs> never mind. We're not gonna get into it. Would you date <laughs> a guy who culturally appropriated? <laughs> You're the going one around that used the that term. I going around the table. Wait, would you date a guy who culturally appropriated? No. Like he just wore um, 
Oh wait, wait. wait should, is, he, is he educated? Is he educated? No, I wasn't, gonna say, I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say like a like a sombrero. Is he educated? Like a white guy wearing a sombrero. But that's the thing. Like people don't have is that, an issue with Would that, that be cultural appropriation? Is he educated on the tradition, on the right? history? I think it depends on if it's maliciously intent to no. to culture. No, it's like he likes. Uh, if it, if it's you genuinely like a particular you're style. Not down with I came here tired. I'm sorry, what? What is it about? Would you Sorry, date a guy who culturally right. appropriated? Depends, like, how bad it is. Hmm, okay. I mean, if they're trying to be rude and, like, hurtful, that's a different situation. No. Yeah. Like, you gave the example, the example, you're like, oh, if he wore a sombrero, yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck if you, he wore a sombrero. Mind. Like, just the but widest, the widest of... guy you know. Yeah. Just rocking a sombrero. I, I think I'd I like it. genuinely like, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I, I need to stop talking, I think. Sombreros, that's a Mexican thing, right? I'm Hispanic. Sombrero? I don't know why you're looking at me. Mexican? Yeah, it's Mexican, yeah. 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 They wear it in Colombia, too, okay. sometimes. Okay, I'm not going to get canceled here. Um, <laughs> would, uh, yes, cultural appropriator, would you date a cultural appropriator? I think, it, like I said, if it was not maliciously intended. Uh, I think okay. if it was just a, a something that he thought you know, was interesting or looked cool or resonated with. Okay, all right. Good, good, good talk. Uh, where were we? Oh, we were doing the bow. Does anyone object to the bow? Like, I'm not Not a fan of the bow. I would bow. I mean, I Is would. anybody down to, to just do a bow right now? Not to me. Uh, guys, in, don't do can it. Can we see a bow? No, 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 don't, don't do, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's I'll, standing. You don't do a standing. Yeah, I'll do a standing. Yeah, I'll do a standing. Yeah, I'll do a standing. Yeah, because what is it? I'm Asian anyway, right? Like, <laughs> is, this, is this racist? But, yeah. Okay. How would that be racist? We, I don't know. We I don't both know. agreed I just, on that. Yeah. We're the only two Asian people in this room that I know of. I don't know. It's going to get clipped, and it's just, like I'm asking her to bow to me. She just bowed down to him. She identifies as a black man, though, so it's okay. No. Right? That's what you said at the start of the show. You said you were a black man. People mistake me for a black man when they hear my name. Your yeah. name. That's, okay. yeah. That's actually Can I see a bow? I identify as Milton. I want to see okay. Gustavo That's, do a bow. I would say that for, Wait, I would say that bow, for my will man. You do a bow? Yes. If Gustavo bows down to me right now, I will bow down to Gustavo. Wait, let's yes. See it. Let's see it, I like let's this. See Gustavo, do you want a girlfriend? Oh. <laughs> Emmy's <Emmy's> looking. <laughs> getting a position. Wow. Who are you bowing down to, Gustavo? Let's see it. Nope. Wow, that was no, 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 no. Come on, do, do it for real. She just, that's how low he went. God, that's so bad. I'm sorry. Really Thank bad. you, Gustavo. This Needs is work. really bad. Ne what? What's really bad? The bowing down. Huh. Okay. Uh, what are the other things, Nick? Let's pull up the other thing we needed to do. Oh, guys. So okay. Sorry, but I should have prefaced this. We're gonna do a segment called Would You Date This Man? Would You Date This Man? I'm going to show you two guys, two profiles. Oh, the bow isn't necessarily showing weakness, as most of you on the panel think. It's a symbol of showing respect. That's what I said. We guys yeah, don't really want to bow. They it's made that just very clear in Kung Fu Panda. I said that four times. Yeah, no, we know. In Kung Fu Panda. We know. <laughs> we made it very Yo, clear. Yeah, Slayer. We, we Thank you, Slayer. Know. Appreciate it. Oh, we, we have... Oh, hold on. Oh Jack here. underscore Pliades underscore Chovanti donated $100. <laughs> 39 years old. All right. Gay cheat is insane after 18 years. Friends with benefits isn't ideal. Doesn't make you a 304. Young ones should listen to you. Wisdom takes time. Help them. Hashtag labia plastine of ear again. <laughs> well, I can't undo it. Thank you. You're clearly you follow I think he's like home. six hours behind on the podcast, but... Oh. Uh, because he was talking about... Your, yeah. the, it's the almost gay like thing. a fixation, though. If you're interested, just go look. Okay. All right. Would you date this man? Would you date this man? His name is Zach. He's, um, he's a very nice guy. He's a friend of mine. I'm trying to get him set up with a, a lady. He looks he, like Nicolas Cage in the first picture. Yeah, he's yeah, he, yeah he does. Uh, he has an ax there in the, the third one. Scroll down. So uh, he's a great guy. R wonderful man. Uh, great guy. How old is he? Uh, not sure. He looks like he, he lives also, in his mom's another, basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> Did I nail it? Listen, let's not let's not jump to conclusions here. 
So going around the table, going around the table, would you date him? Yeah. No. No, that guy is not my type. Not your type? No. Okay. No. No, because I don't know if he's funny. But also, let's say no. I wouldn't. No. Okay. No. 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 I feel like I can outlift him. Huh. (laughs) No. Okay. But I'm not trying to date right now. This now, me, now, let me give you a bit more information about who he is. <laughs> his name, oh God. his gamer name is Asmongold. Oh, he's a he's, gamer. He's one of gamer. the top. <laughs> okay, mm. he's one of the top streamers on Twitch. He's probably he, he owns some companies. Dude, he's a millionaire man. many many times over. He's rich, rich all around rich, good rich, dude, rich, rich. and he's again one of the top Twitch streamers. Does that change anything for anybody? All I hear is material Mm-mm. items, mm. physical He could stuff. retire you. You'd never have to work a day All in your I life. All I is my soul. All you have to do is make him steak and bring him his sodas Mm-mm. and DoorDash. I would burn the steak on accident so like, it wouldn't work out. All that, I care about okay. is my soul. Okay. <laughs> All right, Zach, I tried. I'm sorry. Uh, next one. We have another guy here. His name is Felix. Uh, Okay, a little different here, you know. uh, Scroll down a little bit. All right, this is Felix. Yep, okay. I think I know him. And uh, yeah, Felix, there it is. And uh, he's a close friend friend of mine. And uh, we go way back. And uh, yeah, you know, he's he's a good guy. There he's a he loves animals. He's cats. And I have um, six dogs. Yeah. So, would you date this man, starting with you? Go ahead. Like I said, I'm not looking for someone right now, but yes. No. 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 Yes. Oh. You said he was a cat guy? I think he likes dogs, too. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I have a problem with dudes or just people in general where their whole feed is just pictures of selfies. I just think it's a little vain or just self-absorbed. So no. Okay. No. No. Now, does it change anything to know that this person who goes by XQC online, he's one of the top Twitch streamers. He signed a deal with a company called Kick for, I believe, what was it, 100 million? I've heard of that website. Right. How much was it, Nick? <laughs> he signed like a couple year deal with Kick for 100 million dollars. He's, he's rich. Wow. Rich. Successful. Status. Does it change anything? Nothing? Exactly. Nope. I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry, Felix. I tried. Yeah. Felix, yeah, I'm interested. What I she's said, in, she did before she knew. She, you're interested? I, I also already knew who that was. Oh, you knew who it was. Wait, I watch him. Sometimes. All these are your friends, right? <laughs> or like acquaintances or like you know dear them? Friends. Okay. Yes, they're dear friends. Okay, where's Sean? Pull up Sean. Sean? I don't know. How to find Sean. Oh, Sean? I don't know. Sean? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find it. Um, but yeah, so sorry guys. I tried my best. No, Wait, I was... I didn't, you said like I didn't he's not your type. What's your them. type? Just curious. A man that looks like he's holding up a fish in his hinge photos. <laughs> That's my fucking type. Maple syrup. It's true. Someone who owns a Bass Pro Shop hat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Flannels? She knows what she wants. Yeah. Yeah, okay. she knows what she likes. Yeah, that's good. All right. Uh, last thing, Nick, and then we're going to wrap. We're going to react to this. Um, you... Oh, is What's this the, the audio? Is this the girls expect the guys to pay on the first date? Can you scroll? They put a make it one bigger? dollars worth of... Make it money one bigger. on their face makeup yeah uh just play it i don't think we need audio actually just put the audio really quick just to see if it was it... okay yeah it's nothing let it it's gonna just replay so we'll just let it replay so she's adding up all the makeup and all the, her costs and she's in the caption it says we didn't even wait oh she's basically ma- why men should pay for the first date oh because of all the makeup she had to there's a lot of these going around yeah i get it and she's adding up the cost, total cost of the products 
that she's using and she so this is why it's not a man's responsibility to sponsor a girl's mm -hmm. lifestyle especially exactly. if they're just dating i agree yeah. with her yeah, yeah. I, agree with I also think you're starting the total it's Se like totally total 758 yeah. why men should pay on the first date so we so we've seen it a couple times mm -hmm. um i'm curious though going around the table i want to start on this side what is the flaw in what she's arguing here what she said like it's not up to him like it's her she could have gone gone with no makeup that's her fault for going with a full face of makeup okay. you know but what, anybody see the actual flaw with what she's doing well i see it it's as the expectation what yeah. is she bringing to the, the table years to become and the then also for the clout she's yeah. clearly doing it for the clout so but does anybody see the the like if you're looking at the math does anybody see the flaw like you're saying she did the math wrong? She did it for she did, all She did do it wrong. Like she did do it wrong. Oh, yeah. all, all the makeup products that. that she had, but like, you know, each that date has nothing is to like do is with a the fraction date. of the price. Right. And that's what yeah. I think. The right. makeup so. has nothing to do with the date is basically. Right. It's basically like arguing, let's say I, I'm, a, I'm a rich man and I bought a Lamborghini and because I'm picking you up <laughs> on the date, that means that you now like owe me the cost like uh -huh. the cost yeah. of yeah. the entire yeah, lamborghini doesn't... it's ridiculous exactly um yeah. so that's a that's exactly what i was kind of looking for is well in total that's what those products cost but if you're using say one one hundredth of it uh -huh. well okay and some guy actually did the math and like broke down all that stuff that she was applying mm -hmm. and it came out to like 12 bucks mm -hmm. total per face yeah. like for for uh -huh. per use i think it uh -huh. was it so mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Girl math. Girl math. <laughs> All right, before we wrap, any final thoughts from anybody? Anything, any last topics you guys want to hit on? Uh, uh, I'm tired. I think I already asked you. Um, I tomorrow, I Jasmine so Jafar funny. and I are filming another episode that, of Thoughts that, with that, Thoughts. That's not really related. Are we? I love Pleasure Jasmine. Pleasure girl. I um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Thank uh, you for oh, having two, us. Two last questions here because I feel like this is important because feminism came up earlier. What is a woman? Starting with you. A soul. No, like what is the def, what is a woman? What, what is that? A soul, that's it. That's my definition. Uh, okay. Someone who's biologically female. Based? Um, or an element. Whoever Elemental. identifies Elemental. as a woman, because I just I don't have any. Yeah, okay. That's how so I feel. a woman is somebody who identifies as a woman. Mm -hmm. Can you define woman without using the word woman? Why are you Why are you looking at me that way? Why do we have to end it? Like because oh, I don't care. I just. <laughs> I personally don't have any like issue with the whole trans thing, so like, I th that's where you're going with this, right? Of, like, no, not even. I'm just curious. Um, I don't really want to go there. It's the end of the show. I yeah, just... so I, I, that's why I answered the way I did. So oh. I just, okay. 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 We'll right. just let that go. Okay. Because we could just go on for it. What she said. No, 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 no. no. That's what I mean. Well, put it in your own words. Go ahead. Somebody who identifies as a woman. Okay. I'm going to say the same thing. Somebody I, who identifies as a woman. Are we talking like literal or figurative? What sort of yeah, I was thinking is. literal. What your person I don't, I don't know what a woman is figuratively, but <laughs> oh, literal. Well, I guess, literally. yeah, okay. Literally. Well, I'm just going to say, yeah, uh, somebody who identifies as a woman, yes. Somebody who's born biologically female. I agree. Biological female. Okay. So a woman is someone who identifies as a woman. Can I identify as a woman? Yes. yes. If you were Wait, so yes. Can, can I pose this question to the ladies who said that if someone identifies as a woman, then they're a woman? Mm -hmm. How do you feel if you have a daughter and let's say she, hypothetically she's six and she's going to the bathroom by herself, you're waiting outside? Oh, I don't know if we want to go here. I what? I know where you're going. Like there's yeah. a... Would you not want to protect your daughter and, and ensure no, that by having gender appropriate bathrooms for biological? Making sure she doesn't see certain things while she's in or, the bathroom. Yes, that's just an example yeah, that's that's that I'm, po I'm trying to be very I mean, why are, you, why are you waiting outside if that's something that you're concerned about? Yeah. 
Yes. I don't think I'd wait outside no matter. I think yeah, I, I, would go I, mean, I think I mean, biological women I mean, can do things too. If I'm bringing a child into this world, I'm gonna make sure they're safe, a hundred percent. Like mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think I would but send, that, like no. my small child into a bathroom by herself. Okay, um, it doesn't matter the age. My point is, would would you not want to protect your your child, boy or girl, from? someone who has ulterior motives and why are those people in my house in the first place i'm I'm saying in public (laughs) public no i'm saying in public because anyone can identify as anything yeah you're right you're right and and you make a good point that's my only argument is why wouldn't you want to protect children because they're sick-minded people no there is sick-minded and i think that it's important and not to disregard how someone may feel about themselves and Mm -hmm. how they identify but for the sake of of protecting those that can't protect themselves, I think that it's really important to reinforce um, bio- biological gender-like norms in society. So at what point then are you okay to use a, a woman's bathroom? If you have female parts. So, so if I someone think. looks like a female, then, they then they're can. okay to use it even if they don't have woman parts? Not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Well, how would you know? I wouldn't know, but I'm, exactly. I'm just... No, I know, and that's not my place to investigate any person who walks into the bathroom to make sure, like, that's not my point. Wait, hold on. Let me let me bring this back to dating. Do you th- <laughs> do you think... Never talked about dating. Please. You just had to bring this up, like, right before... Well, that's why I did this up, We could talk I, about I, this I, for like, hours. hours. I, 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 can't, I can't stay oh, here. Oh, we go, we like, I want to be here till 2 in the morning. We're going to wrap soon. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Like, five minutes. just wrapping. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Relax. Okay. Do you think... Would you... Okay. Would you object to a man not wanting to date a trans woman? That's that's, preference. That's something that comes up in dating. Um, Yeah, that's I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Would you object to that? No. No. Oh, she got up to the bathroom, right? No. In what context? There is no... Like, what do you mean, do you object? Do you... think it would be wrong for a guy to not want to date a trans woman. I think anybody could date anybody as long as they're not hurting so, anybody. Yeah, you don't don't object. So you don't object. Okay. No. I don't I don't object to being gay or the LBGT. That's not no no no, that's not what I'm, I'm that's not what I'm asking. A man doesn't want to date somebody who's trans because mm-hmm. they're trans. Mm-hmm. Do you object to that? the reason why I asked you contacts because I know you've asked this kind of question before and you ask it would you consider the man gay if he wants to date a okay we can talk about you know that what? That's that's kind of the context of why I was asking you to be specific it's the same premise of asking like would you feel a type of way if someone didn't want to date you because you're an OnlyFans like I don't care anybody could date anybody if it makes you happy but you have to I feel like I ask a more specific question or have more specific. Seems pretty specific to me. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. If you if it makes you happy, no, I don't object at all. You don't object to it. No. Okay. Well, it's not. I don't want it to make me happy. I don't no, want you to give me No, if it makes the an other answer. person happy, I don't care. Oh, okay. If anybody could date anybody. Okay. Yeah. All right. Once they're back, I'll ask. Once the, the she's back, I'll ask the final two questions, and then we'll go from there. Well, okay. Well. Do you think it can be straight for a man to date a trans woman? No. You don't want, she doesn't want part, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. She doesn't want to be part of that conversation. Do you think it can be straight? Like, is it, is it, is it straight? Yeah, because that's a woman. I disagree. But is it a woman? What if they have a penis? Uh Okay. I could use a strap on. Like, let's say, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm so, just saying, like, it's the same. So, if you saw, like, let's say you just, like, had a video and it was, like, it was a dude Sing the D of a peen. Mm-hmm. You, that could, in, in what world could that ever be straight? If it's a woman. A woman with a peen? Sure. <laughs> They're losing it back there. Uh, wait, so hold on. It can be straight? If it looks like a woman and that's like you're going into it like, oh, this is a woman. Yeah. No, I have a caveat. If, for example, <sighs> it's a extremely passing transsexual person. Trans- so there's gender. a man gender. and his partner clearly passes as a female in every sense of the word, but she's still fully intact. 
there's some gray area there. I could there's feel no, like there's no gray. Area. I could feel like he 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 may be heterosexually inclined because he likes the femininity that she is presenting. However, I feel like the sex that they're having is homosexual. I think you can't argue against biology and you can say, you know, there's no longer a penis or, you know, there's fake boobs now or whatever, but it's like, ultimately it's like the skeletal muscle mass, the muscle density, the size of the organs, the size of the jaw, this, like, you can't detransition or transition, sorry, you can't transition beyond certain things. The size of a man's hands compared to a woman's hands, sure, there's more feminine uh, aspects of a man, sure. Wait, okay. Well, there's also extremely wait. feminine men, so wait, biological hold on, hold on. men, and wait, vice so just, versa. Just to open it up to them, too, they weren't here. Would you object to a man not wanting to date a trans woman? I, so I think I thought I already answered that. Oh, did you? Yeah. She did. She yeah, said no. Taylor did it. I said no. Would Taylor. I object? I'd be like, no, you have to fucking, like... No, but would you <laughs> find it <laughs> objectionable? I wouldn't... I think every, no one should do something they don't want to do. Okay. Do you think it could be evidence of some sort of bigotry or... Transphobia. Not okay. Um, so I guess the question is, though, the final question on that, is it, can it be straight? Is the question. Yes, I think so. It's so. By for, our definitions, yeah. By all definitions? By our definitions. Your definitions. Of like what a, a woman is, like how you asked before. Well, so Sorry, I don't speak for it's not clear to me if it would be straight in that situation, though. But who who here <laughs> thinks it would be straight for a man to be with a trans woman? It could be. It could I mean, be straight. Could be, yeah. Okay. I don't like labels. Did you, okay. Yeah. Your thoughts? Not straight? I think straight? it could be. I think straight. Straight? Because they identify. I'm not sure. <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. You, what was your? Not straight. Not straight. I think you guys, we know where you guys yeah. are on that. Well, okay, so for those of you who think it's straight, let me ask. Would you guys agree that straight is short form slang for heterosexual? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so if we're looking at the sex of the individuals, mm -hmm. if they're both male, how could it ever be heterosexual? If they were both biologically male, but how I could saying, it ever be heterosexual? Well, you asked me what's the definition of a, of a woman for me, and I said right. someone who identifies as a woman. So if a guy, let me even concede that. Okay. If I even concede that, but you acknowledge that the sex of the individual is still male, correct? Biologically. What so do you mean? of course, that's what sex refers to. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting sassy. I'm not getting right. sassy. Look, I, it's just. He's done. If it's in. slang for heterosexual <laughs> okay so if you were to All go right. through gender reassignment surgery then does that make you whatever if no one knew if no one would ever know the difference if you were passing enough would you then be considered a woman or a male vice versa well you can never change your sex I'm saying, you like, never to everybody else, right? Would you ever know? No, but I'm talking about, okay, we're, we're, we're talking about sex. I know, but I'm arguing the fact that, okay, just because they have a penis at that point, that's the only thing left that they didn't transition, right? Well, I don't think there's any... It, it could be, like, uh, pansexual or whatever. Okay. Well, but, then you get into a gray area be, with yourself. Like, I'm but just it can saying, never be heterosexual there's no realm where two males having sex can ever be um heterosexual or straight so it's just it just d definitionally me, is impossible again so like if they had gender reassignment surgery and it was a female looked like a female biological female let me correct myself sounded like dressed like everything looked like had a vagina it's and, not that's not a vagina okay but you know what I mean. Wait, why are you shaking your head? I am shaking my head. Okay, <laughs> all right. I just, look. I'm just arguing the other side. I like. don't think, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't think that you can, if you weren't born with a vagina, mm -hmm. I don't think you can make a vagina. I don't think that that, that fits like the anatomically, I don't think it's, it's a vagina. Vagina, mm -hmm. vagina. It doesn't look exactly like... Oh, it's not just the look? Oh my 
good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. Is this getting too deep? I mean, I'm just... I see your point. I can't with this shit. Uh, why? Because at what point then would you be like, yes, that's a female? Like, you wouldn't... My point is, if you wouldn't know. Like, you wouldn't know. Sorry. Eh, you would know. Not necessarily. No, because there there have been... I was... I can't remember where I was listening to it, but it was, a, it was about a man who was in a relationship with a woman for three months and he did not know that she was born a biological man. He literally didn't know. And and, and personally, that's morally wrong because that's just crossing a line. I feel that she crossed a line. But I'm not going to be The point is he he didn't know, so I could see your point. Abuku donated $100. Hey, Brian, can the girls answer what 1 plus 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 1 pl
<laughs> yeah, I'm learning. Um, wait, so, but go, why do you think we don't need, wait, hold on, let me make sure that's not a double uh, negative. Why, no, you I, think we don't need men, why is that? Shouldn't you be appreciative of men? You, do you appreciate men? I appreciate men. I appreciate you just said we don't need men. I appreciate souls. You appreciate souls? Mm -hmm. Well, you just said you, we don't need men. Why is that? You said you hate men earlier, didn't you? I did. Yeah, no, I did. And then I mm -hmm. said I said it out of anger. Um, I appreciate men. Um, I just don't think we need them. That's it. You don't think do we need men? Do your own knowledge. That's it. Do your own knowledge. I'm not going to sit here and explain it to you. So you're if you don't understand why, there's a reason why. Do you realize how, if, if, do you think life would be better if all men just disappeared? <laughs> it's a serious question. Go ahead. Um, no. No? No. Oh, but I thought we don't need men. Do your own research. On what? I already said it. No, you didn't. Just do your research. On what? I'm not going to say it on this podcast. On the, the, the witchcraft? I can tell you after. Uh, that's okay. You don't have, I'm, not, I'm not that interested. Okay. Then do your own research. If you're not, then don't believe me. I don't care. I, was, I came here to like, try to spread knowledge, but everyone just keeps shutting me Hold down. Hold on. Just, just, just so I have that clear. You came here... To spread knowledge? Yeah, I tried my best. I tried my best. Knowledge was at the forefront of what you came to <laughs> spread on this podcast? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and awareness, but it's okay. It's knowledge and awareness? Yeah. Anything else? Any other things you wanted to spread besides uh, VD? Sorry, positivity, what? Positivity, but that was kind of hard with, yeah. What? Sorry. I said positivity, but you, that was wait. You came to spread positivity. Yeah, You've been but kind it, of negative I this know, entire show. Well, no, I was just not trying to react. I'm really good at not reacting, so. You're really good at not not reacting. Mm -hmm. You have you been wanting to react this entire show? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Uh, huh. <sighs> just. Uh, <laughs> oh man, the, the moment the moment passed. It's sad. It's sad. Okay, um, I'm trying we, to think. Are we tied for the latest running show? We're we're pretty close. I'm gonna wrap up here. Last thing, guys. If you're over there on Twitch, go to twitchtv slash whatever Drops a follow. Drops a prime sub. Drops a follow. Drops a prime sub. If you're still watching over there on Twitch, I'm gonna raid somebody. We're gonna wrap up there. Damn. Damn. Um, wait. Do you wanna? I wanna get last thing. I. Do you want to? Ask me the question that you were asking earlier. What question? You know the one. The one I, uh, as a kid? <laughs> the one, the kid one? <laughs> <laughs> or what's wrong with you question? Oh, no, the astral, your, the sign, the, the birthday? Sign? I don't know. It wasn't that. It was something else. <laughs> Chad, am I being a goblin? Yeah. Nick, am I being a goblin? I think we just need to sleep. Nick, do you know what I'm trying to do? I yeah, think we need yeah. to sleep. Am I being a goblin, Nick? I feel like it's deserving, but I missed my opportunity earlier on in the show. I missed my opportunity. Um, I haven't contacted my friends in six hours. Oh no! It's been over seven. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. It's over seven. It's over seven. into a full work. I'm not even from here. Like. Well, if you we can't, we should go. We were here at four. Yeah, I'm going right back to the I airport. Like a lift home. home. I don't feel oh, right. I think you're Airbnb. asking. You're asking me if I got rejected. Is that? Oh, that, that's what okay. Was, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. I I'm wondering. Okay, let's stem back to your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> as a kid, God. chapter one. one. Well, no, this is too personal. I don't want to know. Ah, uh, okay. All right. All right. I I missed my opportunity earlier. I should have done it earlier. I was, uh, I was being greedy in farming, but okay. Um, so, guys, last call. Hit the like button, please, on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chats, donates, and supports the show. We will be live again Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM out whatever on Instagram if you can make it to Santa Barbara. Those of you on Twitch, stick around for just a sec. I'm going to raid. Uh, who am I going to raid? I'm going to raid S-Fand. 
Uh, give, give that just a few moments to get going. Let's see. Uh, thank you to the panel. GG, well played. I uh, appreciate you guys coming. Thank I you guys. appreciate your guys' patience here. We did go very late. Thank um, you I want to mostly us. blame her for that. It's definitely all her fault. Um, <laughs> okay. 07's, 07's in the fault. chat, please like the video on your way out. Those of you on Twitch, I'm going to raid S Fand right now. Raiding. We're going, we're going, we're going. And then uh, that's it. So 07's in the chat. Let me just make sure double. Okay, we got everything. Okay. Plur Good night, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Matrix, Matrix.